Right. Hello, hello. Uh, I am here. Hello, Cot Demo. Sad as well. Could be a very spicy days. Also, happy days. Spearmaster, of course. Of course, I've got to put Spearmaster in there. I have to represent, okay? Someone's got to make, like, all the people who keep calling Spears overpowered sound, like, a little bit rational. I guess. Look how OP they are. Look at him. Look at him with his fucking sticks. Look what he's doing with them. Clearly OP. <laughs> Come through another day of bangers, bonks, and <laughs> general slaughter. Nice. Yeah, sickness, hunger, nausea, and murders as well. Yes, and the am- yes. The horrible ambulances who keep trying to kill us. Yeah, who knows, maybe the ambulance will succeed today. Also, hello, Spaz. Hello, hello. Don't mind me, just gotta do my last-minute checks. Not our destiny. Yes, times change. Times change. I think we're all ready to go. Uh, so yeah, yesterday we logged off. Just as we finished killing the last of the zombies in this area, so we should be right next to our ambulance, and it should be about 10 o'clock. Yeah, OP, but I didn't get 23,000. Yeah, you know why? Because skill issue. Because <laughs> I could have got 23,000. But I wasted like three days back to back where I just wasn't killing that many. Yes, terrible spear player. The skill issues go on and on. But today, we should pass 25,000 very easily. Uh, like we should pass, we should get up to about 27,000. At the very least, I think. It depends like how many zombies we, we run into. But if we do the exact same way as we, what we did yesterday, we should hit 27,000. And we should hit level 9 spear as well. But I think the level 9 spear, that should come in the last few hours of the stream. So, I mean, let me... Let me check. What am I on now? Yeah, so we got about 4,000 spear experience yesterday. We only need another 3,500. So if I just do exactly what I did yesterday, we should hit level 9 uh, towards the end of the stream. Right. Uh, I have introduced myself. You one last thing. Yourself. This is a very good conversation. Don't think my stream deck is on. Just gotta make sure that's working first. Also, hello, Buggy as well. Hello, hello. Yes, the Ambulance of Doom. It tried to murder me yesterday, and it almost succeeded. <laughs> it came very close to actually completing its prime directive. Kill the player. Right, let's just make sure those counters are working. Yep, 181. And... 654, yeah, they both work. Good stuff. Also, hello, King, as well, and Death. Good morning. <laughs> Ready to see Lamprey's cheeks get slapped, yes. All of the slapping cheeks. Uh, but yeah, we finished up this area yesterday. So I'm probably gonna go... North. I think. Uh... Because we have this more or less secure now, so I think I'm going to take that ambulance and drive up north and set him off over here somewhere, so I can round up some of the la some of the last ones in the woodland over here. Uh, twist ended today at <laughs> just all twos, just two 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 two. Nice. You know what that means, though. We're slowly making progress. We're slowly creeping up on him. I mean, sure, we're like 200,000 kills behind at the moment, but we're slowly creeping up on him. Just an inch, a fucking millimeter at a time. <laughs> we'll catch up eventually. EU Australian streamers are so perfect for workday listening. Nice. Perfect time zones. 
Right, but yeah, let's go park this ambulance. And I'll probably end up turning this into an outpost. Today, maybe. Still depends if there's zombies down here. Uh, but this looks more or less clear. We cleared out all of this, and I think the ambulance has enough range to get all of this as well. So we'll go north now. We'll go park him over there. And we'll see how many we have in those trees. Yeah, because I should have enough fuel to get all the way up there. Pretty much out of gas, but I should be able to get him. At least close to the T-junction. I'm going to let you do your thing over there. And that's where we'll leave him for a moment. So that should bring all the last zombies around this area at least. Like all the ones down to that T-junctions. They should all go to that one area now. I can clear this one out because I'd like to try and see the mansions today. I don't know how realistic that is because obviously it's, it's a mile away. So it could have all the zombies. It could have nothing. But well, there's no way to know until we get there. Yeah, also, hello, racer as well. And yeah, boy. Hello, hello. Uh, he said after he gets the 300. Oh, he's gonna pause and let me catch up? Oh, what a fucking good sport. <laughs> what a chad. He's like, yes. Here, king. I'm gonna wait for you. That's how fair I'm gonna make this. What an absolute chad. <laughs> Well, I gotta speed up now. I can't keep him waiting. <laughs> yeah, she might throw you out and run you over. She is a cruel and callous mistress, but that's why we love her. I am overheating a little bit. But yeah, we'll have a little slow walk up and then we'll, then we'll see what's remaining around this area. Cause I have enough gas to maybe get a little bit further, maybe up to there. Uh, but that'll be it then. I can't get that van any further. And I have no other... Vehicles around here that have fuel, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad at all. Looks very quiet. All right, so let's grab a little chunk of you. And then we'll kill these guys. And then I'll have a little, uh... A little sit down and a proper rest afterwards. Yes, yeah, the infamous ambulance. Yes, the murder. The murder mobile. Also, hello, Nox, as well. Morning. Hello, hello. stuff. So yeah, let's have a little rest, and then we'll go grab another group. 
So we should be able to make really good progress. Like in terms of distance today, we should be able to get really far. Hopefully. I'll definitely have to work out some resting spots, though. It's the, the one thing I can't... Like, I, can, I could do it, but I don't want to do it, is... Running to and from the kill area and then back to where we're sleeping every single day. It is quite the run to make. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if we had a... A car. And we had an infinite amount of fuel, but, uh... Yeah, I'll have to set up some places closer that I can sleep at at the end of the day. That's another small group done. Let's have another rest. Appreciate the 600 racer. Yeah, I might actually be able to grab that one today. Because, uh... Oh, he's, yeah, he's coming from a good angle as well. I might actually be able to grab that. Let's see where you drop it. So we just cleared out all of this yesterday. And I've got that lovely ambulance acting as a decoy for a moment. And I think, yeah, you just gave me a bunch of, um... Yeah, it's all jarred food. Nice. I'll take that. I'll put it on the road and I'll... I'll pick it up on the way back out. And I appreciate the supplies eraser. Happy days. A little bit of food. Yeah, I can throw that into my, uh, into my fish salads. So yeah, I'll put that one there. I have introduced myself, you have introduced yourself. And I'll this is a pick you up on the way back. I think it's raining though, let me throw my clothes back on now. Yeah, also hello Dice, welcome back. Hello, hello, morning. That's a very good conversation. Sounds like the sirens might have been turned off, maybe. Yeah, they've been turned off. That's okay, though. There wasn't that many of them, so... Let me just grab what's around here, and then I'll turn them back on again. So it's only 2 o'clock. I've got plenty of time yet. Yeah, so we have the best conversations. <laughs> some point. Wonderful conversation. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Ford. <laughs>
not too bad. Imagine uh, replacing the sound of a zombie dying with that sound. Oh, that... I sh I think that's the only way you could get me to do a full pacifist playthrough of this game. If every single sound of a zombie dying was replaced with that audio file, I would do a full pacifist run. No violence, never gonna touch a zombie. I will let my character die before I harm one of them. <laughs> totally thinking the point redeem would bring Helis or something. No. Was not our destiny. Times change. See, I might bring that back, where you can uh, call in helicopters and such with the channel points, just so there's like a there are more options for it. But I gotta find a way to balance it so it's not spammed constantly. Because <laughs> I know how many points you all have, and there are a lot of them. There are some whales out there that have a lot of points. And I am really fond of living. Too bad. Very calmly, very politely, tell the risk assessors to fuck off. Yes, tell all the risk assessors to fuck off. We are experts. We know exactly what we're doing. Yeah, one may even say that we are spear masters. Whatever you're thinking, we think it. Never. I'm fully committed. Never second guess myself. First answers only. <laughs> Regardless of the repercussions. Once a stream. No, because if you do it too... F like, if it's too few, then it doesn't get called in enough, and then people complain that they never get to do it. But if it's too much, then I have to play too safe, so it gets very boring, so then people complain that it's not interesting enough. So there is, like, a sweet spot in between, like, right in the middle, where there's enough of them where people are satisfied, where everyone gets to call their own jets in every now and then. But it doesn't get spammed so much that it just kind of stops me from playing the game. But it's a really, really thin rope that you have to walk with it. But you can make it happen. Like, we used to do it in the past. It's just really hard balancing it. But you gotta keep changing it as well. Like, based on how many people are watching and how many points people have. So it's like, oh, fuck. I gotta do- I gotta account for inflation with my channel points. And especially players like Zerub. You're locked in here with me. Zerub may actually kill me if we do it. <laughs> He's a danger not only to himself but to everyone around him. Uh, 10,000 points every few days per person. No, that's too expensive. If you put it at 10,000, people complain that they, did, they don't have enough points. So it's only a handful of people that'll be able to get that amount of points. So then you just get people mooning. That's why I haven't put it on for a long time, because that's, that's why I turned it off, like, months ago. Because it was just people complaining constantly that it's either it's too cheap and I don't get to play very well, or it's too expensive and they don't get to cool enough of the moon. It's like, oh... If I just turned it, like, I just turned it off and then all the complaints stopped, it's like, ah, yes. In a piece. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not thinking about doing it anytime soon. It's, it's a lot of effort to do it right. Yeah, 5k after only a couple of days. Yeah, but it's the people who don't, like, lurk or watch constantly. Like, those are the ones who, who would complain, and that's like, the majority of people. 
so it would cater to the few, but yeah, I'd have like dozens of people moaning at me. And I'm not a fan of that. So I'm not gonna rock the boat or change anything regarding that anytime soon, because everything works currently. Everything is nice, it's all balanced. I'm not gonna tamper with it. The machine is working as it should. <laughs> I know, fucking rain again, I know, right? It's rain, it fucking rains constantly. I can't wait till that, that temperature drops. And we, uh... And we can go back to having, like, snow. No more rain. trail of death. Hello, Lodi. Welcome back as well. Hello, hello. Oh, let's try and round up the last of you now, because that should be most of them. And we'll just sit back here for a moment while they all come out. <laughs> Point system. Nah, yeah, I'm not gonna get into it. It's it's not gonna change. It's not changing anytime soon. There's nothing you could possibly say. There is no no string of words put together into a sentence that you could form to change my mind at this current time. <laughs> Alright, well, let's chill out here for a moment. You missed the 22... Oh, 22, 22, 2. See? I missed that as well. I didn't even see, see us past that.
right. And that should be enough time for us to get 10k by the end of it. That's why yesterday uh, was a bust. There's 10 minutes at the yeah, it was that 10 minute crash at the start. It had that had to have been it. Yep, <laughs> that was definitely it. And yes, well, we were talking about Turkish food for too long as well. Yeah, we were just salivating over the thought of Turkish kebabs. Also, hello, uh, Vin. Welcome on in. Uh, do you even bother to check the loot at any point? Was it Black Friday all lo all day long? Cutting down the forest after forest for spears. Pretty much Black Friday's cutting down the forest for spears. Um, at the start of the game, I'll loot all the bodies. Uh, at that point in the game, like at the very beginning, when you don't you don't have anything, you're trying to find anything you could possibly get your hands on for weapons. So like screwdrivers and hand forks, like all the silly weapons. Um, but at this stage, I can make as many spears as I need now. So uh, the only thing that the bodies will have for me at this point that would still be useful would be lighters. Yeah, lighters and medication. But the only medication they have would be vitamins. That's the only thing I would find useful personally. And I don't need any lighters because I I always rely on notched planks and sturdy sticks, really. Um, so the only other thing I pick up from them are some weapons, but I can see them like when I kill them, so I don't have to check all the bodies one by one. Cause, um... Yeah, none of you have weapons I can show off, but when they've got like a hunting knife sticking out of them, or a kitchen knife, or a machete, or a katana, it's really obvious from a distance. So I don't have to go through the bodies one by one then. It saves me uh, a lot of time in the long run. Good stuff. Uh, you have your own Walmart warehouse times three. Still need more space pack rat mode. Yeah, the loot goblin inside you cannot be satiated. So I don't understand, Jeff. I need more. <laughs> it's like, but what are you ever going to do with 300 hunting knives? Jeff, you don't understand. What if? What if one day in the future I need 300 hunting knives? Won't you be glad then that I prepared for us? I need more. All the loot. Did you already check the three boxes in the woods? I checked the one that just came in. That one was food, but the other ones I have no idea where they are. So we're not going to go looking for them, because they could be anywhere. There are there are two north of us, like all the way on the north side or the north uh, river, river bank. There's two of them down there somewhere, and there's another one down over here somewhere. But there are so many trees and so many blind spots, the odds of me just stumbling upon it by chance that's really slim. So I'm just not gonna bother, because I'll be wasting my time doing that. Yeah, there we go. Another hunting knife there. Kitchen knife on you as well. Yeah, got a nice, nice extra group forming. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll just kill a few more and then we'll start heading back. And I'll take that box back with me as well then, the one that we left on the road from the care package.
Uh, shotgun Zaras. Yeah. Yeah. But with all the watches on the ground, you could probably level up electronics and boost to level 5 minimum. I wouldn't, I wouldn't quite get to level 5 with the amount of bodies we have around here, but you can max out your electrical quite easy by just relying on watches. Like, we've gone to level 10 before by doing all the, uh, all of the bodies on the ground. So from 0 to 10, using the electric books and such. Um... I don't know if we'll do that on this run, because there's not really any incentive to. There's not really anything to be gained by doing that, but I might do a little bit if I get bored. What is Zero to Hero? Uh, different definitions depending on who you ask, but our definition of it is just starting from zero fitness and zero strength. So, pe like, different people have different versions of it, but... Um, the simple one, I think, is just... Starting it from zero fitness and zero strength and building up from there, because that's the weakest you can possibly make your character, really. There are other versions where you start with zero in everything as well, uh, but we're just doing the, the passive skills for this one. Alright, but let's do one last group and then we'll head back then. Just kill what we can here. Little fire axe as well. Very nice. Well, to be fair, I'm going to run off now, actually, seeing as I'm exhausted as well. Let me see if I can spot that box, though. So it should be... Yeah, there he is. So yeah, I'll take that one back home with me. And then we'll go get some rest, and we'll come back out here tomorrow with some more spears then. And I'll probably do some fishing tomorrow. But yeah, we'll carry on clearing this road further north, and start making our way back to those uh, uh three trio of houses by the lake yeah from cigar yeah for, literally from cigar to arnold yes that is the way didn't you know i'm an aikido master <laughs> Oh, yeah, the C to the A start, yeah. See, I don't find uh, C to the A that bad, to be honest. Like, the start of it's fucking horrendous, I absolutely agree with you on that, but the settings aren't that punishing. Like, if you can survive the initial start of the game, you know, pull the glass out of your groin, quickly throw a bandage on it, try and kill one zombie or find one outside, get some shoes on, run straight north, get to the farmhouse, uh, you can lose your cold within, like, the first day or two when you're inside that house. And it's just like a normal game, then, from that point onward. It's pretty, um... It's pretty chilled out. So I think... I think Cataclysm is time 6 population, I think? I'm not sure what the loot settings are, but it's... It's not too bad overall. But yeah, that start of it, though, is horrible. But it, it is fun. Time six, yeah, that sounds about right. Time six with respawn, yeah. His Aikido is shabby. I mean, Aikido itself is shabby. All martial arts are. Well, not all, but most. Like, martial arts aren't practical. They're there for sport. <laughs> like, they don't serve any function. There are, like, some exceptions. Uh, like, Krav Maga and such that can be used in a practical sense, but not with good form. <laughs> it's no, it's uh, it's just for competition, really. But yeah, the videos of him like practicing Aikido. Oh, he's so lazy with it. It's so funny. Yeah, he barely moves an inch. It's it is hilarious. Also, hello, Sid. Welcome back as well. Hello, hello. I will right, we'll have a little uh. I'll have a quick sit down over here 
Just to top up my stamina a little bit. So I've still got a, a short while to run, yeah? Right, that'll do. And we'll run from here. Any skin retrieval or just plain fuck it when you die? Oh no, when I die, that's it, it's over. Yeah. So. I. I always start a brand new game. So if this character dies, that's it. The, like the character's done, the skills are gone, delete the world, fresh start completely. Brand new world, brand new character. Because. Like, some of the most fun you'll have on the game is like at the beginning when you don't have anything and you are at your most vulnerable. Um. But if you die in your game and then you make a new character, it's not that bad, like, recovering from that point onward, because you already have a base that's been made, like, presumably. And you already have all your equipment stored in one area, so... Getting that second character made in the same world is very, uh... It's very easy. But, uh, I understand why people do that, because it's... Like... It depends how long you play on the game for, but yeah, it's... It's a lot of progress to lose, so it's like... like it's dozens, sometimes hundreds of hours lost on a single game, so... <laughs> I don't blame them. Uh, the Russian commander is a spats now, has been doing it for a few years. You love systems? Okay, I don't, I don't know that one. We are used by uh, Russian commandos. Fair enough. Might have to give that a cheeky Google at some point. Oh, that's all fine. And he needs about four hours. Yeah, let's... Um, oh, we got 500 kills exactly today as well. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, let's see what you gave me. Jars. Lots of jars. That's nice, though. Thank you. Thank you kindly. Happy days, racer. Do jujitsu. Uh, jujitsu. Remember, martial arts doesn't mean you could easily punk be punks. Uh, run yeah, run away is always the best option, yeah. And anyone who's ever had any practical experience in combat or in a just a, a fight, it's just a civvy fight, everyone knows that, that is the golden rule. If I can get away with you without actually fighting you, oh, absolutely, I'm going to do that. Why would I risk getting harmed by you? I don't know you. I don't care if you think I'm a pussy if I run away. <laughs> <laughs> I can't be bothered to spend the next few weeks healing. Fuck that, I got stuff to do. No, I'm gonna run away. Every time. <laughs> yeah, some people are just... They're very proud, though. They don't like doing that. They're like, no, I gotta stand my ground. Because that's, that's what a man does. I gotta stand my ground for my pride. I can't let this punk teach me what to do. <laughs> yeah, some people are very silly. Uh, we have five and a half. Five and a half will be enough. Uh, but you shave dry too, like the dude in Predator. Hey, there's nothing wrong with shaving dry, okay? It's quicker. <laughs> uh, I don't have the time to redo. Yeah, like, that's the main thing. Like... It's, it's not even, like, a skill issue or anything like that. It's just, like, I just don't have enough time to play the game. It's like, that's understandable. If I was working a full-time job, you know, and I only had, like, a few hours on the weekend to play Project Zomboid, and I lost my character, oh, you, you would never see me playing like this. Like, no. It's far too much time to invest in a character. No, I would probably be safe-scumming like no tomorrow, personally. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm from Texas, brother. This is my land now. Fight me. <laughs> oh, funny stuff. Alright. That's all good, though. And let me leave all of you behind because I don't need all those knives. That's why you keep the, the diary mod. Oh, yeah, you find the little diary and you can regain all your skills. Yeah, no fair play. No, I thought that's a very good mod. You only fight when you get caught and you can't run away. I mean, most people would never get into fights anyway. I mean, no normal people get into fights. You have to put yourself in like a really precarious situation to actually get into a fight a lot of the time. Like, it's very rarely, well, I mean, in my experience, it's very rare that something escalates from zero to a hundred instantly. I oh, know I'm sipping my coffee. I didn't expect to run into anyone else down here. There we go. <laughs> Who you think you're talking to? Who you think you're talking to? <laughs> yeah. Take a big drag from my cigarette. Kid, I don't think you know who you're dealing with. Did you know I have the world record on Project Zomboid? And he just starts quivering with fear. Oh no. I found myself one of those Project Zomboid players. I've made a grave mistake. <laughs> and then everyone stood up and clapped. <laughs> You're moving today. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, this run is horrible. So I'm thinking about going into that house over there. It's just a little bit closer. It's not like a huge distance, but that'll get me a little bit closer to where I need to be. Um, possibly those houses over there, but that would involve running through the trees. Maybe. Like, I'd have to have a look at it and see if it's an open field or not. But there aren't really any other houses around this area, close to this road. So, it's gonna be a horrible run either way. But if I can shave just a little bit of distance off, that would be... Nice, because it'll add up over the course of 10 hours. It'll save me some time. And I'll be able to get some more kills in. Couldn't know if they got friends, gangs, weapons. Yeah, you just never... Yeah, you don't start fights with people. <laughs> no, if someone's like puffing their chest out and they're like really looking for a fight, just leave. Honestly, like, try and, like, de-escalate everything as much as you can. It's like, some people are like, oh, you're just being a wuss. Fuck them. They're idiots. They have this, people who normally think like that have never had any fighting experience. They're idiots. <laughs> so, no, if that was me, mate, no, I would have, I would have sucker punched him. I would have headbutted him when he wasn't looking. Like, you're, you're an idiot. <laughs> it's like, you have no, no idea how the real world actually works. It's like, oh, no, it's like, you get into a fight with someone, it's like, oh, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, well, worst is, I'm going to have permanent injuries. Best case scenario is, I'm going to kick his ass, but then I got to worry about legal trouble as well. But most likely, he's going to get injured, I'm going to get injured, the police are also going to get involved, so there's also going to be legality as well. I'm also going to take a few weeks after that to heal from whatever injuries I have. It's a complete waste of time, and it's all just done for your pride. It's so silly. Yeah, it's just, it's normally just people with a lot to prove that get into fights like that. <laughs> Karen, you want to make sure I was like a king. Yeah, straight to the dive. Yeah, exactly. Straight to the dive bar. Yes. That's exactly how that went. Yes, being a good Project Zomboid player carries such prestige with it. It's, um... It is quite renowned around the world. People do respect the PZ players. Everyone knows about this game.
gets the iron from the blood of his enemies, yes. That's why I used to forge all my new weapons. <laughs> Only the finest refined iron from my enemies. Oh, but let's see how many we have left up here, thanks. Hopefully we'll be able to clear this out today. See, it wasn't looking too bad when we left yesterday. So let's try and drag out what we can while we walk up, and then we'll find the others when we set the siren on the ambulance off. for the craft update. Javelin, Iron Spear, Iron Spear should be lighter. Yes, I want my... I want a tungsten rod, that's what I want. Like, not a, like, a tiny miniature tungsten rod. I want the, like, the ones that they have in the satellites. You know. I want that giant ass tungsten rod that's a WMD weapon. And I want to haul that around. My character will level up his strength until he can he can wield that with one hand. That's my weapon. It's gonna be so large and unrealistic. I'm gonna look like an anime character. <laughs> I'm gonna look like a Final Fantasy character, actually, with those giant oversized swords. <laughs> Made of local mayor's blood. I'll collect you as well. Why not? I don't see that many motorcycle helmets. What are we going to do with the other hand? Pick your nose? Of course. Priorities, okay? I'm a, I'm a human male. I have needs. What if I'm fighting zombies and I want to, like, desperately take a sip of my coffee? You know. What am I going to do if the spear is, has to be held with both of my hands? I'll die. I, I will die because I'll be malnourished. I will have no energy. <laughs> so you got to think about these things, okay? <laughs> Sephiroth Spear Edition, exactly. There's probably a mod for that. Like, thinking about it. Like... Final Fantasy is popular enough. There's probably someone who's made, like, a weird weapon collection based on those games. Just, like, a bunch of oversized swords in Kentucky. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sausage rolls as well. Gotta have those. Yes. The food of kings and gods. quiet so far. I'm wondering, like, how many are hiding in the trees. I'm sure we saw more than this yesterday before we ran back. Yeah. I'll try and be a little bit quiet now, just so I can set that one off, because I can just pull them all in at once, then. So we'll just... We'll just fight whatever hears me on the road. No. Beefy, coffee, good Wi-Fi. See, I can't give my character that. If I gave him that, he'd probably think he's died. He's gone to heaven. 
He'll stop trying and he'll think he's in some sort of purgatory. He's in limbo. And guys love big things. I know it can't be helped. He's going to clean up that road. The local council. They'll use all the bodies just to fill in all the potholes. <laughs> I'm doing my, my civic duty. I'm just giving them the supplies they need to finish the job. Should be able to craft the uh, craft bastard sword. Oh, Conan the Barbarian, yeah. <laughs> See, I need an item in the game. I need, like, one of those fake muscle suits. You know, the, the ones that they wear in, like, uh, the superhero movies and such. Like, the padding underneath the actual clothing. I need that for my character so I can run around and pretend like I'm, I'm Conan. And pretend like I'm Arnold for a, for a day. Huh. 20,000 short for the pothole thing. I got it, boss. Don't worry. The order's been filled. It's on its way. I'm calling in the supplies now. I'll send you the invoice over the weekend. <laughs> Get to the chopper. So we want to be nice and thorough. 
try and get as many as we possibly can. Imagine the Germans had spears back then. Yeah, really fucking dodged a bullet on that. It's probably because the spears aren't complicated. No, they didn't require that much engineering, so they just they didn't find any challenge in it. <laughs> and Germans have got to do what Germans do best, and that's make the rest of us look really fucking bad by over-engineering everything and putting us to shame with how good they are at building things. <laughs> German engineering is the best in the world. So there's that one, uh, there's that one throwaway joke in there, one of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. And I, I fucking loved it. I thought it was a great joke. It was the, it was the only part of the movie that actually made me laugh properly. But they, um, they just washed a short and there's a lighthouse. And they get this guy to go in and he's like, how's it looking? You gonna get it to work? And he looks down at them and he shouts back, Ah, oh, please, my friend. This lighthouse was made by the British. Let's not get our hopes up. <laughs> that's like, fuck. Oh, that's a dig. How dare you? Never have I been so offended by something so true. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we do not make very good products here. Historically, at least. How dare you, good sir. How dare you. If my ancestors were alive, I'm sure they would be very upset. <laughs> Alright, let's have a little rest. While we wait for some more zombies to turn up. And if nothing turns up, then we'll pull the ambulance a little bit further forward. Um, so he, he should run out of fuel, like, any moment now. Uh, well, any, any moment when we start driving further up the road. So we, I don't think we'll get very far, but you never know. I'll check the... I'll check him for fuel, though, before I head off. So we were on about 0.8 when we drove him up here, so... I can get, like, a rough approximation as to how far I can get based on how much fuel he has left now. I think the Dutch mainly build the best boats. Not sure about the engineering. Well, I am going to be useless on that topic, because I don't know too much about engineering. <laughs> what I do know are German stereotypes. And if German stereotypes have taught me anything, it's that they're very good at engineering. I'm going to take their word at that. I've, I've seen the Mercedes. It sounds plausible. The Dutch make the best waffles. Now that is something I can support. That sounds like something to be proud of. Uh, bread knife? Yeah, it's a bread knife. British invaded all kinds of countries. Uh, famously India, and then proceeded to uh, not adding spice to their cuisine. That's such a bad stereotype. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, I guess they stole all the spices and they don't use them. It's like, yes, we fucking do. How dare you? You only know us for fishing chips because you're all a bunch of fucking tourists. <laughs> As a German, I was yeah, embarrassed by the whole, the whole inefficiency. Alright. 
Alright, let's head back to the ambulance. And that rain's picking up again, so let me throw my clothing back on. <laughs> May the loot gods bless you with a bigger bag. I don't see that happening. It's the only way we're going to get a bigger bag is if we find a survivor zombie. And we've been very loud and very vocal around this area. So if there was one, I'm sure we would have seen him by now. So I don't believe there will be anyone along this road fitting that description. <laughs> don't be so negative. I ain't negative. I'm realistic. I am a tactician, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> I do not have time to be delusional. I must follow the numbers. And the facts. Uh, to be fair, the second I show you Groot's worst? I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. The whole cuisine remark backfires in my face for a good reason. You can only eat it when it's dark. Okay. <laughs> trying to wrap my head around that. Okay. <laughs> hello, hello. You said it right. Nice. Lucky guess. Alright, let's pull you... forward. Yeah, because you have got no fuel, so let me see how far I can get before you run out. I'm surprised we made it this far so far. There we go. I was gonna say, like, we are getting really fucking far. So, we'll just chill out here for a bit. Yeah, it's a very, it's a very, very long way to run home now, so... Uh, depending on how clear this area is, we may start sleeping by the river again. I might have to try and grab a couple of beds and move them out to the river. Because uh, running back to the house every single day, it's, that's a bit of a pain. Looks like something, uh, oh, someone took a dump on your play. So optics are minus 99. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I don't care what my food looks like. I care about the taste. And uh, more, more than that, I care about the nutrition. I, w I need those stats, that's what I need. Give me those good stats with my food. <laughs> oh, heaven. Yeah, heaven's heaven. The police are British, the cooks are French, the engineers are German, the administrators are Swiss, the lovers are Italian, uh, and then hell. The police are German, the cooks are British, the engineers are Italian, and the administrators are French. The lovers are Swiss. Nice. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That uh, might be a free refill. Uh, I don't think it has any fuel, because we've marked- we've, we've been by this car in the past. Um, I'm pretty sure it's empty. So I remember we checked this one before when we ran through the woods. Uh, no, yeah, it doesn't doesn't have any fuel. But that's okay. But this area is looking empty so far. Yeah, shame. I have to try some of the other cars. Like, just have a look at those ones again down there and see if there's any fuel that we missed.
seeing as I'm back here, though, let's... We'll carry on... It's, like, it's only 4.30, so that, we'll carry on running up towards the mansions for now, just to see how bad it is. Because uh, we didn't see a single zombie. Like, no one's come out from this area yet. Which, you know... That was to be expected. Like, I knew this area was going to be pretty clear, but this is just empty, currently. Yeah, you've got to take a peek at the mansions, yeah. I might as well, cause, I mean, we might even run into some extra cars over here as well. And they might have fuel. <laughs> Americans make war and obesity. Now, to be fair, Americans are good at media. That's what they're good at. <laughs> Weapons of war and media. Italians made Ferrari. Ah, oh, yeah, but the exception doesn't make the rule. <laughs> yeah, this is looking very good so far, but yeah. No extra cars along here, but that's okay. But yeah, we might run into some zombies over here then. I can get through to the mansions. There's like a small bit of... There's a small passage over here. Like a few trees, but we'll have a little look. We'll see how bad it is. Because who knows, we might even be able to stay here tonight. Maybe. Depends how many zombies we run into. <laughs> the Chinese are great at copying. That they are. The masters of control C and control V. Like, you made this? No, 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 my friend. We made this. <laughs> No offense. You can't say that. <laughs> you can't say it. You can't throw. Hey, your country drops the average IQ of the entire world by 10 points. No offense, though. <laughs> you can't throw a bird and be like, hey, no offense, bro. But you kind of stupid. <laughs> what are Canadians good at? Manners. That's what you're good at. Actually, no, not even manners. Canadians are good at being h humble as fuck. Or at least having the reputation of man. Like, Canadians are great. It's like, oh, you meet a Canadian, it's like, oh, you know, Canadians are weak, they're feeble, but they're very polite. And then you see a Canadian, it's like, oh, no, have you seen the wildlife they live amongst? No, they're fucking horrible creatures. Like, the, the animals, that is not the Canadians. <laughs> it's like, no, I couldn't survive in Canada. I'm weak and feeble compared to them. The temperature would be fine, but not the wildlife. I am a poor little British man. The most lethal animal I know in this country is a cow. Please, keep your Canadian wildlife away from me. They will murder me. <laughs> Manners, eh? Yeah, this is looking very clear so far, though. I may even risk it for the biscuit and try and get back towards Rebecca, because I know where she is. We might be able to make it back there. And I can get rid of this uh, plastic chair, then. We can go back to the love of our life. Rebecca, we're coming. And Canadian... Uh, Canadians are good at spreading kindness and syrup. The Canadians look really polite and well-mannered until you watch hockey. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm convinced that in Canada, there's only like a, a very small group of people who are very aggressive and angry, but they, they are very, like, they balance it out. They bring the whole average back down. Where they just take all of those really angry and aggressive Canadians and they just force them to play hockey. <laughs> My, yeah, minus 45 degree Celsius winters, yeah. I think the coldest it gets around here is like minus 10. I think minus 10. I think minus... I think... Fuck it, let me Google it actually. What's the coldest we've had in recent years? What was the coldest we had last year? Actually, yeah, what's the coldest we had this year? Well, well yeah, last last year, I mean. Have a look, England. 
I'll put England, because otherwise it'll include Scotland, and that's cheating. <laughs> yeah, England, temperature, winter. Um, winter and average, 2 to 7 degrees Celsius. That's the average. What's the lowest, then? Uh, in January 1982, the recorded minimum temperature for England was minus 26.1. So yeah, not even fucking close to being Canada. Not even close, like 15 degrees off. What about Scotland? <laughs> Scotland's got to be close to like minus 30, minus 40. No, 27, minus 27.2. No, Canada's on a different level then. It's very cold up here, eh? Hockey is how they compensate. Yeah, that sounds about right. right let's try and go grab uh, Rebecca, though, while we're out here. Because this is still looking, like, really clear. So, I want to try my luck. At the very least, I want to see, like, how bad is it further out. So there's not that many over here, at the moment. I spoke too soon. Seems impressively warm. The lowest I've seen where I live in the US is minus 17 degrees Celsius. That's fair. So I always prefer cold weather to hot weather, personally. If it gets too cold, I can always throw on more layers. And if it gets, like, way too cold, I can always go for a jog. You know, I can warm myself up. If it's too hot, though, I can't do anything about that. I just have to sit there and stew in silence and misery. I just sat there in my room, butt-ass naked, with a fan pointed at my crotch, and I just cry, and hope that the tears don't evaporate as they roll down my cheek. <laughs> I hate hot weather, it's horrible. I don't know how, like, if you go to, like, some African or Middle Eastern countries, oh, I don't know how the fuck you deal with it. It's so hot over there. It's, um, it is my nightmare. It's far too hot. I couldn't live there full time. I mean, the longest I've spent in Africa was eight months, and that was in... That was across South Sudan and the Central African Republic, and it sucked. <laughs> Every moment of it sucked. Way too hot. Talking about Rebecca as comfort. He's tired, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, Rebecca's coming. We're gonna find Rebecca. No AC over there? Nah, like, British houses are built like ovens. We don't really do any AC. And our houses are very well insulated for the winter. So, in the winter, it's fantastic. But in the summer, oh, it's horrible. Every house turns into an oven. <laughs> it's not a good time. But we don't get very hot weather over here. Like, uh, last year, it was, like, the highest recorded ever in British history. And I think it was, like, something like 42 degrees Celsius. Or something like that, which, you know, compared to the rest of the world, is quite laughable. It's quite funny. But, um, yeah, that was a, a horrible, horrible time. So I think it peaked at about 37 or 39 degrees where I was. Alright. Yeah, I'll do a bit more killing around this area. I'll probably sleep here tonight. And I'll try for Rebecca in the morning. I have a feeling, like, so we're running into quite a few zombies over here. If I try and run any further east, I'm probably going to end up saboing this area.
Uh, can confirm, went to Mexico, thought I was dying, got some poisoning. Yes, the sun is a deadly laser. <laughs> the sun is evil. Don't trust the sun. The sun gives people cancer. Can you trust something that gives you cancer? No. Avoid the sun. Live in cave. Abandon sunlight. Embrace darkness. A range between 5 and 16 would be ideal. That would be ideal, yeah. That sounds like a very good time. Spots in the US hit 48, 49 on occasion. Yeah, that is way too hot. Way too hot. Isn't, doesn't Spain uh, peak at about, what, 50 or 60-ish in the summer? That's worth a Google, actually. What is what is being uh, Spain peak at, typically? Yeah, Spain, summer, uh, temp peak. Let's have a look at that. Um, in August 2021, the record temperature, 47 degrees Celsius, was reported. Hottest summer. Yeah, that's in Spain. Okay, so... I thought, they, I thought they had much hotter weather. I, I guess their average is just a lot higher than the UK. I thought they were, their temperatures went like 50 degrees above. Oh, fair enough. I still couldn't live in Spain. Still far too hot. <laughs> too much sun, not enough shade. Right, let's have a look behind here, though. Let's see if there's any zombies hiding on the river. Yeah, in the summer it can reach 40 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that is way too hot. But, to their credit, you know, perfectly balanced, because it is far too hot for me to be comfortable over there, but goddamn, they got some good-ass tans going. Like, no one tans better than the Spanish. <laughs> they, they've perfected the art of getting a good tan. They know exactly what they're doing over there. Yeah, home sweet home. Um, I'll have a little, I'll have a quick look down the riverbank as well while I'm here, because we haven't checked that wood yet. There's probably a few of them hiding down that way. Uh, temperature's 51 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Celsius, we're both reported. Okay. So they have crossed over the 50 mark then. The... Uh, Imagine hot and boiling like Riddick. <laughs> to be fair, if it was that hot and the sun was out that bright, I think if you stared at the sun, you could probably get Riddick's eyes as well. <laughs> yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't know if there's much of a difference between 48 and 51. Like, yes, what's the difference? Three degree difference? How does that feel? I don't know. I was burnt before, and I'm burnt now. I can't really... T I can't see too much of a... Uh, a difference between the two. How size it be perma ball before 25? I wouldn't know. My hair is incredibly thick. Like to the point where it's actually really annoying. My hair grows very quickly and it's very thick. I am. I have no issue with balding. Fortunately, but goddamn. I have to buy all the expensive shit to keep my hair clean. It's not a good time. Yeah, river's all clear as well, though. Like, good stuff. But, uh... Like, who's who's someone who's famous who went bald before 25? I think Patrick Stewart went bald before he was... Like, he was in his 20s, I think, when he went bald. I remember reading about it. Apparently, he was really insecure about it. And then he became a sex icon. <laughs> for a time. <laughs> it's like... Handsome Patrick. He's like, oh, yes, he's been bald almost his entire life. But he made it work. What a giga chad. You can blind your enemies if you whack. <laughs> yes, and just remember, you're not bold, okay? You're aerodynamic, okay? Your body is technically 
more refined than my own. You would be better in a wind tunnel than me. You're probably more... Well, you'd be better at skydiving than I would. You have less wind resistance. <laughs> if I shot you out of a cannon, you would fly further than me. All right, well, let's go have a look at the house then. It's, it all seems clear outside. Um, I if there was anyone inside, I expect they would have come outside by now. But we'll have a look anyway. Cause... Yeah, there's always like one or two lurking around. Wholesome full head of hair. Yeah, my my hair is. Oh, that's a thing. How long is my hair? My hair's at that awkward length where it's like, it's not long enough to be put into a ponytail, but it's long enough to get in the way constantly. Eh, it's like just, just gone like shoulder length. My hair's growing quite long now. But I'm not like actively growing my hair, like, for a purpose. I just haven't gone for a haircut in a very long time. I just happen to look pretty good with long hair. <laughs> it's like, oh wow, you're growing your hair long this year? It's like, yes. But just by chance, because I'm cheap and I don't have it in my schedule to go for a haircut anytime soon. It's like when you're playing Red Dead 2 and you just let Arthur Morgan's hair just grow out ridiculously long, just because you can't be bothered to deal with it. I am 90% convinced that's why everyone grew a beard on their playthroughs, just because they couldn't be bothered to manage his hair constantly. And that is the lifestyle I'm living currently. It's been quite a while since we've been back here. I think it's been like a month or two. Oh, not a month or two, but... Yeah, about a month and a half. Um... Or two... Yeah, no, actually, it might be... Yeah, it might be uh, about two months, actually. Since we were last back here. But I don't expect we'll stay here. We're just gonna be here. For the time being. <laughs> All my rotten fish that we left behind. Yeah, I'll take you with me, because that will actually be handy. The doors are still closed, so there won't be anyone up here. Uh, just on you, Lamprey, I have a... <laughs> Uh, the stomach of a thousand horses. Nice. I'm pretty sure that makes you a cow. <laughs> I'm not bold, but the hair that leaves the head decides to resell him up to my ass. So you're not, you're not bolding then. Your hair is just retreating to reinforce other regions. It's it's a tactical move by your body. Jeans are wild. Sometimes you <laughs> want the kind of beard. It grows somewhere else. Ah, oh, see, my... All of my family, they all have the same bald spot. Like, on my... Like, with my beard, I can't grow a proper beard. Just, like, because of my genetics. So, like, the sideburns, I've got that. Like, the full chin strap, I've got that as well. Cheeky little mustache, A-OK. -okay. Little bit of hair underneath my lower lip, golden. Everything above my chin is bald. There's just a big fucking bald spot underneath, like, just below my lower lip, all the way down to the bottom of my, like, my chin, just where my jawline starts. Nothing. It's void. It's like a nuclear strike happened and nothing can grow there. <laughs> it's, um... And then the soul... You know, there's just there's no soul patch there. I have a tiny bit of wispy hair that grows just under my lower lip, but... Under that, it's just nothing. It's a void. <laughs> Right, I'll be back in just two minutes though, because I've been sat down for an hour and a half. I'm going to stretch my legs, and I'm just going to grab myself another quick drink as well. So I'll be back in just about two minutes.
Right, and I'm back. What have I missed? Uh, people criticize Star Trek when Patrick Stewart didn't wear a piercing thing that was in the 23rd century. Male patent baldness would have been cured. That is an argument. Counterpoint. Not everyone cares about their hair. Like, I've shaved all of my hair off before. I've gone bald. It's just out of convenience. <laughs> it's a, it's a, if I have no hair, I don't have to wash my hair. Big brain move. It saves me like 30 seconds in the shower then. Big brain. Think of all the time I could save for extra activities. <laughs> right. Yeah, everything seems to still be working. Uh, no problem with baldness, but then again, only full baldness. Not the garden fence, no grass in the yard. Yeah, no, see, if, if I start going bald, I would just shave everything off. Like, I wouldn't, I don't want to have, like, a little tiny bald spot on my head. No, if I start balding, it's all just going. Just get rid of all of it. I'm not gonna, uh... I don't want to half-ass my hair, no. Give me all of it or give me none of it. <laughs> but, uh... I don't really care about my hair, to be honest. I could take it or leave it. It's nice to have, but if I started balding tomorrow, I'd be like, ah, oh, that's fine. Just lop it all off. <laughs> right. Uh, let's make some more spears before we head any further west, because we'll probably run into some more zombies now. And then we'll try and get Rebecca, because she's not that far away. You don't want, no, I do not want... I don't want the Andrew Tate look. No. That one specifically. Being bold? No, I'm fine with, but please don't make me look like Andrew Tate. <laughs> what color is your Bugatti? Alright, so that's six. Uh, yeah, to be fair, six will be enough. Hello, hello. Oh, even brought me another knife. How kind of him. Hey, Marco. Oh, Marco Macro. Yeah, Macro. Welcome on in. All of it. Yeah, arms, legs, everything. Yeah. If I start bolting even, like, slightly... I'm going to be baby smooth all over my body. Everything is going. <laughs> I will strip my body of every follicle I have. I will be like a baby dolphin. He directly uh, addresses his full head of hair in his prison poetry. All oh, that stuff. Do I want to know who's got access to his Twitter account? Because I don't follow Andrew T, and I try to avoid him because it's a bit cringe. Um, but yeah, whoever's posting on his Twitter right now is hilarious. I just keep hearing it constantly. Like, he just, whoever's on his account is just posting like really fucking weird stuff. And it's not him, because he's still detained. He's still locked up. So it's get someone else on his account. But yeah, it's really, um, really fucking bizarre. Whoever it is. Hmm. And people who go bald have hair everywhere else. I mean, bald people are to be feared. Bald people, like, their heads will be cold in the winter, but everywhere else, everywhere else on their body has been reinforced. Bald people will have more hair than everyone else combined. They, they, just, they have copious amounts elsewhere. <laughs> it's like they're always fully, fully clothed. They're just wearing a full fur suit.
Alright, I'm just gonna warm my character up a little bit before I start running down towards Rebecca, because I don't want to uh, get cold too quickly. And Chewbacca represent. See, like, my hair is really thick on my head, so naturally the rest of my body is very, like, baby smooth. Like, I don't have much hair elsewhere. But in the winter, oh, I will, I will suffer immensely. My beard is nothing to write home about. My beard is very thin and very patchy. It's not a good-looking beard. Um, how long have I got on this? 56 hours. That's fair. Well, seeing as it's five in the morning, I'm going to do a little bit of fishing. Um, <laughs> just because we're right next to the river, why not? Might as well get some food while I'm here. As long as it's not a neck beard. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with a neck beard, okay? It wards off predators. <laughs> Freezing. And I'm still dropping temperature as well. Yeah, I'm gonna be, uh... Yeah, I'm almost hypothermic. <laughs> Let me get back inside. Yeah, it's horrible. It's minus 1.7 degrees. <laughs> you can confirm you're like a silverback gorilla. Fear me. <laughs> So sort of like a 50 year -ish old guy on your cruise, had his stomach shaved like... Oh, like, so it looked like a six pack. Oh, fair play. That's hilarious. It was funny until you, until you realized he was serious. Well, rip. It was good while it lasted. Want to be cool? Have a shaggy beard. Ah, uh, if you want to be even cooler, just do whatever you want. <laughs> it's like, why do you want it? I just think it's neat. That's why. What's happening to this guy? Oh, he's living the dream. We managed to get back to the mansions. For now. But uh, I don't expect us to be here very long. But we're going to try and... Uh, try and rescue Rebecca in a moment. Because she's just down the road from us and it will uh, save me a lot of time if I can get her back but I'm just kind of waiting for this storm to blow over Uh, the general rule uh, is neat hair, shaggy beard, or shaggy hair, neat beard. Yeah, like if you go, if you go shaggy and shaggy, you just look homeless. But if you go neat and neat, you just look like a hipster. <laughs> and it's like yeah, neat, n neat beard, shaggy hair. You got like the Jason Momoa look. But then you, if you have tidy hair but a shaggy beard, who would that be? I can't think who that would be. I can't think of anyone like that off the top of my head. Just don't have your beard with a little ponytail. <laughs> that, that's a bad one, okay? <laughs> Don't Don't grow a beard. Don't, don't, don't grow a beard and have a little ponytail. It's bad, okay? <laughs> Yeah, I refuse to tie my hair back at the moment, because it is not long enough for that at the moment. 
It is, uh... If I tie my hair back into a ponytail at its current length with the with how my beard looks at the moment, people are going to naturally assume I'm not allowed within a certain distance of schools. It is. It will not be a good look. <laughs> Those little flimsy mustaches, half yeah, half grown. Send <laughs> us selling candy out of a Yeah, that sounds about right. See, the only people I ever see growing those, like, those mustaches are, like, teenagers. Like, they've just hit puberty and they've just started growing facial hair and they're just, they're really adamant that they want to grow a beard or something. So they refuse to shave, but they're at that point where they just, they're, they're at the stage where they just can't grow any proper facial hair, so they have these really thin, wispy hairs on, on their lip, and it's not a good look. If there are any teenagers who are currently doing that, please, for the love of God, shave. People will think you are much better looking, and you won't look like a nonce. <laughs> shave it off. It will grow through, I promise. But you gotta shave it off at the early stages. It's not a good look. And I know that from experience, because I was one of those kids. It was not a, uh, not a good time in my life. <laughs> shaggy beard, shaggy hair, Michael Sheen. Let's have a quick gander. Let's, let's see if there's a picture of him with a shaggy beard. Yeah, it doesn't fit though. Like looking at him when he's wearing a suit, doesn't look right. <laughs> you know, let me pull up a. Uh, let me pull him up on screen. So yeah. So like, look at that. It's like tight, nice, tidy beard. It's like a little bit unkept hair. It's like okay, now you can work with that. But then if you go unkept, like unkept and unkept. It's like, oh, okay, you just look homeless now. <laughs> just, yeah, that is just a homeless man. Well, tidy, tidy this beard a bit. Hair still scruffy, but now he looks presentable. Now he looks like a human being again. <laughs> yeah. I'll say, that, that's a pretty funny example. Save, yeah, Operation Save Rebecca. Yeah, that's the plan currently, Spaz. Yeah, Operation Save Rebecca. How many trades do you have? Oh, I got all the trades, yeah. It's because we, we did a zero to hero start, so... It involves taking a lot of negatives, and my character starts off very weak and very feeble, and basically has nothing going for him. But because I take all of those negatives, I have a lot of points to spend, so in turn I can buy a lot of positives. And eventually, after I level my character up, I can get rid of the weak traits and the, the unfit traits and the very underweight trait. And I'm left with a bunch of negatives that don't really affect my gameplay. So I can just ignore those ones. But I have a lot of positives at the end of it that are going to boost my late game potential and make everything a lot smoother for me. So, um, yeah, at the moment, uh, what, like, uh, very un- well, not very underweight. Underweight should disappear within the next few weeks, you know, if I can keep my food going up. Um, but yeah, slow healer doesn't affect me because we don't take injuries. Conspicuous doesn't do anything, period. So that's basically redundant. Prone to illness is only relevant, uh, for like, after I get infected, so that's not an issue. Then weak stomach only affects me if I eat rotten food or burnt food or anything like that, which we don't do, so that doesn't matter. And then slow reader, eventually I'll read all the books, so that doesn't matter either. And then we took also unfit, weak, and then very underweight... Uh, which we've gotten rid of weak and unfixed. We're over level 5 now. I still gotta correct that one again. But yeah, for all of those negatives, I've got cat eye so I can see better in the dark. Dexterous so I can move items quicker from my inventory. Outdoorsman so I basically just never get a cold and I can't be scratched by trees. Uh, wakeful so I don't have to sleep as much so I can get it down to about 4 hours per day. Angler. Um... It's not 100% necessary, but it just guarantees that I'm going to be able to get my fishing level high enough uh, with spears. So when the winter comes around, I'm above level 4 and I can still feed myself in the winter with fish. Uh, Brave is for the late game, so that stops me from panicking ever, like later on in the game. 
uh, light eater and low thirst because I don't like micromanaging my bare necessities and that saves me time. Gymnast because if you don't take that you're never going to level nimble to level 10 unless you take like burglar or police officer or something else like that. Uh, fast learner for everything and then spears as well. Keen hearing to see behind me. Organized to increase the inventory space of my vehicles for the late game. Uh, handy to boost up my carpentry and maintenance for the early game. And then, yeah, and then Stout is just from what we've currently owned. From, uh, leveling our uh, strength up. Just stop picking fights with ambulances. You can't tell me what to do. Those ambulances have it coming, okay? They hit me first. At least you close to the river now, get your weight up healthy. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully we can carry on uh, maintaining our body weight now. We've just gone up from 72 to 73, so... Slowly making progress. Yeah, hopefully that storm is done now, so I can start heading east and have a look out that way. You eat like a slob? Reach 200. Let's steamroll over zombies. No weapon re require <laughs> weapon required, yeah. Let's see. The trick to it is, uh, if I get bitten by the zombie, if I can just increase my body mass enough, it will take too long for the blood to circulate to my heart, so the infection will never reach my body. Like, it will never reach the, like, my vital organs. So I just need to accumulate enough mass, you know, not to be the size of a state, but we can make that work. <laughs> uh, can the zombies hear the sound of silence? They cannot. Nope. While it does play a sound, it doesn't actually generate any sound in game, so they can't hear that. Same as like other things like exercise. Like doing exercise has some sound files attached to it, but it doesn't actually generate any sound in-game. Uh, did you know that you'll get a ridiculous extra charge if picked up by an ambulance? I'm sorry, Lodi, I'm too European for that joke, you'll have to explain. <laughs> I can't hear you over the sound of the NHS paying for everything out of my tax money. It's like, what is that? Healthcare is a human right? Oh, don't mind if I do. Fat deposits just act like an armor bill. Yeah, maybe if I get bit, I can just start, like, ripping off fat deposits. Like you say, like armor, you know. I get bit on my thigh, just take out the hunting knife, just cut off a big chunk of my leg. Like, doesn't matter. It's only fat, it's non-essential. <laughs> just, you know, I won't have to cut off entire limbs then. They can't get to the bone, they can't get to, like, the essential part of my limbs. Right, but I'm gonna run on ahead, because I'm gonna try and grab Rebecca. And I'll fight all of you guys later when I come back. But uh, if I just run on ahead now, cause If I don't run on ahead, I'll be here all day. So it's just gonna be more and more of them in my way. And I think that van has fuel. I think. I might be misremembering, but I'm sure one of those ones has fuel. 
Don't worry, Rebecca. Don't worry, baby. I'm coming. <laughs> Regrowing armor. That's cheating. You can't do that. That's cheating. That's illegal. How's your maintenance and spear? Uh, we are currently level 9 maintenance, I believe. And level 8 spear. We are getting very close to level 9. Right, where are you? She's got to be close. I know she's on the road here. Somewhere. There she is. I'm coming, baby. I'll see you. <laughs> back. Back, you fiends. Don't worry, baby. I got you. <laughs> You're home now. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if we die. I have you. We can die together. Back, you animals. <laughs> nice music. And there's my victory playlist now. Lots of zombies around here. There are a lot of zombies. That's fine. We have what we need now. So even if you chase me out of this area once again, I have Rebecca with me now. We have... We have improved our lives and I'll ditch most of these guys back here and then we'll I'll have to fight the ones uh, around this area so they'll follow me all the way back home but that's fine So a few of these guys, but that's okay. And good timing as well, because the rain's picking up again. So I'll have to have another rest. Yeah, you can all follow me. And while you catch up, I'm going to have a little sit down over here. I <laughs> love seeing all the resting chairs. Yeah, I got them set up all over the place. Yeah, speaking of which... You served me well, plastic chair, but I'm going to leave you now. Now that I have Rebecca, you are being replaced. Yeah, good stuff. I uh, got anxiety attacks watching you. Oh, half tackling hordes of carrots on the street. Yeah. I just, I wanted that piano stool back. She's been there alone and cold and afraid for so long. But she's back with us now. She's part of the team. We've got one member of the team back now. So now we've got to find Jeremy and we've got to find Frank. <laughs> Uh, maintenance affects weapon durability. It does, yeah. So it affects the rate at which your weapon takes damage when you're fighting. Oh, a tragic love story. 
It could be a bestseller. I should write this. I should put this into a book. Oh, let's go do some more killing, though. Oh, that might help me a little bit. Just because it's raining, I need some, uh, just a few extra layers. To be fair, those two are pretty much the same. I might wear those baggy jeans though, they look pretty good. My my temperature is still dropping though, so let me just try and get that one up. Because my attack speed's uh very slow now. Come on, body heat generation, don't fail me now. Once, uh, when you get cold or you get too hot, you get a minus 34% debuff to your attack speed and your movement speed. But it is a horrible debuff. It's enough to pretty much put me down below, uh, level zero spear again. <laughs> so, yeah, it's not a, um, not a good time. To be fair, can I get it higher if I swing my weapon? I don't know, maybe. So there's not a lot of you, but it's a lot for the debuff I, I currently have. Myself. You have introduced yourself. This is a very good conversation. It's a very good conversation. Hello, Ranger. Stuff. So I'm just gonna let his uh, let his temperature increase a little bit. Fantastic. I just had to get rid of that debuff. It's so fucking bad. Yeah, I like blue denim though. It's nasty. Right, that's okay though, but let me try and get back inside now. So I want to have a rest, but I also want to get my temperature up a little bit more before I chill out outside, pun intended.
Uh, where, can you, where can you find piano st uh, stools other than Louisville? Like, uh, yeah, any houses that have a piano, uh, they don't have to be like mansion houses, like large houses. Uh, anything that has a piano inside. Uh, but if you don't want to go looking for those ones, because, you know, you can't tell which ones have pianos unless you know them. Uh, churches. Churches are always a really good landmark to go to. I'll go out and do some more fishing in just a second as well. Uh, imagine the mechanics from Pusey and Glorious Unreal 5. Yeah. Oh, they'd have to, like, completely redo the game, though. I hope, like, I wish they would do it. I wish they would rip off that band-aid and just do it. But I'm not a game dev. Like, I have to keep saying that every time I make a statement like that, but... I don't know how hard game development is. I, I know that that's just pretty much starting from scratch. But I wish they would just rip off the band-aid and just start making projects on board on a better engine. Because it's just it's done on Java, isn't it? Or something like that. It's not um it's not ideal. <laughs> like the foundation they built the game on isn't ideal to my understanding. But um Hey ho, as long as it works, that's fine, but Yeah. No, I want I want projects on board with ray tracing, that's what I want. <laughs> uh, is it just a cosmetic thing or does the piano still give some sort of extra uh, so like functionally it's exactly the same as any other piece of furniture for resting so the piano stool and like this chair and the beds upstairs they're all identical uh, but the, the difference is between them and the reason why you see everyone carry piano stools as opposed to everything else is um, the piano stool only weighs two units so it's the lightest chair in the game, as opposed to carrying around like this, for example, which weighs uh, 7.5. So most chairs in the game weigh 7.5. There are some that weigh 5.0, but only the piano stool weighs 2.0. It is twice as light as the next, like, next second, well, the second best chair. So these ones out here. That's why you see people using it so much. Game changer. It's a really good one to have. Yeah, it's a really good chair. Yeah, if you ever see a piano stool, definitely take it with you. Time on the pier, how cute. Alright, but I've got some spare time, so let me just grab some more fish while we're here. I'd pay them again if they chose. To I would buy it again. Like, I've bought this game dozens of times. The amount of times I've tried to get people to play it with me in the past over the years. I've bought this game god knows how many times now. Like, I've had to buy the game three times just for myself because I'm an idiot who can't remember his password sometimes. Have you seen the recent Thirst Droid? Uh, where they're working on, on the engine? Oh, yeah, there was, um... Oh, something something cards, right? Yeah. I, I can't remember what the title of it was, yeah, but... No, I saw that one. I, if that was the last one. 
Yeah, it was a lengthy third story. It had lots of details in there. That'll do. I think I heard someone. Yep. Right. And that is my cue to completely abandon the area now. Appreciate the follow, though. Happy days. Still a little bit over encumbered, but I'll live with it. But yeah, I'm not staying here. With the amount of zombies that I saw on the road down there, I'm not staying there after a jet flow, uh, flew past. I am not gonna die. Not today. Get rid of. Yeah, because I can always come back for that stuff. Is the power still on? No, the power's been off the entire game. You just had lights in the room. No, that was the fireplace. There are no... There's no power in this one. It's all off on day one. Uh, new bloggers out yesterday, I think. Fair enough. I haven't seen the new one then. I'll uh, give that a read. Yeah. I don't have to worry about my character too much, though. It's a long run, like, all the way back, but it, it's better to be safe than sorry. Just because we are still testing the waters with this area. And all that good stuff, but yeah, temperature-wise, it says that he's losing, like his temperature's dropping quite a lot, but until that goes all the way down to the end, he's not going to suffer from hypothermia. And I'm not going to go all the way down to the houses, I'm just going to go down to where the ambulance is. I'm not going to rest too much either, because there's no point resting when I'm this, uh, this tired. Wait, why can you not put that back there now? Wait, what? Why is my... 26 point... Oh, fucking fish. <laughs> I was like, what? why is... How is my bag overfilled? Fucking fish, that's why. Fuck's sake. Ah, well, I'm not that far away. The ambulance is just by that, uh, uh, that wrench. So it's not that far to go. Uh, in the small 2x1 uh, exit door, there was a white light. Nah, you would have been mistaken. There's no power on. There's, there's nothing that's powered. It would have just been like a, um... Uh, it would have just looked like there's a light on, but there are no lights on. There's nothing that can be powered right now. Right. Freezing cold. That's fine, though. The ambulance isn't that far away. 
So I may have to kill those guys who are behind me. Maybe. So they might follow me all the way down here. But we had the sirens running in the ambulance here for a while and nothing came out of the woods, so... We should be okay. And uh, just... Because I can't remember either. Just gonna double check and make sure you do have a window. <laughs> uh, yeah. Window, window. Yeah, you have windows. How is my temperature still dropping? This weather's horrendous. Good news is, as he dries inside, um... Uh, while he dries inside the van, uh, his insulation is going to be slowly rising as everything gets a little bit better. Not an ideal situation, though. Thirty nine, that's fine. I'm just waiting to see what this does, because I don't want to send him to sleep if he's gonna get hypothermic. And Yeah, you're still completely wet. Are you not dry? You should be drying. Yeah, that's not wet, that's not wet. Yeah, I need your clothes to dry. <laughs> Not survive it. Oh, it just calls in like a care package of junk. <laughs> it's basically just a helicopter. Is the heater working? No, it's turned on. It's just... Just because it's so cold and my character has basically got no insulation because he's soaking wet from the storm. So I would go outside and do a bit of running, but he's got no, um... No stamina. I'm just thinking. Yeah, no, I'm, I think I might die. Yeah, I don't have enough to um, do anything. Now, let's just see what happens. Either he lives or he dies. The hypothermia doesn't take your health down to zero last time I checked. It just goes down to one. But the second you, like, fucking breathe, you die. <laughs> but there's nothing else I can do, really. Campfire. It's not a bad idea. I don't know if it'll be any better than the heater, though. It might, though. Uh, but, just thinking about it. Um... Uh, campfire might not be a bad idea. I mean, it's worth trying before we go to sleep. Because, like... It's a good thing to show off as well. Just like for the people who haven't ever had hypothermia in the past. It's a bit like starvation. You don't have to panic the second you see hypothermia. It's like, it's not like, Oh shit, I'm about, I'm about to die to the cold. It's like, no, you've got plenty of time to think about it. And, you know, think about the best thing that you can actually do. Uh, given the circumstances. But yeah, no, I have an axe, so... I'll make a campfire now. Um... I'm not sure if I'll get rid of some of this clothing. I thought this clothing would dry in here, but it's not drying. 
Uh, but yeah, you're pretty much fully wet. That's... Fine. Nah, we'll make a campfire then. We'll see if, how much difference that makes. I'm not gonna take my clothing off, because... It's already, like, all fucking soaked through anyway, so it makes no difference, honestly. Let's leave you there. But yeah. As long as I can just hold off until the rain fucks off, we'll be fine. So I'll probably cook up some of this food and overeat, uh, overfeed myself, because eating the food will increase my body temperature as well, funnily enough. And I can hold off the negative of that for a little bit. Um... Uh, with the health regeneration from the food. Yeah, this is why I always carry my soul with me, though. <laughs> always comes in handy. And I got some twigs, so let's just make a very quick campfire. Drill one plank. Yeah, it's only two. Not ideal, but <laughs> it's not the worst. Oh, I got. Oh, I actually have a cold as well. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, so yeah, let it be known you can actually still get a cold without doorsman. That's the first time I've ever had a cold without doorsman. <laughs> that's hilarious. It's the slowest attack in the world. <laughs> yeah. That's fine, though, because I'll deal with that later. But the temperature's um, still dropping, so that's not ideal. Uh, but yeah, where did I drop that other plank to? There you are. Yeah, I don't expect there to be any more zombies, though. It was just that small group that saw us earlier. Uh, still these. Oh, hello. And one more for luck, apparently. Yeah, and another one. Another two. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> Leave me alone for like one minute. No, I think after that jet, that might be it. I think we might be dead. Because that's probably going to bring some zombies in now, so I might be done. Swing and a miss.
No, it doesn't seem to be enough. Oh, no, maybe. It's not too bad. I need to throw some more fuel in there, though. To build the heat up. But I gotta, like, keep wa uh, watching everything behind me now. Just because of, uh... How, uh... Little I can see around me. Yeah, case in point. Yeah, I need more fuel as well. <laughs> Alright, let me just put you two there for a moment. It's very spicy. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill them now. Now that there's more than one, I'm not going to be able to... ...kill them all. Now I'm way too slow now. What do you seem to understand? Not locked in here with you. <laughs> no, I think they won. You're locked in here with me. Slow you down on some of these trees. Said <laughs> holy, just holy. <laughs> no, I can barely. I like I can't walk faster than them at the moment. I'll ditch my bag as well for a little bit of extra speed. Yeah, F, big old F. But uh, he's not dead yet, so it's still... It's a maybe. It's a very light maybe. <laughs> like the lightest of light maybes. Alright, let's throw you on my back really quickly. Yeah, that maybe is pretty much nil. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to carry on walking. What happened? Uh, zombies. Lots of zombies. <laughs> Alright. Let's grab you first. Um. Nah, I'm not gonna chug them just yet. There's no point chugging them at this moment. So you'll carry on like that. The temperature is increasing though, so like... The lack of, like, the lack of, well, oh, sorry, not the lack of, the, the fatigue I have and the exertion I have at the moment is not that bad, honestly. Um, it's just the temperature, it's just outlasting the temperature. But the temperature's increasing, so it's 5am now. So it's just about not getting grabbed. <laughs> so I'm gonna drop my bag in just a second, I just need to wait for the timing of it. Because if I take my bag off too early, I won't be able to throw it on the floor, they'll catch me. I'll try and take you through some of the trees. See, I'll just remember where that bag is. I am speed. <laughs> Fastest man on the planet right now. Look at him go. That temperature is slowly getting there, but... Yeah, <laughs> I am. Captain Fatigue. Yeah, I'm not gonna kill him off, though. I'm gonna hang on. Hang on to my thread. So I wanna see what the temperature does. So as long as this rain goes away, we're golden. It's just, I don't think the rain's gonna go very away. Very calmly, very politely, <laughs> tell the risk assessors to fuck off. Let's tell all the risk assessors to fuck off. We are experts, okay? <laughs> what happened? 
Ah, uh, so we're on time 16, but we're doing Twitch integration with Pinpoint Hearing. So we have finally made our way back to an old area that we got chased out of by zombies. Um, but when we got chased out of said area, uh, we've had more and more zombies fill in the gap, like, behind us. Uh, so when we went back just a minute ago, it's got lots of zombies there. And then someone called a jet in, like two jets back to back. That has chased me away, but I didn't have the energy to get back to a different outpost, like a different location. Um, and currently, we're just kind of walking away from the zombies, because I can't run or do anything. And we're just waiting to see if the temperature increases enough to get rid of my hypothermia, which... Eh. It's, it's really just dependent on the rain at the moment. Because uh, the zombies can't do anything to me. It's just about seeing what the weather does. But there's no point in me trying to lose them in the trees, because I have a cold now, so... <laughs> I can't, uh, I can't lose them in there. Character got a fever? No, no, that's just a cold. So it just makes my character shout constantly. But yeah, these guys can't kill me, but I can't kill them. <laughs> so, we're kind of just stuck doing this. But it's because you timed those jets pretty well. Because, uh... Prior to that jet coming... Uh, like, when we had the campfire made, before that jet came in, we were fine. But after that jet, that may have just done us in. If I can just get a little bit further ahead of you, you won't walk as fast. I can actually outrun you then. <laughs> I'm just slightly slower than them, so I can't do anything. Yeah, walking. Yeah, I'm playing Daisy right now, walking simulator. Hold on, you can. Of course, we won't give up. We never give up. <laughs> Doesn't matter how dire the situation looks, no, we will keep playing constantly. We will keep going until he finally dies. So it's almost three degrees now, and the rain has stopped. So you know what that means. My insulation is going to be slowly rising now. Yeah, so I'm currently on 1.43. You give it a few seconds, 1.44. So my insulation is going up now because my clothes are drying off. Um... So you, you can't go below zero insulation, but the more wet your clothes become, the less insulation they provide. So as my clothes start drying off now, now that it's stopped raining, uh, my insulation is going to start steadily increasing. And the temperature outside is increasing as well, so if the temperature increases enough, like it doesn't have to increase a lot, just enough to get me out of hypothermia. And if it does that, uh, we are golden. But, um, yeah, it, it's just this mark here. As soon as this one starts moving over to the right a little bit, we are, we are good. It's a lot of red buffs. It's not looking good, is it? But, uh, we still got a couple of hours, though, until he dies. So, we are gonna hang on and see if his insulation can go high enough to save him. And it's not a waste of time either coming down this way, cause even if I... Like, even in the best case scenario, if I didn't have these zombies behind me, I'd still have to come down here anyway to go to my other house to sleep. <laughs> so... It uh, makes no difference. Yeah, I'll have to dodge some of these zombies coming in from the front, though. But there shouldn't be that many, because we cleared this, most, this area out for the most part. Uh, don't worry, Arthur. I have a plan. <laughs> hypothermia cold won't kill you alone. I mean, the hypothermia will take your health down to basically one. 
But if you take any damage after that, so if you do literally anything, you die. <laughs> so it won't kill you directly, but it will put you to the point where anything can kill you. But the temperature's increased enough now. I mean, insulation is high enough now that we are slowly recovering. We're still hypothermic at the moment, though. I love dodging in slow mode, it's great. <laughs> but yeah, I have an idea of where I'm going. I have a plan. How many behind you? Oh, yeah. No idea. It's, it's probably not that many. It's probably like less than 10. But in our condition, we can't fight that many. And I'm not going to turn around because that will kill me. Um, you can get to the house of the zombies. That is the plan, Spaz. Great minds think alike. Because there's a fence down there. That I can use to slow them down and separate them. And I'll have to kill all of them. Because obviously they'll hear me while I'm sneezing in the night. But, um... Yeah, that is the name of the game. That is hilarious, though. Yeah. Let this be a showcase. It doesn't matter how bad your character's looking, you never give up on your character. You can always save them. <laughs> you just have to be persistent. Like, fuck this game. You can't kill me. The only one who can kill me is me. What are you dying to? Uh, it was hypothermia. Well, it still is hypothermia, technically. But his temperature is increasing now, so that's, uh... Ideal. Seasons in the sun. <laughs> you can't kill me, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> Alright, how's my insulation doing now? Yeah, 1.86 now. And yeah, still pretty wet, but that's fine. Yeah, his shoes are drying off. Jacket's drying off. Uh, formal shirt's completely dry. <laughs> choo choo, the zombie train. Uh, hell of a fucking long walk, though. <laughs> just just defy death, yeah. Just remember, if you're ever gonna die, just say no, and pull out your Uno card, and then death has to kill himself. That's just how it works. So many dead zombies, no better clothes. I mean, I want you to really think about this one now, Buggy. Let's say that there are clothes on those zombies that I could wear to get my insulation up. Do you really think I'm going to be able to pick them up right now? <laughs> yeah, no, don't try. Yeah, not not humoring the thought of that. It's not that's not going to happen. Swing and a miss. It's been a while since one of you lunged at me. Not that much further then. So we've only got to get down to like this area here. That's where the fence is. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's gonna be an absolute fucking nightmare to ditch all of you, but we'll give it a try. Because the nice thing is you can't die to fatigue. 
Yeah, it is raining again, though. That's not a... Uh, that's definitely not a good sign. That's gonna keep me in hypothermia again. But where are all the tree zombies? What's happening? I'm just going for a stroll. Just walking my zombies for the day. <laughs> like a good responsible owner. Enough time to pee. I've already dropped my bag, Spaz. I'm not wearing a bag. <laughs> I dropped my bag a while ago. Long time ago. It's fine though, you know why? Because we are speed. <laughs> oh, the fence is further away than I thought it was. <laughs> More rain, I know all the rain right now. Yeah, I can see my temperature just fucking rapidly drop again the second it starts raining. Are you winning, son? You goddamn right we are. You proud of me, Dad? Ah, and almost by the fence. Oh, there it is. It's right next to me. So this is about to get very boring and very well. <laughs> A little bit more boring than it already has been. This is about to get very tedious fighting these guys. Yeah, that's going to be incredibly tedious. There's a lot of them. But that's fine. That's a lot. It is, but it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, this is why you always remember it. I need, I need my go faster racing stripes. That's what I need. Just try to lose them. I will log that down under pro advice. <laughs> nah, like, it looks a lot worse than it actually is. It's, um, it's not that bad, honestly. I, it's, like, the zombies aren't, like, the worst of it. It's the temperature that's the worst of it. And the fact that it's still raining. But it's, um, apart from that, it's not too bad. Right, but before I do this, because this is about to take fucking ages, I'm going to quickly stretch my legs again, and I'll be back in less than 60 seconds. Right, and I'm back. Right, what have I missed? Um, excited to see this 1% damage with Spear Flare. Yeah, no, it's about to get very, very spicy. Right, uh, but yeah, let's... Let's make a go at this then. <laughs> this is gonna take a while. But when they spread themselves out, if I can get, like, just one that's on his own, get him on the other side of the fence, I can get, like, the odd one or two one-hit kills like that. Mm. 
But yeah, and I have more spears over here, because this is where we used to live. So, I don't have to worry about running out of weapons either. I was hoping to get that guy then. Yeah. If I just play around the fences, I can just try and separate them a little bit. Trying to kill them while they're grouped up. I, I can't take advantage of the spear's one-hit kill. And that's like the only thing I can really use to kill them at this point. <laughs> like, trying to slap them normally, that's going to take way too long. Oh, fucking rain. I know. It, it's been raining so much on this game. It's really surprising. You can't rest? No. Can't rest. But yeah, I can't hang around the fence too long like that, because they will trip me and they will fuck me up. <laughs> This rain is getting very tedious, though. There might be another one. Yeah, good. He's on his own. Yeah, I told you it was about to get fucking slow. <laughs> yeah, just one kill at a time. Probably die of dehydration. Nah, got hours. It's a mighty big group, though. Appreciate the follow stink. That's gonna be more zombies. Start again. No, we're not doing gambas on this. <laughs> no, no gamba. Appreciate the followers one well, nine. Hmm. 
So let's grab you guys as well. Yeah, we'll just circle back around this way again. I mean, you can follow if you want, but just know that if you follow, it calls in jets. And then that's going to bring more zombies, so it's just going to be more of this. <laughs> but no, you can do what you want. That's what it's there for. What's the plan now? Just carry on doing this. Just get the odd kill here and there. And just chip away at them, because there's nothing else I can do. I just, I have to kill the ones behind me, because there's no, there's no way I can physically lose them. One? Oh, you were just in range. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold up. He just tapped my ankle. But yeah, there's no way to outrun these guys with a cold, so. <laughs> Got quite spicy. <laughs> this is just the entire game now, until they all die, or I die, whichever one comes first. And there are a lot of them, though. <laughs> there is nothing to rethink. Not a very complicated situation, to be fair. <laughs> it's really, uh, it's pretty cut and dry. Because there is some cheese I can do, but I refuse to do it. There is a way to get out of this guarantee without them killing me, but I just, I don't want to do it. Why not embrace the fence so they separate randomly? Because that's not going to work. To the crouch. No, I refuse. I refuse on principle. <laughs> Embrace the dark force. No. Yeah, it's just separating just a little bit now. No, uh, he's thinking of a different cheese. I'm pretty sure that one won't work at the moment anyway, because I have no stamina. Like, that one only really works for injuries and that type of stuff, I believe. Not stamina loss. spreading out a little bit better than that, so that's good. And that's another one. <laughs> Slow and steady. <laughs> I'm going to run out of fence by the time I kill them all. You've been missing out spears. Oh, I should definitely try spears. They're definitely worth it. I think those ones will catch up before I can attack you. How is my health doing, actually? Eh, his health's doing fine now. Just 
swing and a miss. <laughs> My kingdom for a tissue. Food might be an issue. No, food won't be an issue. Like when you get to the very hungry stage, that's only like the, like just over the halfway mark for starvation. So we've still got plenty of time until we would starve to death. Spicy. I'm a little bit curious though. I wonder if I can. I've been seeing some of them like lose me further and further back. I wonder if I can just ditch some of them and separate them into like different groups. I don't think I can, but I want to just give it a little try. Eh, I lost a couple of them. <laughs> Not enough to make a difference, but I might be able to ditch them. There's so many of them, it's going to take way too long to kill them. But I got so many fences to use around here. Your know, first call is this brutal, yeah. I mean, it's not the cold that's the worst part, it's just the lack of stamina and such, but it was just where we were at the time. down to the fence over here now and then I'll see how many I have left behind me. Might have ditched a couple of them but I don't think it'll be like the majority. But you never know. Yeah like that's a little bit more bearable. Like I can kind of work with that. It's still not fantastic but you know it's better than trying to fight fight like 20 of them at once. Thunders may help, yeah, maybe. Go for house. No, they're all door openers, so doors don't have any effect on them. Uh, 
I'm trying to think of where else I can go. I may be about to do something very... very dumb. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Most likely. I can't hear the ones behind me, so let me try and kill you. Nope. Swing and a miss. Sirens and run. Get out of my head. <laughs> no, that is exactly what I was going to do. Because it'll have a large enough range to, like, pull everything in around this area to that one zone, which shouldn't be that many zombies, but it'll be the ones who are chasing me. And as long as I can get them to lose line of sight on my character, they'll chase the, uh, the next sound they hear, which will be the siren. But it involves getting to the car. <laughs> Cheat death yet? Nah, still working on it. <laughs> Slow and steady progress, all that good stuff. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I didn't see that one. That one crept up on me. But yeah, that was a fun run, though. I'm definitely going to tweak the integration, though, because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let me... I, I have to show the map. For the players who are new, I have to show it. All right, let me pause. Uh, well, let me open my map and pause it. I will show you how bad it's been. So we've been playing on that character for about six days. <laughs> Fuck, I know, right? Yeah, so six days. And we've been fighting the entirety of West Point out in this area. It's been so fucking bad. What the fuck was that? So I'm definitely tweaking the integration. Like, <laughs> God damn. But yeah, I'm going to quickly load up debugs. I want to see the zombie pop. I want to see where the zombies were, like when we died. Like, how much did we actually clear? Was not our destiny. Times change. Times change. But yeah, let's, um... I'm gonna load up debug so I can open up the zombie pop map, and then we can actually have a look and see where all the zombies ended up. Because I'm sure you were bringing zombies from Moldra and Ekron as well, like where we were towards the end of the game. But we can actually have a look and see where they all ended up. But yeah, let's, uh... Let me load debug. And then we can have a quick little analysis. Because I am definitely going to have to tweak the integration. Because I like having it on, but goddamn. With pinpoint hearing, like, that shit gets out of hand, like, within the first month or two. <laughs> but that's been one of my better runs for, like, how, sh how bad things have gotten, like, early on. Like, I've never been pushed out of town that badly. Uh, that was really fucking bad. Good fun, though. And what did we end on? It's like 20... 2000-ish, wasn't it? Pinpoint, yeah, pinpoint and integration demonstrating how bad they both are together. <laughs> Two times dying in a storm, I think there's a pattern. Um, no, that was the first one. I don't think I've had any char any other characters die in a storm. That I can remember. Right, but yeah, let's have a look and see what it was like at the end, then. Yeah, cause we died over here.
Right. Um... Well, we made the right call, leaving the trio of houses anyway. So I would have died if I stayed there, I think. <laughs> like, if I slept there. Yeah, because those guys probably came from that one after you called the jets down in this direction. So yeah, you overran that again. Yeah, there's a th over a thousand there. A thousand down here. 400, 200. Very spicy. Um, It would have been a good idea to run out to the riverbank, like, out here. But hindsight's twenty twenty. But yeah, where we died was like over here. Yeah, I don't I don't think we were gonna make it out of that. The sirens might have helped. Maybe. Yeah, cause maybe cause, I mean there's like 170 over here where we were gonna be sleeping. 50 there, 60 there, nearly 400 there. Fucking rip. Yeah, let me just have a quick look. Yeah, you little bastards. <laughs> yeah, look at that. 2,300 out of zero. You've been dragging zombies from Moldra, you little shits. How many did you manage to drag out of here? So I thought I was seeing too many zombies come from the south. Yeah, you dragged over 3,000 of them from this cell. About almost 1,000 of them from here. Yeah, you've been dragging them from fucking Moldra. And Dixie. <laughs> like, you've emptied out half of Dixie as well. They've all been filtering up north. What about Ekron, then? Yeah, because, I mean, there's like 1,000 here, and this isn't supposed to spawn zombies. That's not supposed to spawn zombies. Let me have a look. We've been, yeah, we've been fighting for, like, well, three or four towns at once. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, 1,100 out of 1,800. You've been dragging them from Ekron as well. There's over 1,000 of them missing there. So, yeah, normally this is empty. Like, there's nothing here. But you've been, like, we're, like, dead in the center, like, over here. You've been dragging everything. Into this one area. Yeah, let's have a look at... What did West Point look like at the end of it then? How many did we have left in the town itself? Um... Well, I nearly emptied the east side of town. Like, all the way down. Uh, like, over here. There's like 3,000 out of almost 9,000 left. In those cells. And all of these have been, like, halved. You pretty much emptied the one by the gun. Like, you've emptied almost the entirety of Twiggies in the gun store. Like, all, almost all of the zombies have gone from there. And then, yeah, the 12,000. Like, that's the biggest one. Like, the center of West Point. Over half the zombies from the center have gone. Over half from there. Like, you've dragged, like, half of them out of town, more or less. That is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that is very spicy. I'm definitely gonna have to tweak the integration uh, for the next one, but we'll probably we'll probably start a new one in just a moment because we always have the integration off for the first month anyway. So I don't have to like I don't have to do anything with my integration. I can just uh, not have it on as we normally do. Anyone have a clip? There's probably a clip. There's usually someone who clips my deaths. <laughs> yeah, that was a, um... This has been a hell of a fucking funny run, though. Yeah, I think this is the worst integration game I've ever seen. I'm not on anything. I don't think anyone's had one worse than this. Pinpoint hearing and integration were not supposed to go together. <laughs> That's so fucking good. Pinpoint Louisville start sounds fun. Oh, have you ever seen Pinpoint Hearing in Louisville? I'll show you now, since we've got the, um... We're here. It's bad. It's really bad. I guarantee it, if I teleport myself here, a house alarm will probably go off immediately, and the entire town will light up. There's normally a house alarm when I try this. 
Oh, you're being very quiet. That's a change. No, no house alarm. That makes a change. Oh, no, there we go. House alarm. <laughs> yeah, you give it a second. All of this will light up now. Give it a few seconds. We learn a lot about ambulances and how dangerous they are. And alas, it wasn't even the ambulance that killed us in the end. Sad. Very sad. Oh, there you go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you ever play on Pinpoint Hearing and you go to Louisville, just know that one house alarm, yes, it will encompass the entire town. They are that loud. <laughs> they are like a Christmas tree. Yeah, Louisville is a very funny place for Pinpoint Hearing. Yeah, at least we were out of range of that, though. God damn. Yeah, it was bad enough just trying to fight these three towns at the same time. That was bad enough as it was. Yeah. The hardship show yield better results, so, <laughs> so keep the Twitch integration. Now, we're going to tweak the rules for it for the next one, because I might have to set it so you don't, you don't have any integration for the first, like, six months. Because, Jesus Christ. Like, I, c I can get my foot in the door, but... You push me away so far that the problem compounds. Because, uh... We've been killing zombies from Mulder, we've been killing zombies from Ekron, and we've been barely holding on the entire time. So, I don't want to have a game where I have to run out of the boonies again. <laughs> so I'll probably... I, it might not be six months, but it might be like three months uh, where the integration's off, so we can get our foot in the door and we can actually start having fun. Because, I mean, the ultimate goal is still to get, like, back to the highest kill counts again. And I don't want to have to, like, slog through the countryside killing a few hundred at a time. I want to be able to jump into it and start, like, butchering everything again. But yeah, let's, uh, get rid of that one. But yeah, that was a very funny game. But no, any star for effort for, uh, Orissi. Orissi, Atron... Stank and Nye, you four were the ones who killed me. Because if you didn't call in those jets, we'd still be alive right now. <laughs> it was those four jets uh, when we were by the ambulance making a campfire. Those four, like, spread out as we were walking away. That's what killed us. Did we catch a call and die? We did die, yeah. It was a very, um, it was a very funny ending. Oh, uh, yeah, they got the save is a bit chunky, isn't it? Less significant. Yeah, I could do like a slow rollout. Like. So the events just get like, like progressively worse the longer the game goes on. Yeah. But I'll start a new one now because uh, we, we won't go through like a month of gameplay um, in one stream. And the start of it is just going to be exercising again anyway, so. It's going to be pretty, uh, pretty dull for the most part. But let me just get rid of debug, because I don't want that on. Yeah, we, we, we did learn that you do still catch cards with outdoorsmen. That is the first card I've ever caught with that. Yeah, what a way to learn about it as well. <laughs> That's good. Where are my five Knights of Freddy's fan arts? No idea what you're on about. Alright. Uh, Twitch stats. Daily kill count. Yes, yeah, so all the mods are still the same. I don't think we're going to change anything... ...with the... ...difficulty. Uh, let me just go for the settings. I think everything's going to stay the same, more or less. It's just the integration that will change. Yes, that's all fine. Yeah, instant, instant, very often. Forgot to carry your tissue. Alas, I may have used my tissue for other means. Who would have thought that it would get me killed? <laughs> Right. 
Uh, I'm going to put that one back to normal because I, I didn't notice any difference between it being normal, moderate, and low. It all looks the same to me. I might try it on low, actually. We'll see if that, that doesn't anyth yeah, does anything. Because it all looks the same to me. Uh, but we'll leave the rain like, yeah, we had the rain on normal as well. Fucking hell, it rains a lot, doesn't it? So barring integration, what's the lesson here on survival? Uh, literally just the integration. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if there's anything to be learned is uh, be a little bit more patient, because the only reason why things escalated as far as they did is because my fatigue was so high. But it snowballed from the integration, like that was the catalyst. So we were going to stay out by the three houses, but you started calling jets on me. So I had to leave. And I would have gone down the riverbank and slept on one of the chairs down there. But I had it in my mind that the, f uh, the rain was going to drop my temperature too low. So I was just going to run back to the ambulance and stay there. But then you called more of them on me. And then we got a cold. And it's like, oh, well, shit. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not losing any of these zombies. But, um... Yeah. I probably could have survived. Like, I could have played that better. Could that like there would have been a way to survive that, but uh, yeah, <laughs> just fucking cold without doorsman. I just I find it so funny that you can actually you can you can catch a cold without doorsman. Still, I've just never seen that. Yep, in the autumn it rains. In the summer it rains. In the winter you'd think it would snow, but no, it rains. It's nothing but rain. Right, but yeah, that's all fine. But yeah, the finishing blow was the cold, yeah. Like, after I got the cold, I couldn't lose them. Like, they were always gonna hear me. Because they wouldn't, like, you could have lost them if they weren't pinpoint hearing. I could have just gone through the trees, because when your character sneezes, like, they, they can't hear you constantly. They just chase after the, the last sneeze as if you're shouting. Uh, so I could have walked through the trees to lose them like that, but because they had pinpoint hearing, I wouldn't have been able to walk far enough away. They would have caught up to me. But, um... But yeah, no, it's quite funny, though. Yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, no survivor vehicles, nothing like that. Uh, yeah, so we got, yeah, door opening, zombies, and yeah. Long memories, eagle, eagle eyesight, pinpoint hearing. Body 10 minigame, yeah, that, it is a bit tedious doing that. I kind of like it, but it, it does get a bit much at times. And then, yeah, time 16, day one. And then, uh, yeah, we'll still do the integration, but I'll, I'll come up, like, after the stream, like over the weekend, I'll come up with like a roadmap on how the integration will roll out as the game progresses. Because who knows, I might even throw some of the military helis in there, like at the end. But um, yeah, I'll have to see. But yeah, speaking of which though, let me just quickly delete that command. Um... I gotta delete the command for the helis because we're not having that on for the rest of the stream because it's gonna be day one. Let me just get rid of you. I'll do. <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah. Stick with those settings. I might change my character a little bit, though. I don't know what I'll change him to, though. Because still, I'm still going to do zero zero. We always do zero zero. Don't really have anything else I need to buy. Hmm. 
No, I can leave all of them there. No, I think I'll leave my build the same. It's just kind of like a simple spear build for zero zero. I don't think I can improve there. But yeah, now we just gotta hunt around for uh, the right spawn. Which is gonna be a little bit tedious, but we'll get it eventually. Because we need a spawn by the school so we can get out of town. So let me just turn you off, and that. We don't have any events or anything like that on at the moment. Yeah, that's the wrong spawn. And let me change my title now as well. While that loads. I'll do. But yeah, this is the the most tedious part of starting this run now is just getting this spawn. <laughs> but there are three of them, so we'll get it eventually. Yep, fresh run. Brand new one. So the start of it is just leveling up fitness and strength again, so it's just a lot of exercise for like the first month or so. It's just a lot of fishing. It's a lot of fishing and it's a lot of burpees. Nope. Oh, wrong side of town. <laughs> Could have snagged near sighted. No, cause I wouldn't be able to wear my Plague Doctor mask then. And then pacifist, that would slow down my spears. So, like for a like a like an actual marathon run, I would take that. Um, like with the idea of go, like trying to survive for ten years, like I would absolutely take that. But for this one, we're just playing quite casually. We're not we're not going for a super hardcore run. We're just waiting for Build Forty Two to come out. So I don't want to make things too tedious, and make, make things too slow. Well, the mask counts as glasses. It does, but it doesn't give any of the benefits, like cure short-sightedness. No, it's got that, yeah, it's got that brand, brand new car smell. Wrong side of town is a criteria for a reset. On these settings, yeah. You physically cannot make it to the other side of town. Why start in West Point? Because we go to a specific area. It's the closest town to where we run off to to set up our characters. I mean, like to sh I can show you now like why we need a specific spawn. Because if I try and get to where I need to be to get this run going we physically won't make it there because we are a zero zero character to start off with so we don't have that much stamina so we're going to get exhausted before we even get up there but even trying to get up there even if i don't run out of stamina i'm physically not going to make it through this many zombies because we are on like the complete opposite like opposite side of town to where we need to be. <laughs> so that's why we need to get a a select uh a select group of spawns. All on the west side of town. I know the lag. I know it's bad. Really bad. But there are three of them. There's two that are right up right next to the school, and then there's one that's very close by. 
And either one of those, uh, any one of those three spawns, they're close enough that you can make the run quite comfortably on these settings. Yeah, little spear boy. Oh, that's a thing as well. We're not going to have a fucking garden saw anymore, are we? <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to making my spears from fucking tree branches. No. No, that's a fate worse than death. Don't send me back. Don't send me back to the bad place. Please, I'll be good. Just give me back my saw. I know, the luxury of the saw is just... Oh, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it so much. Still don't have, don't have one three months in. Rip. My condolences. My sympathies go out to you. That's a bad life to live. The gods are not being kind to you. But don't worry, you'll find one. Eventually. After you search everything. Under every counter, in every crate, you will find your saw. It's waiting for you somewhere. You'll find the coveted saw. Fuck, you just keep giving me... Oh no, this is actually one of the spawns. Oh, good stuff. We can give this one a go then. It's the worst one out of the three spawns in this area. This is the worst of all of them. But it's, uh... It's still technically close enough that we can give it a try. And we might make it. But let me grab what I can first. M16 mag. Why not? Because you never know when we'll find an M16. I'm sure we'll find one in the woods. House alarm on day one as well. Uh, but yeah, let me run up this way. It's a little bit easier. Nope. Maybe. Nope. <laughs> Bloody house alarm straight away. Fuck! <laughs> oh, well. No. Ideally, we get the house that has Rebecca. Ideally. That's the one we had on the last game. That one is, uh... It's the best because it has Rebecca, and it's also the furthest east... Uh, furthest west as well. Yeah. But anytime we get one of those three spawns, doesn't matter which one of the three it is, we will try them. Just so I can get a run going. So I have something to go on on Monday. Uh, do you have Zombie Shrug and House Alarms enabled? Yeah. I mean, with that one, it's kind of bugged as well. So if you have... If you have cognition... If you have zombies with higher cognition... Um, so they can open doors and they can also damage... Uh, you also have environmental attacks enabled. It doesn't matter if you toggle it... So they can set alarms on or not. Doesn't matter what that setting's set to. They can just set the alarms off anyway. Um, so yeah, they can set all my alarms off constantly. Yep, way too far. What's the worst one in this area? Probably the motel. Yeah, it's probably the worst of all of them. It is... The furthest spawn, it is on the far east side of town. There is no way to get around to where we need to go in a single day from that spawn. Without putting in a tremendous amount of effort, which would be for naught. Where can you find my playlist? By typing in exclamation mark playlist. That'll take you to Spotify. Doing having issues with that in single player. Yeah, 
Yeah, so if you want to keep it so these zombies can't set the alarms off, you have to turn environment, keep environmental attacks off so they can't uh, freely target doors and windows. Don't have any cognition, so they're just normal zombies, so they don't have the ability to open up doors. And then you have to also set it so they can't set alarms off naturally as well. And if you have all three of those off, they can't do it. But if any one of those is turned on, uh, they can do the alarms. Last time I checked. Oh, this is the second best house. It's not the one that has Rebecca, but it's uh, it's better than the one than the one we just had. Yes. The only reason the third house, the one that's over there, the only reason that one's so bad is because the uh, oh, there's already a fucking alarm that's gone off. Uh, but yeah, the only reason that one up there is so bad is because when the zombies come down from the river, rip. <laughs> when they come down from the river, they absolutely fucking flood the road that you have to run past. It's a really bad time. But yeah, that was bad timing with the alarm going off straight away. Ripperoni. Okay, so we've had two of the three spawns now. So... Statistically, Rebecca should be the next one. <laughs> Please, game, give me the Rebecca house. People pushed you too far? Oh, well, unlike the, the last game. No, well, they didn't push me... Well, I mean, they did push me too far, but... We pushed back, but we pushed back too quickly. <laughs> yeah, no, none of the commands will be up today. They won't be updated today. Because we, we only just died. I don't know if that's how stats work. That has to be how probability works, right? That's definitely how it works. <laughs> I thought that was the house for a moment. I was about to say, see, I told you. <laughs> Just manifest Rebecca. Let's just get rid of some of you. It's kind of dumb that the alarms work without electricity. It is. But still, I would like to hire that company. You know, should civilization ever come back. Because goddamn, their alarms stay around for years. They knew what they were doing when they installed those alarms. Whenever I see that piano stool, even though I'm playing myself, it feels like borrowing something that belongs to you. And so you treat Rebecca kindly, okay? She's a valuable asset to the team. Rebecca must be respected. Ah, oh, literally the worst spawn. Alright, let's show why this is the worst spawn. <laughs> it's fine. We'll definitely make it to the far west side of town, right? Right? Yeah, definitely. Out of my way, bitches. I got places to be and people to see. <laughs> my game is chugging so badly. My frame rate. My poor frame rate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. And it crashed. <laughs> so yeah, that's why we don't do any of those spawns. That's one of the reasons. Yes, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. That's why we don't like the motel.
You know, fucking, I got my, I got, I got my PowerPoint presentation locked and loaded ready. 101 slides that show why we fucking hate that side of town. <laughs> See, it's it's not the time sixteen that does it. It's the it's the time sixteen with the pinpoint hearing and all the house alarms going off at the same time, because the game is trying to calculate what the fuck to do with every single zombie in that town. So there's like fifty thousand, like fifty to seventy thousand of them, and they have to work out exactly what to do with those zombies. And yeah, my computer does not like that. It has a very bad time trying to work out what to do with all those guys. smoke coming off. I can make a little snack while I stream, though. You know. If I get hungry while I'm streaming, I could always just load up a brand new Time 16 pinpoint hearing alarm game, crack an egg, spill it out on the top of my PC, <laughs> make myself like a little egg butty. That'd be fine. Right. Oh, shit, it's Rebecca. Fuck, come here, Rebecca. We're out of here. Right, none of, the, none of the alarms have gone off so far. Oh, fishing three. Fuck yeah. Give me the books. Please don't die now. This is a very good start. Yep, the house alarms have gone off, and so it begins. I'm not gonna make it through that. Yes, I am. Happy days. I'm something of an F1 driver myself. Fucking Neil. <laughs> Alright, almost past the worst of it. Nope. Ah, we were so close. I bumped the second one. I turned too late. <laughs> Alas, that Rebecca is gone forever. <laughs> we weren't that far away from the target, though. It's literally just at the end of that road, and then we're clear. So close yet so far. However, we're in no rush. We'll get one at some point today. It doesn't normally take that long to get one going. Yeah, the easy way would be to turn all the house alarms off, because that's the only thing that makes this difficult, really. It's just those house alarms. Because when they're all standing still normally, oh, it's so much more relaxed getting through them all. Because they just, none of them chase you actively. <laughs> you don't have to dodge any moving targets. More of a seamstress threading the needle. Probably need a mod for those specific spawns. Yeah, we, I mean, I could just teleport myself out there, but that's a little bit boring, you know? If I'm gonna go out to that area, I'm gonna earn it, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna kill my character repeatedly, and I'm gonna earn that spawn. But yeah, logically, this is, like, dumb. <laughs> you know? I could just save myself some time and just TP out there, because it's the same result, but... I want to get that, uh, I want to get Rebecca on day one. And I want to try and get some loot from the starting house as well. Because you can guess, like, that was a, like, not a bad one. Like, we had fishing volume three in our spawn, spawn house, which would, uh, it wouldn't be, uh, great on day one, but I'd be able to get that level six, uh, fishing very easily. 
Yeah, exactly. It's earned if I made it out as well. Yeah, I don't want to just spawn myself in re with Rebecca and a bunch of other stuff. Nah. Nah, I want to try and get out legitimately. It's more fun that way. Are oh, those three spawn points? Yeah, I could. But it honestly doesn't take that much time or effort to get the spawn. So it would be more effort to make the mod and do that than just trying to just get the right spawn like this. Because I don't start new games very often, so I only, I only have to go through this like once in the blue moon. <laughs> if I was doing it like every single day though, no, I would absolutely try and either make the mod or commission someone for it. Because yeah, that would um that would take so long. Otherwise, but uh, yeah, it won't take us that much longer because we've already had like of all the games we've made so far, we've had the spawn like what the spawns that we need three times already. Uh, what killed you? Uh, a combination of the pinpoint hearing, integration, a cold, and max exertion and fatigue. <laughs> Oh, and hyperthermia as well. That, that did come into play a little bit. Yeah, lots of things went wrong. All at once. <laughs> yeah, perfect storm, yeah. It's because we got chased. Like, we went out... Uh, we managed to get back to the, the three houses by the lake. But, um... We got chased away by jets again. Which wouldn't have been too bad. But when we got chased away, I was already really tired to begin with. Um, so I didn't have that much... I, I was already pretty high on fatigue and pretty low on stamina. Uh, but to make matters worse, I couldn't just run out and stay by the riverbank. Well, at least that's my that was my thought process at the time. Because it was the middle of a storm and I was going to get hypothermia. And I thought there would be more zombies out there as well. So I was like, fuck. <laughs> Between a rock and a hard place. I oh, know, those were the good days. Yeah, the ambulance definitely- the, the, the ambulance probably put the hit out on me. The ambulance probably paid the pilots. <laughs> yeah, I just never stopped raining. It was raining so much in that game. It was ridiculous. Like, every other day it was raining. Yeah, there are mods that give more spawns, yeah, like pillow spawns. Yeah, I never run that one. Good mod though, but yeah. When you're doing set, like, when you're running settings like this and you need a specific spawn or a specific region, you can't run mods like that, because it's, um, there's only so many parts of the map that work with settings like this, unless you want to, like, traverse a stupid amount of distance. Because, <laughs> uh, like, I could make some of these other spawns in West Point work, but I'd have to run so far out of my way. Like, by the time I would actually get out of town using those spawns, and that's if I stayed alive. I'd get the spawn I want by doing this method instead. No more to fix single spawn location. Nah, if, even if it does exist, I'm not going to use her. I don't run mods like that. Like, nothing against it, I just don't like installing mods that I don't need. You know, if I can... If I can get by without using a mod, I'd rather not use it, because it just... The, the more moving parts you put into a machine, the more likely it is to break, and... You know, it's only... Like, that would only be a really simple mod, but I don't want to add anything like that. Just in case. I like to go as simple as I can, really. Yeah, you can follow me, that's fine.
Oh, great song choice. <laughs> Hoping that you find the Santa hat. Oh, I don't believe that's real. I still don't believe it. I've never seen it. I don't believe it exists. For the river? No, that won't work. There are far too many zombies through that tree line. And I won't be able to, like, I won't be able to dodge any of those guys in there. Right. But if I could make it through, yeah, it'd be fantastic. Like, once I would get to the river, there'd be nothing there. But I won't make it through that tree line. <laughs> yeah, as if I'm going to make it through that. Don't worry, Rebecca. I'll come back for you. I can see you. <laughs> I'll be back, I promise. And that would be the best spawn. I'm going to make this one. It's a bit tight. Oh, it's very tight. I'm not going to make that. Nope. <laughs> I could see them. I was like, oh, fuck. I'm, I'm too far in there. I can't turn back either. So that, that is way too narrow. Of course, Santa Hat's only spawn during in real life December. See, I've heard that, but I've never seen it. Like, maybe it is a thing. But I'll believe it when I see it. You know? Because... <laughs> It's not just that I haven't seen it myself, but I've never heard anyone talk about it. I've never seen anyone ever take any screenshots or post anything about it. I've never heard, like, anything. And then on top of it, I've never seen it myself either. So I don't believe it's real. Um, and if someone were to, like, show me a screenshot today, I wouldn't believe them either. Because <laughs> I had too much of a coincidence for you to show me now. But, um, yeah, maybe it is real. Maybe it is. Also, hello, Beaver. Yep, new star. They murdered me, Beaver. They murdered me in cold blood. It was the ambulance, I tell you. The ambulance planned everything. But yeah, new star. New. There'll be new integration rules for this one as well, because goddamn. Like, we've tried... This is the third, like, the third main attempt on this now. And uh, the first attempt we made, we had integration on straight away. And I died almost immediately because they overran the three houses on the first stream. And then we did uh, the second one, which we just lost. That one had the rule that integration was not on for the first 30 days. That made absolutely fuck all difference. <laughs> like, we still got steamrolled. Um, so now the new rule set, I don't know what it's going to be. Like, it's probably going to be like a three-month window of time where there's no integration so I can get set up. And then they're just going to, like, slowly roll out so they don't all get dropped in at once. It's just like, one thing gets unlocked. Like, you know, you can now call in jets or helicopters, but there's, like, a hard limit on it. <laughs> yeah, pinpoint hearing and integration. Spicy combination. But we're trying to get a, a good spawn going at the moment. So right now, we are struggling to get the right area that we need. Mods out. Yeah, there are mods for a... Uh, don't think it's in vanilla. Like, it might be in vanilla. Like, it'd be really easy to check. Like, just go in debug and check the item list when you try and spawn stuff in. Um, But, like, in, in reference to, like, a naturally spawning... Santa hat. Never seen it. Never heard anyone talk about it. So I don't believe it's real. <laughs> but, um... Yeah. But whether it's real or not, I'm, I'm indifferent to it. It's a Santa hat. <laughs> it makes no difference. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um... 
it's one of those things I've just never seen or heard about. And you know, wouldn't be that, uh, that strange, but not hearing about something that's like that distinctive over like 10 years, you would have thought you'd hear something in that time. But yeah, I've never heard anyone mention it. Oh, fuck, what am I doing? Yeah, the last death command won't work. None of the none of the commands in reference to like deaths deaths or anything won't be updated. They don't get they don't get updated in the same stream. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe in Santa. I've seen a few people, a few Santa people in my playthrough. You're, it's a conspiracy, I tell you. Why the fuck have none of you talked about it in the past? It's a conspiracy. <laughs> I've never heard anyone talk about it in the past. You're all liars and schemers, I swear, okay? I don't believe you. <laughs> Maybe pinpoint is overkill. It might be, yeah. I might turn I might turn the pinpoint off. Maybe. I like having it on though. But um yeah, the pinpoint might be a bit overkill. Yeah, because we were yeah, we were fighting zombies from West Point, Ekron, and Mulder at the same time, and then all the surrounding areas in between. So it was very spicy. Uh, game? Game? <laughs> I, I seem to be in purgatory. Game? Okay. <laughs> well, while that tries to work out what it's doing, I'm gonna pour myself a coffee. Ugh. You've only seen one Santa hat, but it was months ago. See, I've never seen them. I've never seen a Santa hat. Because, I mean, Rhett was in, was it yesterday? Or the day before? He was saying that he... I, I don't know if he said he knew or he heard that they could only spawn in December in real time. But December wasn't that long ago. It's March now. And I stream full time. Like, I play this between 30 and 50 hours every week. And in December, we were still on the last Time 16 game, I think. So I was killing like 10,000 zombies every single stream. So I was killing like up to like 30 or 50,000 like per in game, well, per real life week. And you would think that there'd be at least one guy there with a Santa hat, but I didn't see a single one. So even as it's not real or there's something more to it, because <laughs> like, I didn't see anyone. I've never seen one spawn naturally with a Santa hat. And. As much as I like people, I tend to follow probability and numbers more than I follow people's words. <laughs> also, I think I need to close my game because it doesn't seem to be loading. Time 16 was too much for this boy. Yeah, maybe we'll try it with Pinpoint off then. Turn it on six months in? Yeah, I mean, that, that's what we did with the other Time 16 game. The one, the one where we did 297,000. Um, so, yeah... But before I do that, I'm going to quickly load my game in debugs. I want to see if the, the Santa hat is in vanilla, because you've got me curious now. I'm going to load up debug so I can spawn that one in. And while my game loads, I'm going to stretch my legs again, so I'll be back in less than 60 seconds. Right, and I'm back. But yeah, let's quickly see if this Santa hat is actually real. Because, I mean, this will be just, like, 
a yes or no. If it doesn't, if it's not in the game, it's just not possible. If it's in the files, though, if I can spawn the hat in, there's a chance. <laughs> oh yeah, Green Red X. I'm pretty sure that's in vanilla, but I've never seen it spawn naturally. I've never seen it in a, any containers either. Mm hmm, skill issue, premium skill issue. All right, let me have a quick gander. Yeah, so it spawned, like, you can get it in debug, yeah. So it does exist in the game, it is in vanilla. <laughs> I just, I've never seen it on a zombie, naturally. Like, it's never been in the game. I've never seen it, but maybe it does spawn in. I would like to know, like, when and how it spawns in, though. Like, is it based on your, like, your system clock? Like, does it have to be December real-time? Does it have to be December in game time as well? Do they only spawn in certain areas of the map? Like, tell me. Give me the wisdom. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, but I gotta close my game anyway, because I need to get rid of debug. So let's get rid of you. Certain store probably, maybe, yeah. Uh... You saw the outfit on a Zed uh, while in a forest. Never saw it again. <laughs> it's turning, it's, uh, it's like one of those old fucking myths from... Uh, like, the PS2 and PS1 era of games. Playing GTA San Andreas. Like, yeah, if you go to the woods at a certain time, there's Bigfoot, I swear. <laughs> so, yeah, you go into the woods, yeah, you can find Bigfoot in G GTA San Andreas. It's so, like, oh yeah, if you're playing uh, uh, Saints Row 3 as well. Yeah, if you play Saints Row 3, if you shoot the right enemy at the right time, you can save Johnny Gat at the, at the very start of the game. Yeah, there's a whole different, whole different game where he's alive. <laughs> right. Now let's get rid of all of those. They're all failed spawns. And I might just do a completely different character build. Like, if we're changing the game settings, I might just change my character completely. Is it the toggle all cloven or unlocked? Oh, unlocked. Oh, yeah, if you want to, like, set your character to have equipment or, like, bags or certain clothing at the start of the game, in the sandbox options, you just toggle unlock all clothing. Uh, cause that's what I've done in my settings, because we have it so that we can have our, um... Yeah, if I just turn you on for a second. Um, yeah, I have it so I can have my Plague Doctor mask on day one, because otherwise I have to craft it, and it takes over a year to find that shit on the settings that we play on. <laughs> but, um, yeah. But you're looking for... Uh, which one is it? Yeah, this one right here. Um, all clothing unlocked. But yeah, let me... Uh... Uh, no mods used. Well, that ain't correct. There we go. Your uncle that works at Nintendo told you that. My dad works at Microsoft. He'll ban you. Now, give me 500 Microsoft points. <laughs> Fuck it. I miss those messages. You'd be playing like Modern Warfare 2 and some little shit would send you a message like, My fucking dad works for Bill Gates. Now you send me 2,000 Microsoft points or I'll get your account banned. <laughs> oh, funny stuff. Right. Uh, so yeah, we'll still do West Point. Um, let me go through these settings. I'll probably tone it down a little bit now as well, just so... Cause we're just going for high kills, that's all it is. I still want to do time 16, but let me have a look. Yeah, one hour days, I'm not changing that. Yeah, instant, instant. I'll probably just leave this on the default, which is sometimes. 
Um, I might just leave it all default, honestly. Just all default, except for uh, the pop. Yeah, why not? So, I mean, that's just going to be set to... Yeah, that's all just going to be rare. That'll be rare as well, won't it? No? Often? No, sometimes. Um, I'll turn the blood off, because that just affects performance. Um, I'll probably turn, I'll keep all the loot rarity on Insanely Rare as well, because it's, it's already too much loot anyway, at that stage. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just put it all on, like, default Apocalypse. Just a nice chilled out game, I guess. Um. Chandler's, yeah. We'll put the transmission on instant, though. Quite spicy. <laughs> Very spicy. Two hour day gives more time for second loot. Yeah, two hour days is like it'll give you more time for killing, but it's terrible for like survival time. Like one hour days is like the accepted metric for like if you want to compare scores with people and you say like, oh, how long have you survived? And you're like, oh, I survived like a year or two in my game. You kind of go in with the assumption that they're playing on one hour days. Because if you're playing on anything more or anything less, it throws the game balance off completely. Like anything more than one hour days, it takes an ungodly amount of time to get a high score, and it's very easy and chilled out. <laughs> and anything less than one hour, and you can get really high scores, but the game is ungodly difficult. Um, but yeah, let me just run through all of this. But yeah, we'll have that off on instant as well. But yeah, I'll leave all that. Normal. All of that on normal. And... I mean, I'll leave that on once, because we're not doing the integration immediately, so I'll leave the helicopter on as normal. You know, we'll do the seven-day one. And then we'll do the integration, like, after after the fact and all that stuff. Um... Turn the blood off so it doesn't ruin my game. Yep. Oh, you want insanely rare, though. Uh, yeah, I'll leave that one on. Yeah, that's all fine. 15 minute days went, ah. Oh. I've never had a serious run on 15-minute 15, 15 days. It's so difficult. You have no time to get anything done. It's so fucking hard. You get hungry and exhausted so fucking fast. <laughs> if anyone ever does, like, a full year on 15-minute days, my hat is off. Because, Jesus Christ, that is quite the task. I just kick the bucket? Skill issue. Just TLDR skill issue. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, let's do 4 by 4 by 4 by 1 by 0 by 0 by 0 default. I mean, we'll turn groups off. I mean, why not? We'll have it so they can form unlimited sized groups. They can be as big as they want or as small as they want. No difference. Yeah, we'll leave that on default as well. And, yeah, then the expanded. We're doing the integration after an arbitrary amount of time, so we'll leave you on like that. And... Fuck, what do I call this one? Like, the Blood Bank Extra Light? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ex extra, extra light, why not? <laughs> oh, are you seriously going to stop me from doing it like that? Uh, 
Wait, why can I not put a full stop in there? Ah, fair enough. Yeah, so I got the Blood Bank, <laughs> the Blood Bank Challenge, the Blood Bank Time 16 Light, and now the Blood Bank Time 16 Extra Light. Yes, yeah, because our character is on a diet. You can't have too many zombies, apparently. <laughs> Big group save uh, time pulling them in. Not really. Like, on paper it does, but when it gets to the late game and you're starting to make, like, colossal-sized groups, if you end up turning, like, if I left a car with some sirens on, and uh, the sirens turned off for whatever reason, or if I left the area so the car gets, like, unloaded, uh, when those zombies no longer have a sound to chase, they have to form groups of 20, and then they have to spread themselves out so there's, like, an, a nice distance between each other. If you set it so there's no groups and they can be wherever and do whatever, uh, they don't have to redistribute around the area then. They can just all stay in one zone. Which makes, like, rounding them up a little bit easier. Uh, but in terms of difficulty, I mean, at, at that stage, it's redundant. It doesn't make a difference. Uh, but you can get, like, groups of thousands of zombies, like, all in one area, just waiting for you. Big multiplayer on uh, multiplier on four, put it sixteen. It is so it's it's four by four. So if you want to know what your starting pop is going to be on day one, it's this one times this one, um, and that's what you'll have on day one. And then if you want to know what you're going to have at the peak population, that is this one times this one, and then it'll get it'll turn into that number uh, when you cross this threshold. But we're doing day one. 4x4, four four, and then P-Pop is also 4x4, four four, so it's just time 16 straight away on day 1. Yeah, no light zero. The blood coinage. Saves time. <laughs> Not that I thought it was a smart idea, no, that's fair. <laughs> right, am I changing my build though, or am I staying the same? Because I mean, if I'm running easier settings, I might run a sweatier character. Maybe. Yeah, I might even do a true zero to hero run. Yeah, let me have a let me have a gander. If I was gonna run the perfect zero to hero build, what would I do? Well, maybe not a true zero to hero, but just a zero zero build. I take a uh, police officer. Maybe claustrophobic. <laughs> yeah, deaf. <laughs> yeah, please no. Maybe. So I'm up by three. Uh, could get rid of you. Take that. So what have I got at the end of it then? Yeah, pacifist, conspicuous, slow learner, best you like. <laughs> yeah, mute. Yes. <laughs> oh. I will miss the riveting conversations I have with my character. I don't know how I'll cope if he can't talk. To be fair, having Mew would actually be quite a funny one. You just, you take Mew, two points, two or four points, your character can no longer shout, ever. <laughs> that would be quite funny. Does that exist? Make pulling harder. I mean, it doesn't exist, but it would actually be quite a good one. Just, you can no longer, no longer shout or whisper. Like, that would actually be really good. Um, 
Yeah, I can probably ditch thick skinned. If I ditch you. I'm trying to think now, what type of fucking build did I run before? Because this is looking very similar to the the last build we had. It's, it's very similar. But I know I had Fast Learner on that one. What am I not taking that I had on the other one? Let me just save you for a moment. Just save you like that, just so I can have a quick look at the other one. Yeah, what did I not take? So yeah. Handy, organized, low thirst. Fast loader. Alright, oh, it'll be gymnast. I took gymnast instead of uh, police officer. That's it, that's the difference. Yeah, I was wondering what I I didn't take. So yeah, I've got more negatives on, well, I have more negatives on this one, but, uh, yeah, I have a better, uh, build to, to go level 10 on every skill. Um, yeah, could take clumsy. Yeah, to be fair, get rid of you. Nah, fuck, I think I'll just do the other one. I'm, it's, it's just going to end up exactly the fucking same, except I won't have gymnast on that police officer. But... <laughs> Sorry. I'm just like overthinking it. Yeah, no, it's it's gonna end up almost identical regardless. Yeah, fuck it. That's just a waste of time. <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get the spawn that we're looking for. Deaf and mute. That would be quite funny. I must scream, but I have no mouth. Deaded? We are deaded. We are unsubbed from life. We committed die. We subscribed to the Skill Issue magazine. But yeah, we, we checked the pop map after we died. And uh, yeah, it turns out we were fighting three towns at once. <laughs> We were fighting Ekron, Muldra, and West Point all at the same time. It was not a good time. And we still haven't got the spawn. That's okay, though. So, yep. Now now begins the boring part again. The good news is, once we get the spawn we need, we'll, we'll get it straight away, because running out of town on time 16 is incredibly easy when there's no pinpoint hearing and there's no alarms going off. But, um... Yeah, just gotta get the right spawn now. Because I'm gonna go for the one that has Rebecca, because, you know, seeing as it's gonna be like a slam dunk trying to get out of town, I just wanna try and get the best possible spawn immediately now. Wait, I'm on the right set, right? Yeah, extra light. Pinpoint. Nah, this one's not with Pinpoint now, so we turned that one off. We were doing Pinpoint on day one, but Pinpoint combined with the integration, even after, like, a, uh, what would you call it? Um, oh, fuck, I've lost the term for it. Grace period? Um, like, after waiting for, like, a, a month or so, uh, with no integration turned on, even after that amount of time, it's still... It's the radius with pinpoint hearing and twitch integration is so large that it encompasses like three different towns. Like when we get pushed out. So it's just a lot of 
fighting in the middle of fields constantly. Um, it's not the one that has Rebecca, but I can probably try and grab Rebecca. Maybe. No, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to Rebecca or not. So I might. I could, if I grab all of those guys, it depends how many are in the field. Maybe. If I grab all the ones on the road, take them south, over the fence, into the field, I might have enough time to backpedal. She's in there. No, I don't think I'm going to... I won't be able to get her, I don't think. That's okay, though. Goodbye, Rebecca. I will come back for you one day. Yeah, this is just... It's so much easier without the pinpoint and the alarms going off. <laughs> I'm not even playing properly right now. I'm sipping my coffee while we run. My, my, how can I resist you? Right. Put my coffee down for this one. I'll let you go, Mamma Mia. Oh, I might get got on this one. Yep. Dead. <laughs> I was like, nope. Tree line. No. Tree line. Oh no. It's Wick. It's it's Wick raiding. Everyone act cool, okay? Yes, I I I do love this character we've been playing for a long time who hasn't died recently. Oh joy. How great it is to be alive. Oh boy, I love breathing and doing survivor things like making food and jogging. <laughs> Hello, Wick. How are you doing? Ah, uh, we all yeah, we all do love a fresh start. They bullied me out of my last game. Lots of integration, lots of pinpoint hearing zombies. It was a, a sad death. So we're, we're getting a new one going without pinpoint hearing for the first few months. But, uh, oh, it's, uh, it's been spicy. <laughs> what a day. What a lovely day. <laughs> well, yeah, we, um, we died on our other Time 16 game earlier today. And we loaded up debug afterwards and we had a look at the zombie pop map. And I thought we were just fighting zombies from West Point. Because we had integration on and all that stuff, and we got pushed out of West Point naturally from all the zombies chasing the helis and the jets. But, uh, when we checked the pop map after dying, it turns out we weren't just fighting zombies from West Point. We were fighting zombies from Muldra and Dixie, and also Ekron. <laughs> it's like, oh. So that's why it's been really fucking horrible around here lately. <laughs> but yeah, how has your stream been going, though? I hope it's been a, a little more forgiving than my own. You saw that. Uh, I said it before. 
And you'll say it again, fuck integration. Those are some words I can get behind. <laughs> but the masochist in me is crying out for more. To be fair, you're looking pretty clear. If that door is open, I might be able to grab her. I might risk it for the biscuit. Maybe. Nah, I don't think I will. <laughs> I want to, but there's not, there's not enough space. There's nowhere to ditch these guys. And that car is right in my fucking way. That's not good. This is not a good place to be. Swing and a miss, fuck boy. <laughs> Swing and a miss. No, my mask. I refuse to live without my mask. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> I refuse. I will not live without that mask. That mask is me. That is my essence, okay? We cannot do a run without the mask on our face. Uh, good on you for living that long. Ah, uh, yeah. We are... We are gonna go through the fun part of trying to get a run going, though. In the meantime. Uh, lost two straight runs. Oh, you're running susceptibility. Oh, fair play. I haven't had a... I haven't tried a run like that yet, but I've seen it and it does look pretty brutal. Having to replace your masks every few minutes. You need that minigun. I just need, like, a, an NPC companion for, like, the first 10 minutes. I just need, like, a character who has level 10 fitness, level 10 strength, level 10 spears, just to follow me around for, like, the first 5 minutes and just machine gun everything as I run past. Come back to find you dead. I know, I've been hanging around your stream too much. <laughs> You're rubbing off on me. <laughs> that was harsh. <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Oh, this is the, the third one back to back now. Third time we've had this house. Third time's the charm. But no. Yeah, we had a, uh, a very sad death today. Damn bloody integration. And skill issues. No, no, I'm being fucking toxic now. Slippery little boy. That's <laughs> casually strolling through zombie towns. This is fine. This is fine. I'm in full control of the situation. It's fine. Don't panic. Don't overthink anything. You know, what's the worst that could happen? This is fine. <laughs> We're living the dream. This is all going according to plan. No, no, the zombies are getting to me. They're breaking down my my nice guy persona. I'm like, no, no, it's 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 done. Okay, it's over. Toxic lampreys here now. Toxic abusive lamprey. <laughs> just, just don't get hit, bro.
Ah, get him, bro. And we're almost past the worst of it now as well. Almost. Why is there so many? They breed like rabbits. And we weren't supervising them, so it got out of hand. Uh, it's also time 16. <laughs> Oh, ripperoni. All right, we're past the worst of it now, though, so we are home free. So I'm going to have a little run. And I'm going to try, if I can, to have a look over there as well. So I'll give them a minute to catch up to me. So I just want to see if there's a saw or anything that's good in there. the worst of it he says hey okay we're home free we're golden now might try to search this one as well nothing there Uh, nah, they're, they're in lighter chairs. Where we're going. Well, not lighter, but the same weight. God, it feels weird being able to run around the zombies and not have them hear me now. <laughs> it's great. I can, I can actually run past things without everything hearing me. <laughs> Lamp is very popular among people with no brains. But Nip, you're here. <laughs> Why? Why would you say that about yourself? Pinpoint is no joke. Ah, oh, pin pinpoint's horrendous. It's horrendous. Yeah. So um, now that we're past the worst of it, I'll uh Let me see if I can find like it'll only take two seconds to pull it up on screen. But we we went through debug and we went to uh we pulled up the zombie pop map for where we were. Um, but yeah, it'll be something that's just fun to show off. I can do it now really quickly, actually, because I still have the backup save for the game. Let's do that really quickly. It's just fun to show off. I'll show you what the, what the map is supposed to look like with normal zombies, with pinpoint hearing, like, where they are originally, and I'll show you where they all are uh, just before we died on our game. It's so fucking funny. It's so bad. Hey, it's Twist as well. Oh, everyone's coming to cut, like, give their condolences. <laughs> Doesn't work like a heater. You only get the engine temperature mixed with the air from outside. Your engine was out. Yeah, it had no fuel either. But it was, um, it was the integration that did us, because we got pushed back, uh, from the, the three houses by the lake. But they pushed me back at the worst possible time. So... I had nowhere else to go, because I was, like, already really high on my fatigue. Uh, but yeah, let me pull up Debug, and I'll show you how bad this place is. It's so funny. But, um... But yeah, we were just gonna, like, uh, stay by the ambulance and set up a campfire and just chill out there for the night. And then sleep in the ambulance once my temperature, like, evened out a little bit. But yeah, the original plan was to stay at the, the houses. 
But it was like right at the end of the day, and my character was fatigued and a little bit exhausted. Um, but they caught a few jets on me, like one or two jets, and that forced me to run away. But because the temperature was so low, I couldn't run down the riverbank and stay there, because I thought I was going to run into more zombies and then also be hypothermic. So I thought, oh, I'll run back to the ambulance and I can chill out there for a bit. But, um... Yeah, alas... It didn't go to plan. But it was a fun run regardless. So I'm doing it again, but I'm not doing pinpoint hearing for the first few months on this one now. <laughs> but yeah, let me show you guys what it's supposed to look like. Uh, while my backup save copies over. Because I'll load up the other one and I'll show you where all the zombies are then. Did you die? We did the die. We did the die indeed. So yeah, let me just TP myself. So yeah, we were over... We died uh, right over... Here-ish? No, here. Yeah, over here. Yeah, let me show you what the map is supposed to look like, and then I'll show you what it actually lo looked like when we died. Cause it, the difference is... Oh, it's... it's magical. Yeah, let me... Head over to all these areas. I'll let all the alarms go off first. I'll let them all settle down. Yep, good stuff. And then we'll do Akron as well. And then this last little area over here. Now I'll pop off those last little cells. There we go. All right. So this is what the map actually looks like. So this is time 16 population on day one. This is where they're all supposed to be. So you've got Moldra down here. You've got Dixie. You've got Ekron or Lake Phallus or whatever you want to call it. And then you have West Point over here. And then you have a few stretched along the riverbank over here. So this looks like really nice and really normal. Like this is doable. <laughs> Let me load up the actual game now just before we died, and I'll show you where they all are. And you'll understand then why we were struggling so much to, like, stay alive. <laughs> it's fucking, it's biblical. But yeah, this was it. So this was, uh, at the start of the stream today, so about three hours before I died, give or take. Like three, like two or three hours. And then we got West Point over here. Sometimes it doesn't go off straight away. And then there's also Muldra as well. <laughs> and then there's also Ekron. Yeah. Look at them all. Bastards! <laughs> There's not supposed to be anyone here. But yeah. But we were out there for such a fucking long time. And because the integration is so fucking loud with pinpoint hearing, we had zombies coming from every direction, from Muldra, from Ekron, and from West Point, and they were just all converging from every side down on top of us. The AC-130, yeah, I need a fucking AC-130 for that. Yeah, it was, uh, it was bad. <laughs> really bad.
I think we died on 22,000, give or take. But yeah. It's a horrible, horrible time. But yeah, that's the last time I'll sh I'll sh I won't show it anymore, unknown. I won't show it anymore. <laughs> what was the part that uh, you and Rhett worked out in the end for the whole map? Oh, about 4.6 million in total. So it's, it's like 1.1 million on the actual map. But then 4.6 if you include the surrounding area. Like the uh, the border of the map. And that area, or that place. But yeah, I'll hop back into my actual, like our new game now. Just let me delete you. And then turn off debug, because we don't want to play with that on. <laughs> Needs more br- I just need the Scorch Earth it. Just nuke it from orbit. Just get rid of everything. Clean slate. I've been a million off, yeah. Yeah, it gets, like, a bit arbitrary. Like, when you go high enough, it's like, oh, how many zombies are there? It's like, oh, about two, three, four million. <laughs> it's like, yeah. But yeah, just the, the towns and the back roads, it's 1.1, but no one's ever killed that many, so. But yeah, very spicy death today. Yeah, let's carry on with our new character now. And we'll run out to those, uh, to the mansions, the three houses, and we'll start doing our exercise then. Start getting this character set up. Yeah, before I forget, though, because we're not doing integration for the first, like, month or two, just turn these ones off. Gotta run, uh, gotta run, no worries. Yeah, let me give you a little shout out before you run off. Next, for those of you who haven't seen Wickham before, definitely worth checking out. Very good sprinter player, very good streamer as well. Definitely worth having a gander at. You know, I appreciate the raid. And I'll catch you later. In general, with the helis now, just, oh, no helis, no more helis. Turn it off forever, ban it. It's, it's done, it's over. I'll do a bit of foraging on the way out there. <laughs> no integration with the first one. Oh no, fucking. I have been scarred. I have been abused. I have been bamboozled. No, oh, I've got that PTSD now from all those helis. So we had a, um... God, how many do we have in total? Let me... Just turn it on for a split second. So we had 181 helicopters and jets in total. So overall, I think we averaged about two or three helicopters per day in game time. Yeah, not a, uh, not the most enjoyable experience. Is it a good sign or a bad sign? Let the run neck off the ground. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's... Yes, first aid one and first aid two. Like, ah, yes, the game is trying to warn me ahead of time. The game still thinks that we're running integration at the moment. The game is just overly cautious. <laughs> yeah, the integration's off at the moment. No, it'll be back on, but... Because it's the start of a brand new run. Uh, we're not doing the integration straight away, because it locks you in place to, like, never make progress. Like, with a normal character, you probably could, but with a zero zero, you just can't do anything. And it is very boring to watch, more so to play.
I'll trade my first aid books. I'll trade my first aid books for a saw, please. I'll take that deal. Just leave it. I know, it's 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 all because we touched the ambulance. If we didn't go near the ambulance, you know, even if it was only a few, like it was it was a few days earlier, if we had left the ambulance alone, it would have all been fine. It would have worked out. <laughs> well, those are my basic tools sorted out. Uh, how is it set up? Uh, it, oh, yeah, so it was... Um, the way the integration was set up is anytime someone follows, it calls in a jet. Anytime someone subscribes, it calls in a helicopter. But then you could also call them in again by donating bits, so... 200 with calling in, uh, call in a jet, 400 for helis, and then 600 for the Samaritan drops. So overall, we'd have about... 20 to 30 per stream, more or less. Oh god, I feel so slow and weak. rest in the car as well. No gas. Let me leave all of this here, yeah, because I'll come, pick, come and pick all of this up later. A few other wee-woos. Didn't realize you were doing bits now. Yeah, I've been doing bits the entire time. Yeah, it's uh, very spicy. It's I think linking it to follows is like the big one. Because, uh... We normally average, like, anywhere from, like, 5 up to, like, 50 follows. It, like, it, it varies greatly. Like, some days it's nice and quiet, and there's only, like, a handful, like, less than 10. And then other days, it's manic, and it's just, like, 50 of them, like, back to back. But linking it to the, uh, the follows is hilarious, because it can happen at any time. And it, there's no monetary value tied to it, so anyone can do it. And, uh, yeah, those were the ones that killed us earlier as well. Because it was like four jets back to back. While we were vulnerable. Appreciate the sub with Prime Zero. <laughs> Spitting on my grave. Why is there a helicopter? That shouldn't be there. No. No, Zero. No. <laughs> That shouldn't be there. How dare you? Why is the integration on? I turned it off. <laughs> no. The PTSD. It's kicking in. The Vietnam flashbacks. They're happening. <laughs> they're in the trees, Jim. They're in the trees. <laughs> I can hear the wee-woos. The wee-woos are coming. Why? It's, it's, it's not even connected. Why? It's turned off. Why are you defying my hotkeys? There's no helicopter. <laughs> Self-scammed. Why is the Wee Woo here? Uh, 
That's on you, I know. Premium skill issue. Look at this boy not disconnecting his hotkeys. The flying wee woos, all the wee woos. Yeah, I shouldn't be able to get inside, but let's have a look. Nope. But I've been sat down for a little bit longer. I'll only be gone for a second. I'm just going to stretch my legs one more time. I'll be back in less than 40 seconds. Right, and I am back. Happy days. Is that the standard heli? Uh, that would have been the standard heli, yes. <laughs> They're in the walls. They're in the goddamn walls. I f oh, I'm happy I am I get that reference. <laughs> I'm already gone. He's in the walls. He's in the goddamn walls. <laughs> Loki thought about going, uh, oh, shit's and death. If he did hear it, he wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah, I need, a, I need a schizophrenic tray that just makes my character just hear different things, just hears different sound effects at random times, imagining the helicopters. Alright. Oh, rip. One of these already burnt down. Well, at least it's not the one I want to sleep in. I like this one. That's my preferred house. Let's clear you first, and then we'll go through the ball one by one. And I'll try and level up my carpentry to level three straight away, so that we can start making uh, spears immediately. Oh, is there actually a mod for it? Oh, fair play. Flashlight. No, he's upstairs. And a cooking pot as well. Right, we are really well set up. I think there's one in the bathroom, maybe. Oh, there's a... Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> there's a saw. Oh. That's the run. <laughs> Oh, so fucking happy. Now, that makes it all worth it. Everything, everything that's happened for the last, like, hour or two, it was all worth it in the end. We got a house. It has a saw. We're living the dream. That's an omen. It's a good omen. It's a good omen. That is a, uh, a promising sign. All I've got to do now is just not fail the landing. What's the command for that? It is literally what you type, but the ex exclamation mark goes at the beginning, not the end.
Let's be fair, let me get a drink while I'm here. Yeah, and it sounds like he's in the closet in this bedroom. Yeah, not too bad. Now <laughs> release the hellies. Not on your fucking life. Nice, <laughs> oh, but that's all good. Uh, so let me start on my carpentry straight away, because... I need to get my carpentry to level three, preferably. Like, it doesn't have to be level three, it's just something to aim towards. I don't think we will be able to get it, though, because that house is burnt down. That's where I get a, uh... Oh, to be fair, no, I have a saw now as well. No, yeah, with the saw, I can get level three quite easily. Um, normally when we come out here, we only have the hammer. Uh, so I can only do some of the furniture. Yeah, with that, uh, that hammer, uh, hammer and the saw, now we should be good to go. Faint sound of rope beds can be heard. <laughs> oh, it's like, um, uh, like I don't know if you've played it. If, if, like, if you remember on Fallout 3, do you remember you could find that little doll? I think it was a monkey or something. You could find it in a in a trolley, in a uh, shopping car. And if you interacted with it, it would spawn a behemoth like 50 meters away from you, and it would just come fucking charging over the hill and kick the shit out of you. That's what it's like. It's just that item, the second you fucking touch it, Ten helicopters. <laughs> Straight away. Not to be fair, let me just dismantle you. The monkey's poor reference here. Yeah. So they added that one on uh, Fallout 4, didn't they? They added a very similar thing. In reference to it. Uh, Plague Doctor, uh, Plague Doctor's Mask is really cosmetic? It is, yeah. It doesn't affect any... ...anything... ...gameplay-wise. Uh, to tell a lie, it does affect a little thing. Uh, it's only a minor thing, but the Plague Doctor Mask does give me that minus 2.5% debuff to my foraging radius. So it's basically nothing, but it is technically there. Nothing in there. Right. I'll leave those chairs though because I have plans for them.
here and stuff so I can I know when I can go fishing now as well And there's some peanut butter and some bread in the back. I'll have that. Hey, Fluffy. Welcome on back. Hello, hello. Let's unlock all those doors. All right. Let's have a gander upstairs. Ah, yes. Tentacle plunger. Can't live without it. Golden, we are empty, so let's get that extra carpentry. Because I don't need that much more, just a little bit. Just to get that level three. Uh, does the broom or mop have a use? Uh, plunger, a no. Broom, yes. Mop, yes. Only if you have leech. So it's just cleaning. Like It's nothing like useful. The plunger, you can't do anything with apart from just using it as a weapon. Um, the broom, you can sweep up ashes, so if you end up burning dead bodies or you end up burning furniture or anything like that, it'll create a little ash pile on that tile, and you can use the broom to just get rid of it, basically. Just sweep it away. And then the mob, I'm pretty sure you can clean up blood with it, but you need to have bleach. Uh, but uh, in terms of like functionality, none of those things make any difference. Uh, there's no benefit to doing it. It's just like a cosmetic uh, thing. A little bit more. All right, we are golden. So I'll finish dismantling everything else tomorrow, because I do want to try and get my carpentry up a little bit more. But, uh... Yeah. In the morning now, I can start my fishing, so I'll try and look for a saw. A uh, saw, so we'll try and look for, um... A chipped stone. And another tree branch. And I can make myself... Uh, make myself a stone knife and then start making some spears doesn't do anything in real life either only cosmetic uh spoken like someone who's never lived in somewhere that's like dusty as fuck you tried inhaling that shit <laughs> not a good time <laughs> it's all about the bonk factor Uh, I'm in no rush. Let's get me anything. Any any chipstone. So I had my, my axe made earlier, but I had to use it up on a on the zombies, unfortunately. Lemongrass, why not? You start again? Yes. 
out of choice. Yes, there were no other actions that preceded us starting this new game. Yeah, we chose to retire him voluntarily. <laughs> That's how that character finished. Yep. Plunger is the superior weapon. Plunger is secretly the goat. No pro players want to tell you this. No veterans will ever give you the secret. But yes, the plunger is secretly the best weapon in the game. The things they do not tell you. <laughs> Get the fire extinguisher. You just don't want to accept the truth, Sad. Everyone knows the plunge is the goat. Plunger is the best weapon in the game. It's a tough pill to swallow, but even the mighty spear is not as good as the plunger. Alright, let's wait until daylight. To eight kills, new character, personal best. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, how mighty and powerful we are. Hear me and my eight kills. Gotta plunge the zombies, yeah. When my last well, my last character said it's plunging time, I almost cried. Such a cinematic piece of history. Oh. It was biblical. <laughs> yeah, we'll go back to trying to make some more... Uh, we're trying to find some more chipstone. Thanks. Unfortunately, we are back to being level zero, but we'll find some sooner or later. There's always stone to be found. <laughs> Tickle the zombies to death. Yeah, just get the little belly button. Bloop. Just bloop. Just. <laughs> <laughs> Plunger just gives giant hickeys. Maybe the zombies will just die of embarrassment then. Give the zombie a giant hickey on the neck with a plunger. Just it can't be seen by any any of its zombie friends then. They'll all judge him. Like what are you? What are you? Seventeen? Fuck it, I'll grow up. <laughs> Oh, the comically large... Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. Alright, to be fair, just find me anything. She'll very close to getting level 1. Literally anything. There we go. Yeah, none of the the last death command won't be for the, la the last death. It doesn't get updated until the end of the stream. The plant. Oh, plants versus zombies. Yeah. Oh, that's a nostalgia trip. Yeah. I think I tried playing that not too long ago. And, uh, yeah, the resolution does not hold up. It is, uh, it is very low res. <laughs> Gameplay still holds up, though. Still a fun game.
What a way to go. Now, come back for them later, but I need a... I need a stone now. Perfect. <laughs> Ask and you shall receive. So giveth the Lord, the RNG God, smile upon us. Now, did you ever do a run where you made your character yourself in real life? No. I think I did, like, one on multiplayer with my in real life friends um and the only reason we did that is because one of us is just like riddled with fucking health issues like he's got asthma he's really out like he's like he's asthmatic he, he wasn't in great shape at the time i think he was like slightly underweight as well like he had like a shit ton of negatives like short-sighted everything hard of hearing <laughs> and i think we just did it just to be again like just to be assholes it's like ah oh, yes go on luke take all those negatives <laughs> but no, I've not done a serious single-player game uh, like that. Is there a streamer trait? Yes. Where's the trait? Can I take the trait that just means my character sits indoors for like, you know, 10 to 14 hours each day, and he does the bare minimum to keep himself alive while he streams? <laughs> If I made uh, me in game, my character would be OP. Don't you lie, Myth. Don't you lie to us. You're sat on here. You're sat down watching us play a game on Twitch. There are no people who are in shape on Twitch. It's all lies. We're all out of shape. <laughs> Even if you're in shape, if you're on Twitch, you're out of shape. We're all underpowered here. <laughs> Can't see without my glasses, fair. Mob traits. <laughs> so many points left over here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Mods are just free DLC, right? I, I don't think they'd fit that definition, but kind of. <laughs> I mean, they, they'd fit the... I mean, no, they, they would fit that. Just free. I mean, we'd have to specify free. You just call them DLC. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It's like, what? what's a mod? Yeah, it's downloadable content. It's like, yeah, no, it fits. Hey. Right. Boom. Done. Right, I'll top up my stamina, and then I'll sort out my... I'll do the last of the carpentry, because there's a few little bits and pieces I need to take care of in the neighbor's house. And then by the time we finish, it should be time to start fishing. Maybe.
Yeah, we'll leave the chairs, as always, because I have plans for most of them. Nothing in there. There shouldn't be anything in the garage. Nope, nothing in here. Won't be anything in there. So it's just some of the beds upstairs now. And we might be able to pop level 4 carpentry. Maybe. Oh, not even fucking close. <laughs> not even close. Oh well. And yeah, we've done that one. Pretty sure I've done this one. Yep. So I'll come back with the materials later. But let's do the last house now. Uh, well, last house around here. And then I'll start collecting all the materials. Like all the scrap wood and all the planks. Like the planks will turn into spears and they... Uh, the scrap wood I'll throw in my fireplace as fuel. Uh, what did I get to, though? Let me just skim. Uh, constantly over-encumbered by potatoes. Nice. Potatoes are deadly, right? They are. Potatoes are lethal creatures. But, yeah, they are actually lethal if you let them rot. <laughs> In a, like, enclosed environment, yeah, the potatoes do give off a fume, like a toxin, that will kill you. It's hilarious. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hey! He's even brought us a gas mask, which I don't need, but I'll take. I appreciate the military boots, though. To see if there's anyone else lurking around. Did you read stuff for fun? Yes! A hundred percent. Absolutely. I've restarted for fun. Yeah, I, I looked at my character with 22,000 kills and I thought, you know what? Ah, uh, now I've just gone past the most grindiest part of the game, but I feel like starting again. <laughs> you know what I really miss? I really miss spending the first month doing burpees and fishing non-stop. God, how I wish I could go back to those simpler times. <laughs> oh, it's fucking hilarious. What happened? Oh, we got slapped. So... We had just finished clearing out this area down here, so we kind of had this re-secured. So we pushed up and kind of cleared out most of this, and we managed to get back to the trio of houses. And then, towards the end of the day, I was about to go to sleep, and then someone followed, and it called in a jet. And there's a few thousand of them who are out here, so they started coming towards us. So, if I stayed there, I would have died, because they would have just surrounded the area. So it's like, okay, we'll play it safe, we'll fall back. So I fell back down to about here, where we had an ambulance waiting for us. But uh, because it was like getting towards winter, and it was the middle of a storm, I started getting really cold. So I was like, okay, we'll turn the heater on. Wasn't enough. Started getting hypothermic. It's like, oh, that's fine. So then we came up with the idea, we'll just make a campfire instead. 
And uh, despite having Outdoorsman, it is the first time ever I've caught a cold with Outdoorsman. It's never happened to me. And we caught a cold out there as well. And then someone else followed as well, which caught in more zombies around this area and from back here. So I had no stamina, full fatigue, had a cold, and then we walked from here all the way down to our old outpost, and I was still surrounded by zombies, and then more people started following. <laughs> that was like two other jets that happened down in this area. Um, so I was just surrounded by zombies. And then I got caught out about here, I think. There was like one zombie that caught me around the tree. But um, we checked debug afterwards because we were curious as to where all the zombies were coming from. Like, how bad was the pinpoint hearing? When we were out in this area and around here, we were fighting zombies from West Point, Ekron, and Moldra, and Dixie. Everything was just converging on this one area. It sucked. <laughs> it was really fucking bad. So I've turned pinpoint hearing off for the time being. Because, uh, Jesus Christ. Following Call of Zombies, it did on that game. It's not on at the moment. But, um, yeah, every time someone followed it, would call a jet in, which would bring in a ton of zombies. But, um, we normally give, like, a, a grace period at the start of the game. So for like the first month or so, there won't be any integration so I can get my character like set up a little bit and then the integration gets turned on. But um, yeah, at that stage we had, uh, fuck, what was it? Let me check. It was 181 jets and helicopters in total. And it was over the course of about two and a half months. So I think it was like, it was, we died on like three months. Three months and 20 days, give or take, so... Uh, taking out the first month that I had no integration, so two and a half months. What was that, like 75 days? So we averaged about 2.4 helicopters per day on that run. It was horrible. <laughs> Too many helicopters. So yeah, I need to um, come up with a better system for my integration. But... I've got the weekend to sort that one out because I have a little bit of a uh, a grace period to go through first. But we'll be doing integration on this run as well, but I just need to come up with a better system for it. You can get colds in this game? Yeah, you can get a cold. You have to be wet and cold to have a chance at catching it, but yeah. It, it just makes your character sneeze constantly, which is uh, similar to shouting. So you just constantly keep luring zombies to you, just involuntarily shouting constantly. Sweetie, sweetie, they're coming for the booty. That they did. They successfully acquired the booty. Consent was not there, but booty had been acquired. <laughs> I cry every time. I don't think I'll be able to... Yeah, I can't dismantle that one because it's only half a bed. Rip. My good stuff. Oh, the other- ah, oh, fucking idiot. It was like, why can I not dismantle it? It's like, ah, oh, yes, I am missing half the wardrobe. Oh, pipe wrench. Very good. Very nice find. Alright. Well, 
I'll drop my stuff off and then we'll go we'll go around now and collect all the all the planks and the scrap wood. And I can take account of what I have then. Yes, the moodles. All the moodles. You can also sit in the vehicle and control your body temperature that way. Yeah, not not in our game we couldn't. <laughs> way too cold for that. It was mostly the um the wetness. It was my my clothes were soaked from the the storm, so my insulation was incredibly low. All right, but yeah, let me leave all of you there. And I'll come back for all of this later. I think I've never had a character get cold. Yeah, it's literally the first time I've ever had a cold in this game that I can recall. Like, outside of uh, CDDA, that is. Like, outside of the ones that just give you it on day one. Um, I don't remember ever having a cold before that. Especially with Outdoorsman as well. <laughs> so, yeah, it was hilarious. But we did spend, like, the entire night uh, with a cold. Well, with. Uh, almost hyper... Well, oh, not even almost. With hypothermia. And, uh... Completely soaked as well. The two can opener is very nice. Ambulance was out of fuel. Yeah, ambulance was out of fuel. That makes that would make no difference though for where we were, what we were doing. Uh, the engine running. Really, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we um, we had no no fuel. Let's carry just a little bit more. Not to be fair, I could probably carry just a tiny bit more. There we go. Best train in the game. Yeah, it's one of the best, yeah, definitely. Especially for the cost of it. Two points? Hell yeah. Always take outdoorsman. Allegedly had it when uh, I caught a cold. Yeah, it was because, like, it was because I was cold and I was, uh, like, I, well, I was hypothermic and I was completely soaking wet. Like, it was, it was a skill issue. It wasn't a matter of, like, outdoorsman being a bad trait or anything like that. Like, I was in the worst possible position I could have put myself in. Like, there's nothing I could have done worse in that situation to catch a cold. Like, everything I did then was, like, stacked against me. <laughs> no, Outdoorsman is definitely a good trade to take. It's definitely worth it. Alright. That's all good. Yeah, 
I mean, I've still got a little bit of time left. Well, to be fair, it's almost time to start fishing, so let me do that now. So I need to get some food in me. But you know what's coming back. The spear counter. I need to set it back to one. Well, zero. <laughs> But I'm not tapping that fucking key that many times, so let me grab the actual text file. Where are you? Uh, events... Spear counter, there you are. Yeah, good stuff. So yeah, that is our first spear of the game. And because we leveled up our, uh, carpentry to level 3 beforehand, it is a perfect condition spear as well. It's the goat. Nah, I wouldn't say it's the goat. Keen Hearing's the goat. Outdoorsman is definitely really good, though. It's one of the best, but Keen Hearing. Absolute Giga Chad tree. That's the goat. Always has been. <laughs> Eyes in the back of my head? Yes, please. Oh, yes, I am psychic. I can't see everything around me. I'm not going to go until 9 o'clock today. We'll just do until 8, and then we'll cook all this food up. Yes, we're off to a really good start, though. Nice and quick. Spear better for fishing? Uh, statistically, no. Uh, in terms of functionality, yes. In my opinion. <laughs> so the... The crafted fishing rod and the regular fishing rod, they will both catch more fish, uh, but they require more time and effort to actually be able to do so. So, a spear is gonna, well, a spear just requires a spear, that's it, you just have to have a stick, that's all you need. Uh, the fishing rod, however, requires, you have the fishing rod, and uh, you have to have bait as well. And then it has a very good chance at breaking. And so does the spear, but if the spear breaks, I can make another spear with, like, snapping my fingers. If the fishing rod breaks, I gotta get twine or fishing line, then a nail or a paper clip. And I also have to have the recipe to repair it as well. And when the, you're level 10, or not even level 10, like level 4 plus fishing, you'll catch more fish than you actually need to eat anyway, so... Catching anything more than that is just, uh, overkill. Let me just grab that sword. So I can make some sturdy sticks, because I need a way to light my fire now. Feels like the cost to benefit ratio is real out of whack for odds. It is, yeah. It's one of those things, it's like, 
it's like is this is this is number one better than number two and it's like well on paper yes but practically when you're playing the game no so yeah fishing rods are better overall on literally every metric but when you're playing the game spears are just better because <laughs> they don't take as much time But no, it, it does come down to, like, personal preference, though, as well. Like, like for my play style, spears are just... There's no match. Between a fishing rod and a spear, spears win every time in on any setting. But um, for another player, they might have a different opinion. You know, they might uh, find fishing rods to be far better for just how they play the game. Let's go up and get some sleep. And then we'll go do some fishing in the morning. So I'm almost done, like, rounding up the last of the loot in this area and all the resources. So I can just go and start doing my exercise then. Just exercise and fishing. So we can get our character to a healthy weight. And get ourselves to level 3 and 3. If you have the stuff, they are better. Yeah, like they're gonna they'll catch you fish they'll catch you more fish and they'll catch you fish faster. But when it's like it's saving you a matter of seconds later on in the game, it's like is it worth like eventually you're gonna run out of the resources that you've acquired for the fishing. So the time that it's saving you now, you're gonna have to respend that time gathering the resources to continue fishing with the fishing rod. So it doesn't save you any time, it actually costs you more time overall. <laughs> you can fish with plungers? Yes. Yes, you can. <laughs> or at least that's the reality I want to live in. Right, uh, so yeah, let me leave you, leave you back here again. So I only have a few, just a few pieces to pick up now from the houses. Not that much left. But let's go do that now, because this will be the last day that we have to do this then. What workout routine do you start with? Burpees. Always burpees. Because, uh... Currently, I have to level up both my strength and my fitness, and burpees are the only exercise that do both. And uh, before anyone asks, because I know there's always one person that gets curious about it, no, it's not efficient to uh, do squats and then do, like, push-ups. It's just, you either do burpees or you, well, you either do squats for your fitness, push-ups for your strength, or you do burpees if you want to do both of them at the same time, but you don't do sit-ups or uh, squats and push-ups. You might as well just do burpees in that case. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done in this one. There's just a little bit left upstairs. I need to grab 
Just a really small amount. Best way to fish with a shotgun. Nah, that's with dynamite. Gotta use dynamite. <laughs> yeah, either way, you're slaughtering with a dumpy damn right. Attracting all the zombies in town because they're gonna hear my cheeks clipping, uh, clipping, clapping from a mile away. How long do you do your burpees? Uh, until my weight gets up to level three normally, but um. Really, just until my weight gets back up to being healthy again. So once I hit the 75 to 85 mark, because I always, like, if I'm doing this tactic where I come out to this location, I always start very underweight, because while I'm doing my exercise, I just do nothing but fishing. So I need to get my winter prep done, get my fishing to level 4, so I'm all good for November onwards. Oh, if you mean, like, length or, like, how long do I work out for each individual exercise? Um, as long as I can before I get to moderate exertion. So you only start building extra fatigue once you get to the, like, the first stages of exertion. Like, once you get that Moodle, that's when your fatigue starts to increase. Uh, well, the rate at which you gain fatigue. It doesn't grow gradually over time, so... As long as you stay beneath the moderate exertion mark, uh, you are good to go. So that's what I aim for, personally. Right, and there's only a handful of pieces to do in the other house. And then we just gotta clear out the last of this one, and then we're done. Yeah, I normally do about 20 minutes. That That's like the... Well, 20 minutes is like the minimum. 20 minutes I can do at level 0 fitness and just about reach moderate exertion. Or just go over it. And then once I get to max regularity, my fitness levels up a little bit, I push it to about 30 minutes. But I don't usually go beyond that. It's worth it to push it to the limit if the exercise is performed before going to sleep. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're just doing, like, one workout, like, just before you go to sleep, yeah, why not? Because at that point, you don't, you don't care about building extra fatigue, and you don't care about maxing out your exertion or anything like that because you're about to go to sleep and get rid of all of that so yeah why not um the only thing to note though is if you're not going to be sleeping for that long you're going to get that exercise fatigue in the morning or that exercise exertion i should say so that muscle pain but if you're okay with that then yeah that's that's the only thing you have to take note of Uh, so just make a day of working out, uh, working out, resting, and then working over and over. Keep exhaustion in check. Pretty much. So, like, th the reason why we do it like that is, like, from A to B, the goal is to go from whatever fitness and strength level I currently am to whatever arbitrary number I've set to my uh, set myself. So in this instance, I want to go from level 0 and 0 to level 3 and 3. So, it's like, okay, nice and simple then, nice easy objectives, like, so what's the fastest way I can do this? Well, I need to be able to maximize how much time I'm awake, so I don't get, like, I don't have to rest as much. And that's pretty much it, really. It's like, okay, so what affects, like, my fatigue? And it's like, oh, exertion. Cool. So I just need to make sure my exertion doesn't really ever exist, you know, which is kind of counterintuitive and kind of ironic, seeing as we're doing nothing but exercise. Um, <laughs> but it just means doing short bursts of exercise rather than doing a full hour. Um, because I'll, I'll show it in a second, because we always end up showing it every time we do it, but there's quite a dramatic difference between doing an hour of working out and then resting, and then doing like 20 minutes and resting. You can get far more exercise done in a single day if you just do 20 minute, uh, 20 minute intervals instead of doing one hour intervals. Well, not even one hour, just maxing out your exertion, really. I'm gonna ignore that. <laughs> no, my thigh. Well, both of my thighs. <laughs> That's hilarious. 
That's fine, though. We're not doing a no-hit run, so I don't mind that. See, the omen paid off. It was that. It was those first aid books that we had at the start of the game. <laughs> we got first aid volume one and volume two. They finally kicked in. The game was trying to warn us all along. <laughs> Let's throw you on there. Yeah, we're all done with that now. Appreciate the follow as well has. Happy days. Let's go drop off all this stuff. Five and gear just in case. No, won't be taking any of that. Also, hello, Hash. Howdy, old chap. Hello, old bean. Right, yeah, let me like just gonna make a little pile of planks. I know I have quite a few of those lying around there. New character, yeah, sad. What happened to the guy in the woods with the ambulance? He finally got caught by the zombies. It was a combination of both, well, it, well, including everything, skill issue, too many zombies, fighting zombies from both, well, from Ekron, Dixie, Muldra, and West Point, all converging onto one area, a lot of jets back-to-back -back in a very hype-up area, hypothermia, and then, uh, skill issue, again. <laughs> that's, that's pretty much everything that went wrong. It was like a multitude of different things that all, like, came together to fuck me. But it was a good game, though. Really good game. He was doomed, yeah. So we had a look at the pop map afterwards, and there were a lot of zombies. Yeah, the the last death command, it, like, like I said, it won't be working. I, uh, I don't update my commands. While I'm streaming, I do it afterwards, so it's not going to be there for the entire stream. That's all good. Alright. Well, I've been sat down for like another hour or so, so I'm going to stretch my legs really quickly. I will be back. Uh, I will be back in less than 40 seconds. Right. Back. Legs have been stretched. I'm very happy. See, let me grab everything now. I want to start moving you all into the right areas. Right, so yeah, I'll leave all of that there for a moment. And 
yeah, whatever we call that. Knock three times. Very good stuff. Alright, so that should be almost everything from the ground floor. Just these last little bits. And I am getting tired early today, but I am spending almost all of my time exerted, so that's understandable. And I'm not going to organize any of this stuff yet, I'll just throw this into one big pile. Just for the time being. Nothing in here. Uh, I think there's something. Yeah, missed one there. Right, and yeah, it's just like just the upstairs now, and then that's the entire. That's all of this area. Like there is another cabin further down there that I would like to check at some point, but I can leave him for a moment, and I might do the. Furniture up here. I probably will do the furniture up here, actually. Um, yeah, to be fair, let me go grab my hammer now. Just so I can finish up with everything then. I don't have to come back to this again. Didn't grab a screwdriver. Rip. And, yeah. Let me put those on, seeing as I've ripped a big old hole in mine. Can't deal with that because I have no metal working. Terrific music taste. Hey, appreciated. And yeah, I'm not going to bother checking next. It's just a metal shelf in there. Is there a Tourette's mod? Probably. <laughs> well, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't know for certain, though. Oh, good stuff. And yeah, give me that screwdriver. Just get the last, those last uh, things that just that TV, and 
then that stand. So yeah, not quite level four, but close enough anyway. They thought of it all asked. The modding community for this game is hilarious. They make so many funny mods. <laughs> but if you can think of it, they've probably made it. That's the most cursed one you've seen. Uh, probably the one that spawns body pillows in houses. Like, it'll spawn a body pillow inside a house, on a bed, and it'll be surrounded by tissues. I don't know what that mod's called. <laughs> but I remember seeing it, and I thought it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, all the anime, anime mods are fucking cursed. Yeah, it's always the bloody anime mods. Always. Oh, but we're all caught up now, so all the loot's done, all the furniture's dismantled, all the materials are in together, all the loot in the area is here. I've got all my fishing gear set up, and I can start exercising now. I need to get rid of these bodies inside. Uh, and to be fair, I'll do that now. But uh, yeah, we can start actually getting out of the zero zero rut now, and start making some progress. Because I've got... how long... I've got about four days minimum until the helicopter turns up. So, I've got a little bit of time to work with. You have ten kills. This is a side project. Wow, that fucking hurts. <laughs> is this some sort of outer season April Fool's joke? No, we, we did the die. We died a sad death. Combination of a lot of things, but TLDR, skill issue. Let's go get some sleep now, and then we'll do some fishing in the morning. Um, I do need my... Spear. Did I leave my spear? I might have left it out by the river, maybe. I don't think my counter is working. Are you working? No, you're not working. Let me fix that really quickly. And just in case, I'll just pause my game as well. There we go.
That's a bad omen. <laughs> Getting flashbacks to how we died on the last character. Beware of the rain. Leave them there. We're only, only going to do our cooking once a day, just in the evening or in the morning. And now it is the time for exercise. See, that does involve stripping my character down to basically nothing. Um, so just, just in case, I don't want my clothing to possibly despawn, so I'm just going to chuck all of this in the fridge. Now we can start this. Just check these two, because they should be both, both be healed. Yep, good stuff. So yeah, it's just uh, just 20 minutes of burpees now. So all, all we do from this moment onward is just 20 minutes of burpees, sit down, rest when we get to moderate exertion, and then do 20 minutes again, and we just do this all day, every day. Uh, don't worry, I will fast forward in a minute. I'm just pouring a coffee. Oh, not even half a mug. Rip. Surprised no one mentioned the furry mod for curse mods. I mean, probably shouldn't have to mention it, but uh, I don't normally go searching for furry mods. <laughs> oh, appreciate the follow there, uh, Degenic. Welcome on in. <laughs> yeah, gimp masks, no. Give me those, pl those play gimp masks, fuck yeah. Got some flack when it was made, fair. No, I have... I don't care if people are furries, that... I have nothing against it. If you want to fuck animals, that I take issue with that. But, uh, no, you do you. But, um... It doesn't interest me personally. <laughs> I don't really get it. It's forgiving and non-judgmental. Well, I just try to stay out of people's business. Like, I don't know what they're into. It's like, if they get any sexual gratification from it, or they just find it fun, or they like the community, cool. You do you. I don't care. Makes no difference to me. I do take issue with the ones who go, like, the step further. I'm pretty sure they go by a different name, don't they? Like, Zoophile or some shit? Like, if you want to fuck an animal, no, that's different. Like, I take issue with that. <laughs> but, uh... No, furries, no, I don't give a shit. They can do whatever they want. Makes no difference to me. Facing straight on, yes, that's definitely a gimp mask. <laughs> Only thing that matters is uh, ending the zombie virus exactly with the most violence. We have to optimize how much violence we can squeeze out of this apocalypse. All the blood. The panty, panty sniffing mod. See, that's just weird. <laughs> but I mean, fuck it. If there's a market for it, you go for it. But it's a bit of a weird one. I'm not going to try and understand it. Spain just decriminalized bestiality. Why? Why would they decriminalize that? <laughs> In what scenario would that, like, would that action have to be legal? <laughs> Why? Ow, I don't live in Spain. I don't give a shit. 
Doesn't affect me. Spain can sort itself out. <laughs> Definitely a weird one, though. You're actually the artist for the film, but oh, really? Fair. It was fun to make. Actually, got some people to try and uh, try the game because of the oh, because of the mod. Fair enough. Yeah. See, I'm just indifferent to it. Like I, when I say like, I don't care about something. Not an insult. I just, I literally don't care. <laughs> it probably has such little impact on my life that I, just, it's, it's never crossed my mind. I just don't pay it any mind. Don't really think about it. And, uh, didn't even know there were fairy mods for this game. <laughs> Fair enough, though. To be fair, I shouldn't be surprised, there's a fucking Spiffo costume in vanilla. <laughs> that was, the, the Spiffo costume was the gateway drug. That was like the quarter arms. They all came running then. It's time to do some more fishing, though. I was a girl who sat next to you in high school years ago. She did not stop telling me way too much. In Wait, she non stop telling me way too much info about furries. Fair enough. Out of curiosity, then, did you ever actually tell her that you're not into that stuff, or to please stop talking to you about it, <laughs> or did you just nod and just, I like, just nod and keep saying, "Oh, that's cool, that's cool." <laughs> oh, wrong one. Yeah, I'll try and get to a routine of doing my fishing in the morning. Just because that makes the most sense. They felt the need to split it is strange. Let's let them do it, guys. Animal cruelty sounds bad for global warming. The friction, yes. <laughs> uh, where will I get to, though? We'll see. Akata needs some fucking crude and water, you psychopath. Nah, he's fine. He's living the dream, you know? I mean, he's wearing a plague doctor mask. He's either, he's either vibing with the apocalypse or he's a gimp. So, either way, he's going to be enjoying this. And we are tired now. So let me pop my painkillers, and then we'll go to sleep. But yeah, just for a comparison, because I know some people are curious about it, so... This is just going to be like the side-by-side -side, uh, comparison for like, why we exercise in the manner that we do. So, we woke up at 4 o'clock this morning today, uh, and so we did all of our exercise non-stop until... 6 o'clock in the evening, so 1800 hours. We did 3 hours of fishing, and then we did a little bit more exercise. So my character got drowsy at about 11 o'clock, give or take. So that's pretty good. Tomorrow, we'll do 1 hour workouts, and then we'll rest, and you'll see how much faster my character gets fatigued, and that'll just give you an idea of why we do it like this. Because the, the difference is day and night, it's quite a dramatic change. Yeah, one more. Yeah, oh, one more.
And back in we go. I just looked at the swing thing, it's not true. Good. <laughs> That's nice. This goes around up gradually as your character gets more as your regular game a little more filled. No, it's just um it's just your exertion. Like the regularity just relates to your pain and your recovery time. You don't really have to pay any mind to that. It's just your exertion. If you want to like squeeze out the most exercise per day, that's like, all you have to focus on. Just don't go above moderate exertion. Well, don't go to moderate or higher. That's all you need to focus on. So I'll leave you there. <laughs> Very spacious for our furniture, I know, right? It's like when you move into a new apartment, though, you move into a new house. You're like, oh, wow, this house is massive. And the second you move your shit in there, it's like, wow. I have a meter to move. <laughs> I have no room. Like it's off, so we're still gaining weight. Let me pop these painkillers now, and then we'll just start doing our workouts. Oh, do the full hour. Always, I know, right? The game just hates me. It's like, oh yeah, it's British, British player. Like I'm, I'm assuming he must love the rain. It's a waste of my painkillers, but I don't mind. That's fine. And last one. And that'll be fine, thanks. We have to go out and do our fishing in just a moment anyway. Yeah, there we go. Fitness one. Very nice. But yeah, though. There we go. So, that's where we got tired today. So, we woke up at the same time. Same sleep patterns, all that good jazz. Same routine. But yesterday we did 20 minutes, and then we rest, and then 20 minutes again, and we went on that loop. So we never went above moderate exertion, we were always nice and rested. Today we did the opposite, we just kept pushing our character to the absolute limit, and then resting. 
Um, yesterday we got tired at 11, today we got tired at 650. So there's quite a big difference between those two. Um, so yeah, if you're going to work out in the game, like if you actually want to go down that road early on, don't go into exertion. <laughs> like, mandatory. Don't do it, it's a waste of time. Be a little bit more patient, do a little bit more resting in between, and you will get so much more done with your day. Yeah, I've still got a few minutes left, so let me get a tiny bit of extra fishing done. If you want to reset a sleeping schedule. Yeah, I mean, we'll be using that later because I have no painkillers now. So I'll have to be using my exertion to set my, uh, well, go to sleep in the evening. Until my regularity builds up and I don't have as much pain while exercising. Grab that one first. So I'm either going to max out my exertion, or this one should disappear by two-ish? Yeah, it's going, but it's not quite there. So I don't really care what my routine is. Short term. Oh, well, my alarm's about to go off anyway, so... <laughs> Let me set you... ...off, actually. As long as my weight's going up, I don't need to fish every single time. I don't need to stick to a schedule exactly. It's just preferable. But as long as I can fish once a day, that's fine. Not too bad, and we shouldn't be that far off hitting level 2 strength soon as well. We're almost halfway. Any release date for the new update? Nope. And there never will be. There never is. They don't do that. They just release things. There's never any release dates. And there's no insider information either. They don't do that either. <laughs> they just release things. You predicted March. I think I have my money on April. I think Rule had his on March. Um, or no, vice versa. I think Ice... No. 
Yeah, I think I said March, he said April, because I know his was after mine. Uh, whether it's going to be on those times, no idea. Could be. May have said in the March. Yeah. But I always follow up with the same thing. I always say, I'm guessing. <laughs> There's no evidence to support my guess. It's literally just, I'm just hoping. Same as everyone else. No one actually knows when it's going to get be released. It's just, we're all just taking wild guesses. Um. Yep, nice quick one. And I think that'll be enough to stop me from doing any more exercise. Yep, agony. That's okay, though, because it's time to go fishing. And we'll just fish for the entire day, just until that agony disappears now. Uh, the updates do have that pre-41 polish to them, though. Uh, so it's probably coming soon. Hopefully. No one will know. Yeah. Just line in the sand. Definitive. It's always been the same and it always, well, likely will be. They don't do release dates. They don't tease release, release dates. They don't tell anyone who tests behind the scene about release dates. No one knows about any release dates. <laughs> so there's no, no one knows. Uh, so if you ever hear someone on Twitch or YouTube saying, I think it's going to come out this time. They're just guessing. We're all just guessing. And it's mostly just because we're just hoping. Like, I want Build 42 to come out now. Like, today. But... I'd rather they get it right. But who knows. It could get released tomorrow for all I know. Might not come out for another year. No, they just spring them out. Literally, yeah. Just, Happy birthday, Merry Christmas. That's pretty much it. It's just like, oh. Yeah, surprise, Bill 41 is no longer beta. It's now official. It's like, oh, okay. Cool. Also, <laughs> multiplayer. It's like, oh, cool. <laughs> Neat. Neato burrito. Thank you, Indie Stone. <laughs> Let's keep that weight going up in the right direction. And let's go back to fishing until uh, that agony wears off. Mm. 
Yeah, don't worry. That siren isn't actually a siren in the distance. That's just the sound my character makes when he breaks a spear. <laughs> He's just so fucking angry deep down inside. The disappointment is immeasurable. That'll do. Back out we go. And that is the third spear of the game. Very nice. I'm still curious where my first one went, because I know I made a... F I, I had a spear at the start, but I don't know what I did with it. So I know it didn't break, just don't know where I put it. There we go. And now we'll just do exercise non-stop until our character gets tired. Then we'll give him four hours again. Nice little routine. The helicopter could come around any day now, actually. It's day six. So yeah, could have the helicopter any second now. Hi, Leo. I really like the music on your stream. Uh, do you have something like a Spotify playlist with it all on? Yeah, so if you type in exclamation mark playlist, that'll give you the link to it. It is all on Spotify. Tired of constantly shazamming every other song, yeah. No, it's, it's all on Spotify. It's just exclamation mark and then playlist. Yeah, that's the one. No worries. Doesn't the base helicopter event off? No, I thought because because we're gonna have like such a long time now until integration is on, and the t pinpoint hearing is off as well for the start of the game. I thought oh, I might as well just leave the base helicopter on. Why? Why not? I'm pretty sure it's still on. But we'll find out. Cause it'll come around within the first like. Between day, like, 6 and day 11, give or take. Hey, Bio. Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Oh, there we go. A little bit fatigued. But let me give you four hours now. Yeah, that'll do. Let's give you just over four hours. Update with like 30 so Yeah, I mean, I do try to update it when I can. I'm pretty sure it is still up to date now. Like, all the songs should be on there. We should hit level 2 any second now. There we go. I'm not going to do my... Should I do my morning fishing? Yeah, why not? 
I was gonna, I was thinking about leaving it and just doing my exercise, but yeah, his pain's about to kick in now anyway, so that timing actually works out. Pain's died down again, so I can go back to doing my exercise. Good stuff. But yeah, it's just going to be this little routine now until we hit 75 kilos. So we're a third of the way there. We've gone from 60 to 65. 10 more and we are on target. And now my pain's gone. Back to exercising. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that heli to come and go. As soon as that heli has come by and done his thing, I'll, um, I'll know that we're completely in the clear then. For the time being. And we've almost finished maxing out our regularity now as well, so that's fantastic. Hey Nick, welcome on in. Let's give you four hours from now. Oh, almost the same time as last time. Lovely. Right, good stuff. And yep, up to 66 now. Fantastic. Still showing zero kills per day. That's fine. We don't care about the boredom. That is fine. Once we're done doing all this exercise, I'll... Uh, cure my character of his depression afterwards. So that's a, uh, that's a very easy job to do. Yeah, four o'clock. It's time to go... Get that fishing experience, because I already have enough food, but I do need to carry on leveling that skill up. 
How's he even have time to be depressed? I know, right? What an ungrateful little shit. He would be depressed. Being stuck in their room all day, doing burpees 24 hours of every day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, instinctively doing burpees when he goes to fish as well. And then just having nothing but plain fish every day. Yeah, some people are so ungrateful, I tell you. Yep, I just gotta wait for that agony to wear off. stuff so it doesn't take that long for it to wear off anymore because my regularity is almost maxed out now so the higher regular the higher your regularity the less pain that's induced onto your character and the faster your recovery time as well it's very nice <laughs> sounds like a dream i know all i want to do is work out and eat food that's it live the dream live the good life Press be uh, great ass and thighs. I know he's got those rugby legs now, so he'll hate us for doing this to him. But oh, it will be worth it. We're saving his life. We're setting him up for greatness. Oh, good stuff. Oh, shit, I'm still carrying the bloody plank. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, fishing to reduce the stress, so calming. So the water, I know, right? He's living the good life right now. He just doesn't know how good he has it. After these, like, first few weeks, after he's leveled up a little bit, oh, there'll it'll be zombies every day. That'll be his life, from now until the day he dies. Just nothing but zombies. He doesn't realize how good it is right now. This is just serenity. <laughs> like a little bit... A little bit tired early today, no worries. Still no heli. Hitting all the wrong things today.
Alright, not too bad. And he should get exercise exertion soon. Before four o'clock, I'd imagine. I mean, he has max, yeah, max regularity, but he can't go that much longer. And we are doing burpees, so he should still reach agony when his pain is at max. But we'll go out and do some fishing in just a moment. And I think that was level two fitness. Fantastic. All right, let me go do my fishing routine then. Try and get a little bit closer to that level three. So once we get to level four, that's it then. We have got all the levels we need. And anything beyond that is just a bonus. let these fish just sit in the fireplace for a while now because I have way too much fish. <laughs> like wrapping back to that discussion we had earlier about the crafted spear and the fishing rods. This is just why you don't need fishing rods. Like maybe it'll be different when 42 gets released because they are reworking fishing but currently you get so many fish just from like rods, uh, not rods, the spears and such. What happened to the other guy? He got sick of living, so he committed die. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, we had a very spicy run-in with hypothermia, starvation, dehydration, zombies, integration, everything. Just everything started going wrong. And um, he had a very unceremonious death. So this is the new one. And we are just getting him set up at the moment. So we're almost at the fitness and strength level that we want. Uh, but the one thing that we're really waiting on is our weight currently. Because at the start of the game, the, the debuff you get from being underweight, it's minus 20% to your damage. That minus 20% doesn't mean that much later on in the game, but currently that's quite a big hit to our damage. And um, there's also a, dam uh, a big hit to our stamina regeneration as well. So that's what we're trying to work around. Right now. I'm gonna rip my last run. I, I'd be disappointed. I'd be I'd be sad as well. I'd feel disappointed in myself for dying, but Knowing that we were being attacked by Ekron, Muldra, Dixie, and West Point all at the same time, that kind of softens the blow a little bit. It's like, okay, it took four towns to kill me. <laughs> I can live with that. You know, that's not too bad, I guess, on paper. That sounds a lot better than, no, I got really fucking cold in the woods and I just died like a shriveled mule. <laughs> it's like, no. No, I can take that. I can take that as a win. That's not too bad. <laughs> Yes, that is how I died. Right, that's all good, that's all good. <laughs> no need to embarrass him while he's in the grave. We don't, we don't speak ill of the dead, okay? 
Just let him rest. <laughs> he had a good life. And Cheeks got clapped by an ambulance. He was so embarrassed, he just never returned. Yep. Imagine dying to an ambulance. Fucking cringe. <laughs> yeah, the reason third story reveals the noise is going to play a big factor. Oh, we're 42 fishing. Okay. So what, like you can scare the fishes, aw fishes away or something, can you? Like, if there are zombies in proximity, it's, you'll have less chance to catch fish, I guess. I mean, that's what I'm assuming. That sounds okay. But if that's going to be a thing, that's not too bad, because, I mean, you wouldn't be fishing when there are zombies right next to you anyway. I don't know, maybe it's something else then. Sad naked man sitting in his room, exercising and eating thousands of fish. Hey, those fish had it coming okay. They know what they did. My pain is kicking in, so we'll go back and start fishing in a moment, but I'll do what I can until that reaches agony. And still no helicopter, so we might... It's got to be happening soon. It's day nine. It's got to be within... Well, tomorrow or the day after, I guess. It's like, I couldn't have missed it. Surely. I'm sure I have it on. Sure. Appreciate the follow bio. Happy days. There's a video that shows yelling will scare nearby pools of fish. Single shotgun scare all the f all the pools of fish. Okay, fair enough. So there's like a recovery time then, so I can't just go blasting and fighting next to a lake and then go fishing immediately afterwards. There's like some sort of recovery time. That makes sense. We've already recovered from that pain, for the most part. I'll carry on fishing until 7, because it's prime time now. Rip. The spear gods were not pleased with me. You found two- oh, two sledgehammers, same survivor house. Nice. Congratulations. Now you just have to dual wield them. <laughs> the ultimate test. Uh, we're still not at the point at which 42 on stable release is at all imminent. Okay, so it's unlikely to come out anytime soon then. Fair enough. Level 3 fishing though. That's good. And I should hit level 3 cooking in just a second as well.
<laughs> Get patch fucking re. <laughs> uh, I wonder when they're gonna release it. I'm just I'm super curious. So I wonder if it is going to be just a fucking lifetime away. I wonder if I have time to actually do another long-term game. What the fuck like was that? Like proper long-term game. Not just these like throwaway ones that we're doing. Like an actual super sweaty one. Because <laughs> so I keep thinking about like, oh, should I start a new super sweaty run? Instead of these like light versions of it. I don't know. All the fish. I uh, hope not too soon. Want to finish my this playthrough first? They're, they're probably just holding on just for you. Finish your game so they can release. <laughs> home sweet home, yeah. Alas, we did the die. <laughs> so, yeah, just getting that, uh, getting those first levels up. Hold on, killing my character. You heard him, boys. Bill 42 is coming out now. <laughs> He's making the ultimate sacrifice for us. Yeah, we're on 68 kilos now, so seven more kilos and we can start heading out towards Westport and start killing again. Let's give you that four hours now. Let's give you just under five. Uh, I don't know how jets work. I think the whole problem were the jets, if they're flying over the whole map quickly. But well, I don't go across the whole map, but, um... They're, they're pretty much just helicopters. They're just a lot faster. So... They, they would both spawn in, like, the same region. But the jet would just cross... It would just fly straight over my character really quickly. One and done. But the helicopter, it would hang around for a little bit. And as it flies over, my character can also change direction. Uh, but yeah, the... The range of it was insane with the pinpoint hearing, so we looked at it afterwards, and I don't know if you were here for it when I was showing the, the map, but we were fighting zombies from Ekron, Muldra, Dixie, and West Point, all of this area, everyone. And they were all just coming out to this one area. <laughs> but yeah, but we died right about here, give or take. It was somewhere along this little stretch here. But, um, but yeah... It was an event. It was hilarious. So I've got pinpoint hearing off for the time being. I might turn it on like after six or twelve months later on. Uh, but currently it is off. It is a much... It's going to be much simpler on this one. Because I don't feel like spending an entire week IRL fighting in the woods and living on chairs again. It's fun once in a while, but goddamn, that shit gets old. <laughs> no, I will save that for my uber sweaty run when 42 comes out. <laughs> I didn't want to do that on this one. I was like, fuck, I just want to chill out. <laughs> I just want to relax. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. But yeah, I heard you're on 228,000 now, I think. 
I th I think uh, Spaz said that's what you were on when you ended today. You are definitely getting up there. Still on 68. What happened? Open the stream. Only 10 zombies? Yeah, we did the die. Actually, no, we didn't do the die. I'm a time traveler. I went back in time to correct a mistake I made on, like, the first week of the game. The first two weeks. I came back in time to warn my younger self. But unfortunately, I got stuck here, so now we have to play the entire thing over again. <laughs> That's- that's actually what happened. What's the hello, Tenants as well? Hello, hello. Uh... Never-ending rain. Yeah, if you don't have a roof, yeah. Oh, it was horrible. In hindsight, I could have played it a lot better. If I had, like, more layers on my character... Like, he wouldn't have... He wouldn't have caught the cold, and it wouldn't have snowballed out of, uh, control. It was mainly just my clothing. That was, like, the main mistake I made. Uh, but we've been trying to balance our clothing uh, to maximize our uh, progress each day because I don't want to build fatigue too quickly. So, yeah, I should have worn more clothing and just suck it up and took the extra uh, body temperature. Ah, well. Hindsight is twenty twenty. Right. That's agony, no worries. So, back to fishing now. Hey, you finished on... Oh, all twos. Two, 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 two. Fair play. <laughs> uh, it was a uh, set goal since reaching 100... Oh, you've been looking forward to getting to the all two mark. Oh, we'll see you when you get to the all three mark now. Three, 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 three. It'll be the first one on Twitch to get to that, because no one else has uh, got that recorded yet. <laughs> yeah, you'll be the first to hit that milestone. Yeah, summertime, naked, yeah, it's... Since uh, uh, we get extra fatigue from being too hot or too cold now, it's just a... Uh, it's a massive pain to manage if you want to squeeze out the most hours each day. To be fair, I'll do one more hour. <laughs> Best defense, just don't fuck it up and get hit. Oh uh, no, I'll, I'll write that one down for this game. Yes. Pro tip. Don't make silly mistakes. <laughs> I'll do my best to remember that one. Right, good stuff. Grab some more food, keep my calories up, because I want to gain weight as quickly as possible. So we're almost done now, it's less than six kilos. Fantastic. And... Yeah, I'll be able to squeeze out level 3 strength before then, and probably level 3 fitness as well. And that'll be a good amount for us to start killing with. Easier said than done when you're walking. Yeah, when you're, <laughs> you're a walking mistake. Yeah, absolutely. It's like the argument. It's like, oh, why do you take thin-skinned? It's like, ah, well... I take thin skin, because as long as you don't make any mistakes, it's three points. It's like, oh. 
have you ever met anyone who's played this game and not made a single mistake? It's like, no. Well. Well then. <laughs> Uh, how did I had in my run two laceration wounds from zombies. Uh, one was my fault, and another. Oh, spear didn't hit. Oh, did you do the thing where you, uh, you you do the stab you do the stab animation, but it just doesn't connect at all because you you're aiming like just slightly too far away from the zombie, but it still locks you in place to do the animation kill. Stab in the oh, I hate that one. Yeah, it's um. If you go to if you're targeting the zombie but your cursor is just slightly too far away. Um or you go to hit the zombie but you move your cursor away from him, the damage doesn't get dealt until you're like halfway through the animation, so you can just completely miss. I've done that a few times. It's really annoying. <laughs> Cause it wouldn't be so bad. It's like, okay, I you know, I made a mistake, you know, that's on me. But it it wouldn't be so bad if I could still fucking move. <laughs> but it locks you in place for so long. And it's like, oh well, shit. <laughs> I can't do anything right now. This is a bad time. Just gotta stare longingly into their eyes and hope they don't land a bite on me. I do want to quickly check something, folks. I'll wait until the end of this day, but I swear I turned the helicopter on. I swear. But we haven't had any heli event yet. Well, I could have sworn I tore it. I, I turned it back on. I don't know if the expanded helicopter messes with it or not, but... I could have sworn I had the... The vanilla heli turned on. I'll wait until day 12. If it doesn't come around, I'll just quickly check my settings. Uh, like the the preset I made to see if I didn't save it or not. I thought I had the the vanilla one turned on, but maybe expanded helis just disables it. Lost your run because of that. Oh, rip. Yeah, only two yeah, even if it's only two weeks in, it still stings. You're like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. I love the spears, they are my favorite weapon, but they they do punish you really harsh, like really harshly when you make that one mistake. <laughs> and it only takes that one mistake as well. But yeah, still my favorite weapon though. Yeah, it's usually 16, I was gonna say like I'm like right at the end of it, like... I've been waiting for him to turn up for a while so I can go and uh... Just deal with the zombies that turn up. There's always a few of them that come out this way, uh, even when when pinpoint hearing is off. But uh, yeah, just haven't heard anything. Not a peep. But yeah, I'll wait until day twelve rolls over. It's, yeah, it's the end of this day anyway, so it won't even come around. Uh, bizarre. But I'll finish this day, get some sleep, and I'll check my settings afterwards. It's, likelihood is it's a mistake that I made. It's usually the player's fault. Yeah, that's agony, so that's my cue to go back and do some more fishing. Never had one after that. Yeah, ten. Yeah, like there shouldn't be any helis. I'm just, I was kind of just humoring it. Like, yeah, maybe, maybe, but yeah, it, it shouldn't come out. But no, I'm, I, I do want to check my settings just to make sure. So I am running the expanded heli mod. So, uh, odds are that probably interferes with it. But I just want to make uh, be a hundred percent sure on that.
try spears uh, more often. Um, you keep automatically using hammers. Oh, yeah. I should definitely give them a try. Like, early on, they are... They're a lot of work early on. Like, they're not bad weapons on day one. But you have to have a lot of spears, and you have to be able to keep up with the... Uh, well, the need to keep making more and more spears. To keep replacing the ones that break, but... Uh, you get a couple of points in maintenance, and you get a couple of points in the spear. Oh, they pay for themselves. They're very good weapons. Very good. the one issue for you. Everyone's so used to bashing heads with hammers. You get a twinkle in my eye <laughs> every time I see one. You get that hit of dopamine like, yes. Yes. Hello, hello. Multi-purpose tools are the best. Yeah. It's nice having a weapon that you can also double down and use for ever other things as well. It's very nice. And we are 70 now, so 5 kilos to go. Yeah, we are getting there. And yeah. For those 5 kilos, I should be able to get the last of that level 3 fitness. And just tilt that one over the edge. Appreciate the follow, Ivy. Happy days. Welcome on in. Uh, but before I carry on, though, it is day 12, so I just want to quickly check my setting preset and just see what that expand... Uh, not expanded, but the vanilla helicopter was set to. So we never saw him. And there was no helicopter. So I just want to see if the expanded helis has turned it off or not. So that'll only take one quick second. No, it's turned on. I left it on once. Okay, it must be the the expanded helis then that turned it off. That's good to know then. You can't have the vanilla and the expanded. I mean, that makes sense. I was just kind of hoping I could have both, like the best of both worlds. <laughs> ah, well. When the integration gets turned on anyway, I'll have hundreds of helicopters. Yeah, I did think that, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, I have, I'm running a mod specifically to change all the helicopters, I mean, it's not beyond reason. I was too optimistic. And I might be able to squeeze up to 30 minutes of exercise now. Um, I'm gonna give that one a try. Let's see if you can do the whole thing before you get exerted. No. No, too much. Vanilla. <laughs> the vanilla copter doesn't really do much anyway, but... It would have been nice to have. <laughs> like, like, fuck, do I really need it? No, but I want it. I wanted it, okay? <laughs> it's like, I didn't want it originally, but now that the game's denying me, it's like, fuck, 
It's like watching a, a child play with your favorite toy. It's like, shit, I didn't want to play with it, but now I want to. Gimme. <laughs> Gimme back my toy, Jeff. And still not on double chevrons, but that's okay. We're not too far away from the target now anyway. So I'm looking forward to going back to killing again. When we start making our way back towards Westport now, I'll, all those chairs that we didn't dismantle, I'm going to stop throwing them down along the road all the way. So they're not even going to be that spaced out. They're all going to be pretty close to one another. So I have so many of them around all these houses. And I've got no other use for them. They're not worth dismantling. They won't give that much experience. And it's been enough time now as well that a lot of those zombies that we run into should have lots of hunting knives and kitchen knives for us. So making our spears should be very easy. Emphasis on should. Pain is finally kicking in. And he should get drowsy any moment now as well. It's been a, uh, been a fair chunk of the day. There we go. Oh yeah, shit, sure, that's bad timing. <laughs> I just, uh, I just went to severe pain, so no sleeping for me. Ah, oh, that's fair. We'll do some exercise while I wait for that to, uh, die down. It'll only take a few hours with max regularity. It won't take that long. And it is prime fishing time now anyway. I know. Exercise, like, he should be, like, filled with dopamine right now. Living that good life. All he does is sleep, eat food, and exercise. A man is living the dream. <laughs> like, <laughs> so he doesn't get any better than this. That's dying down now, so let me go cook my food. And then by the time I'm done, that should be gone, and I'll be able to. Oh, I'm coughing my guts up then. I should be able to go to sleep then.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm keeping him dehydrated so I can get that like that really aesthetic shot later on. Also, so he can make weight for his upcoming fight. Yeah, he's probably lost like a good like 10, 10 20 kilos of water weight. Like he's nothing. He's a fucking raisin right now. <laughs> There's nothing to this man. Right, and yeah, as soon as that drops down one more Moodle, I can go to sleep. So yeah, you are tired, let me give you... Uh... Yeah, give you about six hours. Yeah. I'll give you an extra hour once I finish eating this. It woke up just 10 minutes early. Very nice. Yeah, 71 kilos there. So, four more to go. That's a little bit of a misclick. At the rate we're going, we might even be close to hitting level 4 strength. By the time we hit level 3 fitness. And I think we're speedrunning the zero zero game right now. So, I mean, how long has this taken us? Well, to be fair, it hasn't taken that long. It's like three hours. Like, less than three hours. Get all of this done. And we should get drowsy within the next few hours, because we woke up at... 5, I think, more or less. Hey, I see. Welcome back. Uh, had to watch the whole sequence of events in the last one. Lots of rain. Saw the outdoors won't let you down. Yeah. Self-inflicted, though. It's because I wasn't wearing enough layers. Like, I can blame outdoorsman for failing me like the cretin it is. But, uh, <laughs> nah, it's because I wasn't wearing enough layers. It was self-inflicted. But, no, uh, good game, though. Good game. I'm just genuinely surprised it went on for as long as it did, because... 
you guys almost killed me several times in that run. Like, there was the one time where you nearly starved me to death by the river. Like, that was the first one, I think. Um, no, first one was by the houses. You almost killed me because you just brought a tidal wave of zombies in all at once. Then the second one was the one where you nearly starved me to death. And then the third one was where you, got, you brought the zombies to me while I was sleeping. Um, so they were hanging around me in the night, waiting for me to wake up. And then, yeah, the last one was the, the ambulance that just killed us. Yeah, it's like, that was four different times, and the last one got me. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. I cry every time. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, 30 year run over, yeah. Millennium run, finished. You know, about 999 years too early, but still, Millennium Run. Oh. Oh, how glorious it was. <laughs> yep, there's the paint. Uh, you think they're changing stuff regarding integration? Oh, well, they doing the changing. Oh, we're still doing. We're still on the same at the moment in terms of like the integration. Um, but the main thing that's changed on this one is there's no more pinpoint hearing. Because Jesus Christ, I don't feel like fighting three towns at once again. That goes on for a long time. Like it's bad enough trying to fight West Point on time sixteen. I don't want to do West Point, Muldra, Ekron, and Dixie all at the same time. Like fuck. <laughs> it ain't too bad later on in the game. When I'm, um, I'm maxed out, but fuck it hell. Like, f in the first few months, when I'm still, like, building my level up to level 10, Jesus, that's a, uh, that's a big ask. Are you gonna turn it back on? Maybe. I might. I'm undecided, but that's, like, at least a hundred hours away, minimum, before I need to make that decision. So at the, uh, for the time being, we're just gonna leave it as it is. Because this isn't, like, a super competitive, like, record run or anything like that so i don't really care about changing settings halfway through and making it harder uh later on like that's fine don't have to have it all maxed out on day one just doing this more to chill out and have fun really for the time being at least <laughs> Well, I wasn't expecting you to get tired. Now, I thought, uh... I thought you were gonna get tired earlier. I thought, oh, if he's gone this long, maybe he can hang on for a few more hours. Not to be fair, I can't go to sleep, can I? I'm in agony. <laughs> I've got like an hour or two. Until that wears off enough. Well, I say an hour or two. Closest to like three to five, but still. Let's, uh... Kill some time. Congrats on the final tally, yeah. Yeah, that, that one didn't go on for too long. That run was only a few months. So it was only about 60 hours-ish? It wasn't that long. Like, compared to the runs that we normally do, so... <laughs> it's like dropping the water. I can live with that. You disable pinpoint as well. Don't like being pushed. Yeah, like it's fun later on, but at the start it gets a bit tedious. It's like, oh, I like the challenge, but goddamn, like I'm doing this, like this is my chill out game right now. Not my uber sweaty run, so please. <laughs> Stop pushing me, please. Oh, 
Are you ready? Uh, how are you able to open that metal door? Uh, luck. So, metal gates like that have a very good chance of being locked, same as any other door. Um, or any exterior door, I should say. So, like the front door and the back door of this building here. So, this one in particular, if you come out to this area, sometimes it's open, sometimes it's locked. Uh, it just happens to be on this game. It was, uh, it was unlocked this time. So that's why I can open that one freely. Oh, but we should be able to pop that level 3 fitness now. So pure luck. Yeah, just pure luck. There's nothing you can do to sway the outcome of that. It's just going to be locked or unlocked. And, um... Unlike with, like, the house doors, where you can unlock them from the inside, you can't do anything with those gates outside. They'll be locked from either end. Um, so if it's blocking your way, you, you can still destroy it and dismantle it and all that stuff. But yeah, you can't unlock them. Oh, we hit double chevrons now as well. Fantastic. So that that's going to go skyrocket past 75 very quickly now. So I can go all the way up to like about 84. Um, uh, very soon. Get to that ideal body weight. But 75 and then we can start killing zombies. And we're about to hit level 3 fitness now as well. So it works out perfectly. We'll start making stone axes. To cut down trees, and I'll make a few stone knives, make a few spears then. And then, uh, we can start killing and collecting the better tools and weapons from them. The fire axes and hatchets for the trees, and the hunting knives, and such for the spears. Yeah, you are parched. Let me just sort my thirst out. And I'll get him on track now, because, uh... Yeah. He's gonna hit 75 within the next, like, 24 hours, most likely. So I'm gonna start sorting out my spears now. Now that I'm, uh... 3 and 3, I don't need to do any more exercise beyond this point. That's all good. Um... Fuck, no, I'll leave that. I'll, I'll reset his uh, schedule now, while I can. So yeah, I'll have to do some fishing later. But you'll be okay for a moment. But he's not even drowsy, so if I just set my alarm for five, he should get tired towards somewhere about eight, eight to midnight, eight, well, eight o'clock or midnight, somewhere in that region, and I can. Uh, Keep him on a schedule, then. Rip. Uh, will you continue with the burpees, or transition? Oh, nothing now. No exercise beyond this point, just combat. Nothing but combat.
that'll do. It's not much, but it's a start. And we are already fully rested. Fantastic. Uh, where are the interior? Oh, yeah, we've already dismantled everything. It was one of the one of the first things that we did, so... When we came out here, I did my carpentry to level 3, like, immediately. So that any spears I make will be uh, good condition, they won't have any damage to them. Chipstone, so collect a couple of these, make some more stone knives and all that stuff. Uh, I'm not gonna, I'll make one stone axe maybe as a backup plan, but I have plenty of planks inside my house to turn into, um, uh, to turn into spears so I don't have to rush this. But until I build up a collection of hunting knives and uh, kitchen knives and blades. Uh, which, it won't take that long, but until we do that, I need to make a few more stone knives. So I can just keep on making spears. Yep, yeah, back to the, yeah, the cozy stone era. Yeah, we haven't reached the Bronze Age yet. <laughs> Still progressing. Still not enough. That's okay. So I'll leave all of this back here for a minute. Actually, no, I won't. I'll take you with me. There's a pile of loot down here, I'm pretty sure. That I have to pick up anyway. I'm sure I left a pile of loot back here. Oh, no, I might have already taken it with me. Uh, but yeah, I can leave the chair here, though. Fantastic. Yeah, I'll carry on foraging for the time being. And I just want to see, like, roughly how far did the, the zombies follow me out. Because they should be, like, miles away. They should be all the way down by the farm. They shouldn't have come anywhere near where we currently are. But sometimes they do. So I just want to see, uh, like, where are we aiming for? Like, how far away are they? And then tomorrow, well not even tomorrow, in a moment I'll bring some more chairs out. I'll be setting up resting points along this road, so... When we start coming out of this area, I can just run the entire way. I don't have to walk to conserve stamina. I can just run, get tired, sit down by a chair, rest, continue running. Save me some time then. And yeah, that won't last long and that'll be the last of the exercise exertion then. We'll be done with that. Yeah. Well, they didn't, they didn't come too far out. That's not too bad. Also, I've, I've been playing pinpoint hearing for so long, I need to actually get used to playing with uh, 
regular hearing again. Let me just see. Oh, that radius is fucking tiny. I love that. <laughs> We've been playing with pinpoint hearing for so long, I've forgotten uh, how quiet the character is. Oh, that's great. Make two stone axes, and I'll save the rest of the chipstone for stone knives, then. Easy summer of killing. Exactly. Just nice and chilled now. Nice and chilled out. Yeah, we'll have to run back in just a moment, because my maintenance is incredibly low. So, these spears aren't going to last very long. But, uh... I came to see how many there were, and I am very satisfied. Also, I didn't increase my spear counter, did I? Put that to six. The actual retaking of West Point this time? Oh, yeah. Oh, the difference between this game and the game we just died on, you'll see it. It's day and night. Endpoint hearing and integration is a huge difficulty spike. It's a huge change. This is just about to become so much more relaxing now that we've been playing on harder difficulties. Hold on. All right. Yep, I'll come back for all of you in a moment now. But I got my stone axes, I got a few stone... Uh, chip stone, so I can make some stone knives, and I can actually bring out a full collection of spears now. <laughs> yeah, pinpoint and integration is kind of cursed. It is kind of cursed. <laughs> it is good fun, though. And... I will probably end up leaving some of my clothing behind, because... We're nowhere near winter anymore, so... Uh, I'll have to uh, start wearing fewer clothes again. So I'll leave my waistcoat and my shirt in my uh, in the fridge. Just barely enough to get rid of my encumbrance. And my uh, exercise exertion is disappearing now as well. So when we go back out in a minute, we won't have that severe debuff to our damage and such. So we'll actually be fighting properly. Right. Uh, there are no sheets here. Yes, well, let me quickly just grab something then from the neighbor's house. And I'll make a separate pile for my stone axes, make them easier to find. For when I need them. I do need some rib sheets, but I'd rather not use the curtains from from this house.
Yeah, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, actually, seeing as I'm here, I might as well grab these ones as well. But I need these ones to make my stone knives. Like I said, we won't be doing this for very long. We will find some hunting knives and some kitchen knives on the zombie soon. But while our maintenance is low, we burn through spears very quickly. So... We won't be building a stockpile of knives for a short while. That's 12 spears. Very nice. And I'll move these over here by the door as well. Just so I know where to find my stuff. Yeah. I'll put my stone axes here. Stone knives and materials for that over there. I'll do. And uh, what else? Yeah, that's it. Yep. Oh, yeah, clothing. Fuck. Almost forgot. Let's get rid of you, just so I don't overheat on the way. Uh, but yeah, this won't be as bad soon as well. We'll find some uh, bags and such on the zombies. Uh, but yeah, military boots and pants, that should do. We'll see if this overheats us. And if it does, we'll go completely naked next time. Uh, how long needed the heli to arrive? Uh, on this one, it never turned up. Because the expanded helicopter mod looks like it turns it off. <laughs> completely. The vanilla helicopter, that is. So we never saw it. But by default, it should turn up within like the first 6 to 10 days, give or take. But it is uh, RNG, it's not a, a fixed time for every game. And off we go again. Yeah, for the time being though, we will be searching the zombies. We don't normally do this, but nice early uh, part of the game. So I'll, go, I'll keep an eye out for some medication and such. Also, I didn't add those spears to my counter either. There's some more back home, but I'll count them later. Yeah, hopefully we can find a more durable weapon on one of these zombies at some point, because... You can level the spears from level 0 maintenance upwards. It just takes a very long time. Half the swings you make don't yield any experience.
If anything, it might actually be better to start crafting them while I'm out here for the time being. Maybe. Just because I don't have a bag yet. Let's go grab some of them. I'm surprised there's so many of them out here. Wasn't expecting to see anyone down this far. those spears, ah, uh, spears, screwdrivers. After this last spear breaks as well, just try and squeeze out the maintenance from them. So spears aren't too bad. Once you get to like level 2 or 3 maintenance, they're kind of bearable from that moment onward. Swing and I miss. And back out we go. And we'll carry on shouting. Doesn't matter where they come from. I just want experience at this point. Died of a cold A, okay? The cold didn't kill me. The only one who can kill me is me. <laughs> I graciously humbled myself, you know. I am a humble man, after all. <laughs> yes, it was a very well-earned death. Just watching them slowly pile up, just slowly creeping up on me. It's like, ah, it's fine. It's like watching my credit card debts pile up, like, ah, oh, it's only a small amount of interest. It, it won't add up. It's fine. Gets another credit card. Ah, oh, it's fine. I'm only overdue on that one a little bit. What's the worst that could happen? Takes out a loan. Ah, oh, it's fine. Okay, you don't understand. I'm going to pay it off. Buys a new car on finance. <laughs> How do I get so far into debt? Yeah, I'm a humble man, Mr. Thanos UK. 
Don't make me snap you, I will. He's sat in the car and turned off car <laughs> with the heater that's clearly not heating the car. Hey, okay, do I look like the type of guy that has to use heaters very often? <laughs> I don't know how they work. I was like, no, it's fine. If I just turn on the heater, as long as the battery's powered, it'll be fine, all right? It'll heat me up. Fucking no. And besides, I wasn't in there that long. I was only in there for a couple of hours before I made a campfire. <laughs> Which I think was a suggestion of Spaz. Yeah, short answer, car heater sucks. I, I managed to deduce that myself as I sat in my car and slowly gained hypothermia. I was like, ah, yes. The car seems to be a freezer. But yeah, I was just sad that my, uh, my character wasn't drying very quickly in the car. I was hoping that my character would dry out and my insulation would go up while I was sat in the ambulance. No such luck. Not enough to make a difference, anyway. What is... What, what be you? What are you? That's nah, only a stone. Yeah, let's go run off and go make some more weapons then. More damage to the heat, unless it will work. Yeah, I never, I've never really used them before. I've never had a reason to. Yeah. Definitely a learning experience, because I'm not- I never get put in those scenarios. And it's like, oh, fair enough. <laughs> and yes, the great outdoors. What a lovely place. But yeah. You can just trail it back to just one simple thing, though. It's like, fuck the heater, fuck the car, fuck the weather, fuck the zombies, fuck all of that. I just wasn't wearing enough clothing. That was it. That was literally the only thing. That was the catalyst of the entire thing. That was what led to it all going downhill. I just wasn't wearing enough clothing at the time. That was it. Last run ended? Yeah, yeah. It was a bad time. It was a mixture of... I mean, one, it was getting too cold and I wasn't wearing enough clothing. Because we were doing this awkward balancing act where... It was hot enough in the day... Like, during the day, to overheat my character while I'm fighting. But it was cold enough in the evening. Um, I still needed to wear clothing. So I was kind of, like, flip-flopping between being completely naked and wearing a shit ton of clothing, including jackets and all of that stuff. So I was constantly taking things on and off. It just happened to be, at the time, uh, I wasn't wearing anything. And then the weather took a turn for the worst. And then a few helicopters got called in on me, so I had to fall back from the, the gated... Well, not gated, sorry, the uh, the mansions by the lake again. And it just, like, slowly escalated from there then. So then, like, a number of things happened that made everything so much worse. Like, my fatigue was already high before I went down to that area. But then it went further into building my exertion, which further built my fatigue, and then those got maxed out. And then the weather got really bad as well at the same time, which gave my character a cold. And then more jets got caught in at the same time, which called more zombies in, which then got attracted to me because my character was constantly sneezing. <laughs> so then we fell all the way back to somewhere that had fences so I could actually try and at least kill some of them. And then more jets got called in. And then eventually I just missed one of the zombies and they grabbed me. So that's like the, uh, the summary of... The main events that led to his death. <laughs> yeah, inserting this is fine meme. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Still running around on the way. Hey, I can pull out my trump card anytime I want, Rat. Let me whip it out now. Whoosh! 
None of you have ever played on these settings. None of you play with this much integration. I'm literally the best at playing on that specific game. Fuck you. <laughs> it's like, oh, you should have done this. It's like, oh, what's your high school? Have well, you had 180 helicopters caught on you with pinpoint hearing? Oh, I don't think you have. <laughs> uh, TLDR, it's not a good time. It sucks. <laughs> That's my get out of jail free card. Summary is in the middle of the storm. Sneaky zombie gave hugs. Yes. Yes. Should probably label it not safe for work. In the middle of the night, in the dark, mysterious stranger gives my character a back rub without consent. <laughs> How dare you, Lotus? How dare you? We tried our best, okay? It was maximum effort. I did what I could. That was the last time I was following you with that cold than I expected. Yeah, it's because I was really thorough with that area. Like, I was as thorough as I could have been. Um, so when we... Like, the only reason I pushed up to the houses as much as I did is because we cleared out the... Uh, the field west of... Well, fuck, I'll pull up my map. I can show you now. Um, like, when we pushed up to that area, we were still living down here, but we had cleared out most of this... Most of this, all of this, and then this road all the way down. Like when we drove that the ambulance down down there before it ran out of gas, um, we had the sirens going like pretty much the entire way, and nothing came out. So it was only a small handful from the woods, just leftovers, and um, all that good stuff. But yeah, I checked. Uh, I loaded up de loaded up debug afterwards, and yeah, it turns out we were fighting zombies from. Lake Phallus, Dixie, Moldra, West Point, and just everything else around this area. So yeah. I'm gonna, uh, rewrite history and say it took four towns to kill me. That's my... <laughs> that's my re my rewriting of history. Yeah, li literally took four towns to take me down. <laughs> uh, combined population of over a few hundred thousand. <laughs> I am pretty hard to kill if I do say so myself. Definitely don't walk around in the middle of winter with no no clothing. <laughs> I'd never do such a thing. You missed that one tile in West Point at 1k. 1k left on 14. 1k or 14. Oh, like the very center of town. Yeah, like most of the east side was empty. Well, em empty relative to how many are usually there. But yeah, it was a um It was a pretty good time. Cause I think we died on twenty two thousand it was somewhere between twenty two and twenty three thousand. It was somewhere in that ballpark, I think. So it was really early on on the stream. It was only like what, two or three hours in? Like, we didn't get that much done. And I think most of that time, like, at least an hour, was just spent walking. <laughs> Pinpoint plus integration, in case you want to clear the whole map by making three whole bases, yeah. Ah, well, I got to try it out, at least. I got to experience integration early on. Uh, to see how bad it was, because the last, like, the time 16 game I did with the 297 kills, the inter like, the pinpoint hearing for that one only came on after the devs bugged it up and accidentally gave everyone pinpoint hearing. So at that point, I'd already cleared out uh, West Point, Riverside, and I think Ekron as well. I think I'd cleared Ekron at that point. So I think we were in... Like, we were just getting down to Rosewood. I think. So yeah, that was the, like... That last game that we had, the one that I just died on, that was like the first one I've... Well, it's the best one I've had with integration on... Uh, from the early stages of the game. Because we had a 30-day grace period on that one. And even 30 days wasn't enough. Like... <laughs> on this one, I... I, um... Integration, I think I'll still do, like, 
the 30 day grace period, but this one doesn't have pinpoint hearing on. I might turn pinpoint hearing on later on in the game. Um, just to speed things up some more, maybe. But I don't know. I might just leave it on normal zombies for this one. I was genuinely surprised on how far they pushed me back, though. It was very far. Almost level 2 as well. Good stuff. Just do random hearing? No. That just becomes a hassle then. <laughs> if, I do, if I do pinpoint hearing, I get all the zombies. If I do... Uh, if I do the normal zombies, well then I just get the ones that are like immediately in my way. But if I do random... Oh, then I gotta deal with like fucking zombies, like a bunch of zombies always being stuck in the middle of nowhere with poor hearing. And then I got all the fucking pinpoint ones from like fucking miles away coming down to say hi. And then I've also got all the ones who are just standard hearing ones just still in my way. And it's like, ah. Oh. So, I can clear more of them. Well, not even more of them. I can, I can clear a lot of... No, I will clear more of them. Yeah, I clear more of them. But it, it just won't be perfect. I think that'll do my head in even more, honestly. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, actually, I have a little bit of time left. Um, let me go run some chairs down while I have some time to kill. Cause I've got until about uh, midnight, more or less. So <laughs> one day I'll fall for you one of your troll recommendations. No, sir, I don't think I will. I've seen your cursed cataclysm mode. I know what you I know what you're into. <laughs> Let's go run some of these chairs down though. And set up some more resting points. Uh, people doesn't seem quite good once you get a full hold. Yeah, like, once you have one town cleared out, oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, cause you can pull them in from so far away. Like, you've always got more zombies to kill, it's fantastic. But that early stage, oh, fucking nightmare. Like... I was holding on for a while, but once you pushed me too far out of West Point, then I started having zombies coming from Aircron and Moldra, and it's like, fuck. <laughs> I don't even have enough skill, like, my character doesn't have enough levels to, like, even hold back West Point, let alone fucking two other little towns as well. Jesus. Way too much. Appreciate the follow as well, Ryan. Happy days. Yeah, I got one there. Let me throw some of the other ones over here now, then. They don't have to be, like, super spread out. I just want to have chairs along this road just to make things easier. I know how bad this place gets later on. It always gets filled with zombies. Let's have a little walk back now. Ah, oh, to be fair, I'll have a run. Yeah, run back. Get to bed, do some fishing in the morning, come back, and I'll bring all the spears with me then. And, um... I might bring an axe and a knife with me so I can make the spears while I'm down here. 
because I just don't have the back to carry them yet. But I need to set some chairs up over here as well. Overheating at all. That's fantastic. I'm a little bit over on my body temperature, but that's not too bad. I will probably take my pants off though. Still got a little bit of time left. Mm. I think I got time to move one chair, but maybe two. Yeah, give me about an hour, more or less. That'll do. Let's see, I got a few little resting spots down here then. Yep, missing Rebecca already. And once I get a pen, I'll mark all of these on my map as well. Oh, let me put them on my s my counter as well. Right. Uh, but yeah. From this moment onward now, we should be on a nice routine of waking up at four in the morning. Fully rested. Doing a three hour fishing session and then the rest of the day just making weapons and killing. And yeah, we should be good now. And after I cook and eat these ones, I should double chevron again. And, uh... Just get a little bit closer to getting myself out of that underwanks. I'm right on the edge of it. And I do need to take care of that depression as well. At some point, I'm just... Not... Uh... Just haven't gotten around to it yet. Ah, oh, yeah, to be fair. I have enough stuff to make one stone knife. Or two. So, I'll make one of these and I'll leave it in there then. I won't use this one to make spears. Just so I have something there every day to cut up my fish.
fucking rip. Well, I don't normally have this bad luck. Fuck, yeah, are you okay? Like, <laughs> do I need to call someone? <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're using up all of my fucking stamina as well doing this. Leave all of you in there. Good stuff. And I'll give you just a minute so I can eat one more. And then that will get my weight going back up then. Otherwise, we'll just start losing weight again immediately. I see. Let me grab my saw. Take that one with me. Maybe. Actually, no. I'll use those. Yeah, I'll use those ones first. Squeeze the maintenance out of them because they'll get me to level two. Or well, they should at least. Yeah, I'll use the pipe wrench as well. Yeah, let me just use all these higher durability weapons. Let's get rid of all of that chunk as well. And I'll take whatever spears I can also. Yeah, but before I carry on, I've been sat for a few more hours. Let me stretch my legs. I'll be back in just two minutes. Right, and I am back. Happy days. Let's carry on then. Did you... Wait, did you do squats before you stabbed? Wait, what? Words are still make you invincible. Of course, squats in, squats in game, squats in real life. If there's one thing everyone can agree on, everyone likes ass. That's it. Doesn't matter if you're straight, you're gay, Man, woman, doesn't matter. Everyone likes booty. Everyone likes the glutes. It's like the one universal truth. It's the one thing we can all agree on. And by virtue of that, squats are kings. Everyone must squat. <laughs> 
Thank you for coming to my TED talk. <laughs> yeah. Should probably host that at some point. You know, this is my TED talk on why squats are the best exercise overall for everything. How do you guys feel about ass? I mean, look at this man already. Swole. Probably still a little bit flabby, but still. He's getting there. He is making progress. But yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll probably drop one or two of my spears on the ground. When that, uh... When that hunger bonus I have uh, disappears, I'll be over encumbered. So I may need to drop my spears on the ground, but if I do, I'll come back for them. But I want to try and pop that level 2 maintenance first, because that shouldn't take that long. Like, we're right on the edge of it, you know, less than 50 experience. And with the weapons I currently have, I should be able to get that one very easily. Get rid of these junk weapons first. Try and avoid being over encumbered there. Yeah, cause I won't be over encumbered now. Fantastic. We already went up seven experience from that. Good stuff. Eighteen experience to go. Let's just try and grab those guys down there. But yeah, I got room for like maybe a chipstone or two. Got a little bit of room. Swing and a miss. Uh, maintenance is increased when attacking Zeds with weapons. Uh, it's not just exclusive to Zeds. You can attack anything with your weapon. So like trees, doors, anything that's... Anything that you can land a direct hit on. Um, anything that would damage your weapon when struck. You can gain maintenance experience from. And you'll gain maintenance experience when you hit them with your weapon, and your weapon doesn't take any damage. So, if you want to level it up quickly, it's always best to prioritize 
weapons that have better odds. So it's usually like blunt weapons, but anything that has good durability, like a crowbar. And uh, yeah, you'll level up very quickly, which is why we just started using screwdrivers and such, because the spears have terrible durability. Resting spots are already paying for themselves. Very nice. Yep, let me use up the last of these spears I have, though. And then we'll switch to the pipe wrench. Well, switch to the screwdriver, then I'll switch to the pipe wrench. Try and use up everything. And next item I find should pop me over to level 2. Yeah. 7, 8 experience. Should hit level 2 now. Fantastic. Slightly larger search radius. Now do. Yeah, just kind of hunting around for someone with a backpack right now. Even if it's only a school bag or a satchel. It'd be nice to have a bag on my back. Just make things a little bit easier. Carrying what I have. Yeah, that should do. Yep, nowhere near level 2. I was kind of hoping it was going to pop off soon, but... <laughs> yeah, nowhere near. stuff. Swing and a miss. Yeah, turning around this much is not great for my panic, but fuck it. That's fine. <laughs> Care more about getting the durability at this point anyway. Swing and a miss. 
Is there a mod that could make a hundred dollar bills come out of the computer? Uh, I will probably not let you know if I find it, but I will keep my eyes open, open for it. Oh, I do love a cheeky bit of inflation. <laughs> And off we go again. Alright, let's do a little bit of foraging this time though. We'll keep an eye out for some more stones. Minimize the screen and full screen to see a half naked man with a full mask of herbs. Hey, okay. You may not want to admit it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Beard and all. Yep, the maintenance wrench. Classic. <laughs> yeah, going for that that very fun period where it's like, oh, what weapons do you use? I use spears. As he holds a pipe wrench in his hands. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Slow and steady. But, uh... I got the carpentry, like, aspect done. That's all done. That's all ticked off out of the way. Ideally, try... I want to get my maintenance to level 3, so I'll be using miscellaneous weapons for the time being. Uh, but yeah, shouldn't take me long to get my first level or two in spears, but... Haven't seen a single hunting knife or kitchen knife spawn on the zombie yet, so I'm still in that horrible phase where I gotta make stone knives and such to get by. Yeah, uh, you have a side bridge going on for fun. My previous settings were sometimes helicopters. Same place, one month. Uh, 16 days. 6,470, nice. Uh, you are killing... You've killed far more than I did on my one. Like, the first month, like... Uh, well, not month, but the first, like, 15 to 20 days? Pretty much identical to what we've done now. Just exercising. Exercising and fishing for that zero zero. <laughs> yeah, they're good stuff though. 6k in the first month and a half. Very nice. Yeah. How are you finding it though? You're still hanging on. Because you're getting, what, like one helicopter every seven days? No, that's often, is it? Wait, how, what do you get with sometimes? Is it seven days it comes around or is it like slightly less? First heli on day seven. I'm on the... Oh, you're like right against the, the river for... Houses are swamped. No, oh, good stuff. Every 11th... Is... Oh, okay, so about two a month then. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. So you've had like two or three of them so far. Maybe four. Yeah, fair play. Yeah, those... That pinpoint hearing with the helis. Very spicy though. Very spicy. Yeah, 
Yeah, you want to try with the expanded heli uh, helicopter mod for a throwaway game. I see how many people you have in your chat. Oh, they will bully you. Like, if you hook it up to, like, bits, follows, subs, or your channel points, oh, they will... They will bully you. They love it. <laughs> you never realize how horrible your chat is until you give them access to helicopters. <laughs> They're little monsters in disguise. You imagine they'll send helicopters. Yeah, at the worst possible time, yeah. Like, oh, okay, guys, we'll head back now. We'll go get some sleep. Fucking ten helicopters back to back. <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, this area seems pretty clear. So let's go expand and we can go have a look at those cars then. Five jets back to back. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Don't tell anyone about our secrets. Oh, I'm gonna warn everyone about you guys. Everyone. Yes, beware. Beware of those names in my chat who frequent most days. They will try and murder you. And potatoes in exchange for mercy. Alas, I have no potatoes to give. It probably explains why I'm dead. <laughs> I still haven't seen anyone who has a backpack yet. <laughs> no potato is no mercy. <laughs> Pipe run should break any moment now. And how much maintenance have I squeezed out of you? I got a good chunk. Just over halfway to level 3. That's not too bad. Every 50 meters, uh, got a nice garden chair at the river. Oh, so you've done pretty much the same thing I've done on, on well, on that game. Just it's like, ah, yes. Have a little walk down the river. It's just chair after chair after chair after chair. <laughs> it's like, why have you put all the chairs there? It's like, you'll understand. You stay around, you watch for an hour, you'll understand why there are so many chairs down here. I'm not littering, I swear, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard not to do that. It just, it forces you into it. The amount of resting you have to do and the amount of extra sleeping spots you need, it's insane. Definitely good fun, though. So I wonder if there's, like, a more practical way to go about it, but... I can't think of anything else that would work better. You know, besides just abandoning the area completely. But even then, like... You gotta come back sometime. Yeah, you'll understand when you're older. You too will have PTSD. <laughs> hey, kid, you want shell shock? No? Well... <laughs> <laughs> the fun thing about shell shock is it's normally involuntary. You're pretty sure Ekron and Mulder are still in place? Yeah. If you're still on the riverbank, like up north, like over here, you should be clear. Like, I didn't start noticing zombies come up from the south and the southwest until I got pushed down to this area over here. 
And when we check the map, it, it looks like we only managed to grab, like, the very edge of them. Like, it wasn't, like, the entire town. It was just the, the northmost zombies from Muldra. And, uh... Well, to be fair, most of Ekron was covered. <laughs> most of Ekron came out towards us. That'll do. But, yeah, it's near the end of the day now anyway, so... Let me head on out. And we'll start foraging. On the way back, keep an eye out for some more chip stone and such. Keep making those stone knives. And then tomorrow we'll make some more... Uh, spears. Like, I'll make one or two at home, but I'll take the stone axe with me. And, uh... Make another stone knife as well, so I can make spears on the go then, tomorrow. Ah, let me get rid of you guys. So I don't want you following me all the way home. Yeah, if I get curious, I check the dev mode. Yeah, cause when I when I checked it, uh, cause when I was test like I have, I've done a few games where I've been testing like the max range. Like if I'm in like this location and I spam jets for like a few hours, what's the furthest? Like ha what's the maximum range they could possibly hear me from? And uh, like the range is ridiculous. Like I mean, it reflects pinpoint hearing, but goddamn, like <laughs> it's it is like. From one side of West Point to the other, and then some. So, ooh, that is, uh, that is very spicy. Thanks. Where you are at the moment, I reckon the zombies that you have to deal with, like, you'll have, like, obviously all of West Point, but you probably... I mean, yeah, if you're out there, you'll definitely have these guys over here. Depends on what pop you're on, but at time 16, there's like 100, 150-ish. Something in that ballpark, like per cell. For every cell in this area, along this road. It's not too bad, honestly. Um, but yeah, if you're, oh, you're doing my things, okay, yeah. So you'll have like several hundred down here. But they, they don't bother you. Like when I was up there, they didn't come around and bother me for a long time. Like, I think we only really started noticing them when we got pushed all the way down over here. Like, that's when they started actually interfering with me. Help you clear the map easier? Yes, it will. If you stay alive. <laughs> yeah. Now, late, late game is... A huge help. Like when on my last time sixteen game, like the the one that had the two ninety seven. Oh, that pinpoint hearing, uh, pinpoint hearing was fantastic. It was so easy to clear out areas, and then when you ran out of zombies, you knew it was done. Like this, so they all had pinpoint hearing. There's nowhere they can physically hide that they cannot hear me. But um, that game didn't start with pinpoint hearing. It was only once the that glitch occurred where everyone had pinpoint hearing in their game for like. A couple of days when that glitch occurred we just kept pinpoint hearing on from that point forward but yeah very spicy times though
Let's just do a few minutes of fishing, because it's still prime time. And I got nothing else to do at the end of my day. So, let's have a quick gander out here. Uh, we're in Louisville. After the streets were clear, it's hard to get them out of their houses. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, some of those buildings, like the seven-story ones, they take a long time to get out of there. That was the lowest kill done. Yeah, like when you're just trying to, like, wrap up and try and get those last few that are just stuck in awkward places. Yeah, that can take some time. Yeah, and you're in West Point, yeah, because you've started clearing out now. Because you've been in West Point for a few streams, right? You've been in there for like two or three streams, so you should Like, I reckon you put like a big dent in it. Because so you went into West Point when you crossed like the two, 205 mark, I think, right? Like, that's when you kind of finished up with Louisville. And you're on 222 now, so yeah. I reckon you've probably gone through at least like a, yeah, uh, at least a fifth of it. Yeah. Quite a big dent. <laughs> Again, yes, yeah. It's not on the last death command yet, but it will be uh it'll be on there tomorrow. Got 30 minutes though. Yeah, it was a different death, yeah. It was it was really long-winded as well. Like I I didn't die instantly. I fucking fought for my life for like an hour. <laughs> it's like it slowly just got worse and worse over the course of an hour until I eventually made a uh, a little slip up. But yeah. That death was, like, really drawn out. It was, uh, very melodramatic. <laughs> 65. New character record. Hell yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. I really thought you were going to be able to recover. See, I was, like, hit or miss with it. Like, if the group was smaller, it was like, okay. It's like, if it was, like, 10 or less, like, okay, I could do that quite easily, I reckon. Um... But because the group was like 20 plus, it's like, fuck. It takes a long time to get them to spread out enough for me to actually be able to hit one of them. And even when I hit one of them, it's not a guaranteed hit. Like, a guaranteed one-hit kill. So it's like, fuck. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do this. And then we had more jets get called in afterwards, and I was like, fuck, no. <laughs> After those extra jets got called in, I was like, no, I think I'm fucked. Because, um... I had no way to lose them beyond that point. And I know we hadn't cleared out that cell entirely because I'd never set the sirens off that close to the house, like, for obvious reasons. Yeah. I did have a little bit of hope, though, like you. I was like, maybe, maybe we can pull it back. <laughs> yeah, that rain, that rain, though. Sparkly and clean. Yep, I'll cook those ones later, though. It's a dream. Finding out the lower big street for polls arrived 20 days ago. Uh, already got 15k so far. Oh yeah, you put a huge chunk into it then, yeah. Now you're, you're probably close to about a quarter of the way then, more or less. Yeah, 
I'll take all of them with me. Yeah, while we're out there today, I'll I'll just make the spears as I go. Um, I don't think I have any more miscellaneous weapons to use, do I? No. Yeah, I'll leave the hammer, because I, I need that for my carpentry. And I'm not going to use the... Nah, I will. I know what I'm like. I'll I'll use the saw, because I'll end up cutting down a tree and making some uh, spears from that. Oh, before I go, though, it just completely slipped my mind, even though it's staring me right in the face. Uh, I think your highest kills per day was at 800. I think in the last, it was six times, well, 34k zombies. Oh, yeah, you're on 6k, aren't you? Oh, yeah, you'll probably... Yeah, you'll, you'll be a huge chunk of the way through West Point then, yeah. Yeah, it would be, like, close to the halfway mark. No, fair play. I had, I had time 16 in my hex. We were talking about the uh, the other game you've got going on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that, that's funny to think about. It's like, oh, yeah. What's, what's, what settings are you on? I'm on time 6 pop. It's like, okay. Probably takes you a while to clear out West Point. And it's like, no, I've been there for, like, less than a month. <laughs> it's like... Yeah, Twist has almost wiped out West Point. He's been there for like 20 days. He needs a bigger challenge. After Louisville, nothing can satiate his thirst now. Everything must die. <laughs> yeah, good stuff. Next ones will be on time 16 for sure, yeah. Yeah, military base can be a bit of a pain. Yeah, it's, it's like, funnily enough, like, the military base is actually easier um, with pinpoint hearing on than it is off, because you just don't get flanked when you have pinpoint on. But if you have it off, like, you miss, like, there's so many zombies in that like, in the woodland out towards it, and you miss most of them when you travel out there on normal settings. And, um, it's really easy to get cut off, because they just have to migrate and block the road behind you. Uh, like, one heli event happens or anything like that, and it's like, rip. But, uh, pinpoint hearing, oh, you just, you, you can't get flanked, because you just can't get past them. <laughs> like, they just, they all come out to say hi. It's great. But the star of Louisville, holy shit, yeah, I can imagine. Yeah, definitely. It's all the guys that we didn't kill on the way back yesterday. I'm gonna try and pop that level 1 spear today, though. So that shouldn't take too long. You lived in the gated community? Oh, the one by with the little lake, right? Or you... You want about the one that's, like, further south from it? Either way, good area. So much easier than normal hearing. Oh, you gotta, you gotta include a little bit on the end of that, Lamarin. It's like pinpoint hearing is so much easier than normal hearing. Brackets in the late game. <laughs> Brackets again. Early game can suck my ass. <laughs> that pinpoint hearing on, on day one is horrible. It sucks. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, it was the area I was thinking of. Yeah, fair play. That's a good area. Quite a high pop, though. Really good kills. Day one pinpoint equals great feeling of progression. I think day one day one pinpoint equals great situational awareness because it's kind of hard to miss all the zombies around you at that point. <laughs> it's like, well, yes, I do know exactly how many zombies are in this area because they all know where I am. Live in the dream. Easy. It's faster than the strength training because you never stop fighting. Red, I don't have weapons on day one. What are you talking about? <laughs> You have a weapon. Your boots. That only works if you have a can-do attitude. Which I seem to be lacking once I know that I'm playing with integration and pinpoint. <laughs> that, uh... Yeah, that, uh, joyous fucking bounce in my step tends to leave me the second I know I'm about to play that type of game. Now, do any of you have bags? No. No. How do we lose the other one? Skill issue. <laughs> Integration is day 30. Rat. Rat, please. If it was anyone else, I wouldn't mind, but I know. I know you, and I know you know things. <laughs> you know it takes at least half a month to get my strength and fitness up to an adequate level and my weight. Rat, please. Please don't do this. <laughs> Sounds like a skill issue. I will- I- fuck- I know which country you live in, Rhett. There's only so many houses, I'll find you. I'll get you. I'll make it look like a bloody accident. Skillisher is too vague. There's too many things to go through, though. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, okay, what, how did my last character die? It's like, okay, well, the temperature was too low, and I wasn't wearing enough clothing, so I had very low insulation, and I started getting hypothermic. It was also raining, which lowered my insulation even further, and just compounded the effects of that, which also, also gave me a cold after the fact as well. We also... Pushed too far forward, so I went into enemy territory when I shouldn't have. Then I had too many helicopters and such caught on me when I was in the said area. Also when I fell further back, and when I fell, fell further back from that area. And then on top of that, they were all done when I was at high fatigue and high exertion. <laughs> and then when we fell back to the other area, I hadn't cleared it as thoroughly, thoroughly as I thought I did. So I was just running around, coughing and sneezing constantly, shouting bringing all the zombies to me, which I couldn't kill because I have no stamina and no, like, a maximum fatigue. And then after that, they called even more jets on top of me. And then after all of that was done, I wasn't paying attention enough and I got caught by one zombie that popped behind a tree. <laughs> That's, like, the summary of everything that went wrong. And that was over, like, the span of about an hour. And like hour, hour and a half, like it was a really fucking long drawn out death. Like it went on for a while. Like it was like watching a horse with a broken leg just limp around. Like you know what has to be done. Like I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Nessie. I have to put you down. <laughs> You're no longer up to racing standards. No, it was a it was a skill issue. That's why I said. <laughs> yes. Pathetic. TLDR skill issue. Pathetic gameplay. Uh, do you know how the events work? Uh, my side of project example. In my side project of one month, 16 days, I loaded an hour ago. You know, my three houses just spawned a campsite with army zombies. Uh, they should appear in the area, like, when you enter that area for the first time. It shouldn't ever load in after the fact. They weren't there before. <laughs> I don't know, maybe those zombies are just putting on an act for you. Maybe they're a lot smarter than you give them credit for. They're setting up, like, forward operating bases near your outpost. <laughs> so they can launch an attack. No, they... I don't know exactly how they spawn in, but I always just assumed... When you enter an area for the first time, like, the same with, like... All the loot and the vehicles and all that stuff, it all spawns in when you enter that cell... Or that region for the first time. Like... That's when all the uh, events get a get loaded in. That's just my assumption, at least. <laughs> yeah, one explanation: teleporting zombies. They have the forbidden technology. Ah, oh, there we go. We have finally got our first knife, like an actual knife. Yeah, the first of many, I hope. And a kitchen knife, very nice. And a bread knife as well. Let's use you up now. So I should be close to level three. Yeah, we're getting there. Still not seeing anyone who has a duffel bag, or a school bag, or a satchel, or anything. Yeah, I stopped on two, yeah, just all two is used on two, 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 two. <laughs> Living the dream. Oh, another hunting knife. God, we're finding all the knives now. All back to back. Very nice. Yeah, I'll actually start using those knives as weapons for a moment then. Just to get that maintenance up another level. In a world where, teleport where zombies exist, teleportation is on the table. I mean, you're not wrong. focus on these ones over here for a moment.
I have to do my first bag is the side project. In my side project was a green. Oh, you got the large backpack. You little shit. <laughs> Lucky pack for the win. Oh, I'll have to try and um. I may have to make a uh, little run out to the boonies at some point. Like, run all the way west, go to the back roads to see if I can find myself a survivor zombie. Like, straight away. See if I can get a backpack like that. Because <laughs> I know I won't find one. I know there won't be any survivor zombies out here. I'm going to try my luck. Uh, running south down this way, maybe. And then further out there. Might find myself a little group of zombies on the road, perhaps. Yeah, now to save, I'll save that for next week. Cause that's that's quite a long run to make. <laughs> but yeah, without a little run around that area, and I'll see if I can get a large backpack then. Still no bags. Last marathon you found, two on your way. Yeah, like when we were going out to Riverside, yeah. Yeah, because we found one uh, just as we were leaving town, like down this way. And then we found the second one when we got to the far southwest side of the river. And we were just making our way north. There was one with a large backpack. And he had a gas mask in his bag. Among a few other things. Hunting knife should break soon though. Yeah, gas mask. Yeah, because we have the toxic fog, yeah. Yeah, because that gas mask that we found was a lifesaver back then. Um, But yeah, we found the first bag. It was about... It was on this stretch of road down here. That's where we found the first large backpack. It's like somewhere there. And then the second one we found it. It was right here. Yeah, that's the one that, who had the gas mask. But yeah, we wiped out the entirety of West Point before we went down that way. <laughs> but yeah, the survivor zombies that have the large backpacks, you can normally find them on the back roads in a very small group. And, uh... Yeah, I may try my luck with that. Because the only other place I can really find them would be in the town in, like, survivor houses. But we're not going to be getting into the town anytime soon. Very close. Looks like he has a bloody handprint on his back. Oh, yeah, it does as well. Yeah, little fingers, palm. <laughs> yeah, the zombie gave him a big old fucking slap on the back. Maybe it was his coach, like when he left the house. <laughs> Go get him, son. Slaps him on the back. Cheeky old slap on the ass. <laughs> you go out there, you make me proud. You represent.
There we go. Maintenance level 3. So the spears are going to be a little bit better now. My nimble is still suffering. Like, we're not making too much headway on that. Appreciate the follow. Quiet. Happy days. And any bags? Bags, 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 bags. I don't see a bag. That's fine. But I'll kill these guys here and then I'll make a couple of spears. Did we die or start over again? Uh, neither. We were so good at the game that we ascended to level two. And this is what it looks like. So, yeah, this is what looks this is what looks like when you win the game, basically, and you go to uh, the second stage. Yeah, we uh, we did so well on that last run. Can't tell if you just started on the high pop saying, "Nah, we we did the die. We died a sad death. Uh, we are still on time 16. Uh, the settings for this one are a little. Uh, this is a lighter version of the light version. <laughs> so this one doesn't have pinpoint hearing on. So I'm not gonna get chased away by a tsunami of integration and." Pinpoint hearing zombies straight away. But we're still doing the time 16 and the zero to heroes. I I do love those settings. Yeah, I don't see any yeah, no bags, no school bags, no duffel bags. Shabby. Yeah, it's almost time to start heading back now, anyway. Yeah, we're almost back to the town. Or at least the farmland, anyway. So beyond this point, we won't make it that much further, honestly. It's a, uh... We'll be stuck around, like, this area for a while, I reckon, until my spear level goes up a bit. But I've got... ...everything I need to stay alive. And I got some roads down here that I want to hunt through. And try and find some survivor zombies. As well. But it won't take us that long to get back to where we works next next week real time uh from monday to friday we'll be back up to twenty thousand kills again on friday next week like it won't take us that long to get back to where we were <laughs> like we could do that quite easily if anything we might even be a little bit faster now that there's no pinpoint hearing i'll have less wasted time i might even exceed that Is there any possible... Oh, any... Well, any possibility of the stream Saturday and Sunday? No. Saturday and Sunday... 
that is my time to sleep, relax, socialize with my IRL friends, also work, and then kind of like patch things up on the stream. So if there's anything I want to like add to the stream, like any new music, or I want to fix some of my commands, or I want to add new overlays, like the weekend is like my time to get like a big chunk of editing done. So I always keep that time for myself. All right, let's go make one or two more spears. Like I still have a little bit of time left. <laughs> Friends are an illusion. There are only zombies. Now, to be fair, I only see them once a week. And we don't hang out, like, for a long time. We spent, like... God, how long? Like four, four or five hours on a Sunday together? That's about it, really. But they are my close friends. Gotta keep tabs on them, make sure they've all still got a pulse, make sure they're all still alive. I would do those ones, but there's probably zombies back there. Yeah, let me do these ones here then. Spicy. And one more. Oh, good stuff. Poor people who have time at the weekend never see Lamprey. <laughs> no. Saturday, Saturday and Sundays I don't like streaming on the weekend. And besides, cheeky bit of streamer knowledge, the weekend is ironically not a very good time to stream, at least Project Zomboid anyway. Because <laughs> you know who else is on the weekend? Literally everyone else who wants to stream Zomboid. <laughs> So yeah, the weekend is, um, Saturday and Sunday are not good days for streaming. And I have no plans to reshuffle my schedule anytime soon. Like, it's not like off the table completely. It's not as if I will never stream on Saturday and Sunday. But, um, no, at the moment it fits into my schedule better to have a weekend to myself. Are you using my... You are using my hunting knife, you little shit. Stop that. Or he was using the kitchen knife. I mean, the kitchen knife is fine, but yeah, just don't use my hunting knife. I need that. So what happens if they don't have a pulse anymore or are infected? You'll deal with them. Of course, of course, yeah. <laughs> I'll bury them with all the rights and uh, all the tributes they deserve. Just a bit busy during the weekdays. That's fine. I mean, I'm on for 10 hours. Like, it's not mandatory to... Uh, to drop by. And there's always the VODs as well, if you want to, like, just keep up with whatever's happening in the game. I'm on for almost half the day. Like, five days a week. And worst case scenario, 
you just have to get whoever your boss or supervisor is interested in my channel so you can watch it together then and he won't like reprimand you <laughs> the big brain strats get the supervisor interested in the stream so that he'll let you watch it while you work Great advice for surgeons, yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Just look at this stream. I wish I got to watch this while I was, like, having my operation. I mean, admittedly, I was unconscious, but still, you know, they had to wake me up halfway through, supposedly. Which I'm really annoyed, ex- They told me at the start, like, this was years ago now. Like, I had a operation to remove one of my vertebrae and put Harrington rods onto my spine. But they, uh, they'll tell you that because they're doing a spinal operation, they have to wake you up halfway through the op to make sure they haven't fucked up your spine and make sure you can still wiggle your toes. But they'll, they'll tell you, it's like, oh, like, we have to tell you this, we have to wake you up halfway through the operation, but you're not going to remember any, any of it, because you're going to be so fucking sedated, you'll have no memory. I'm really disappointed, because the bastards told the truth. I don't remember anything. <laughs> and I wish I did. I want to know what it was like to be woken up, with my back completely open. I'm like, fuck, that'd be, such, that'd be so fucking hilarious. <laughs> wake me up from my little nap, like, oh. Do us a favor, mate. Give us a little scratch on the back. I got a bit of an itch there. <laughs> Such a missed opportunity. Using lamprey stream as anesthesia. Using my stream just to put people to sleep, more like. You once woke up during an operation, it wasn't fun at all. See, I've only had the one, and it was mandatory to wake me up, it was all planned. <laughs> I can't imagine what it would be like being woken up halfway through. Like, unplanned. Like, oh shit. Like, shit, do I knock him out? Like, what do I do? <laughs> Take a selfie mid-surgery. Looks like another hunting knife. Or a kitchen knife. Kitchen knife. That's just as good. I'm not seeing any bags down here either. No one wanted to bring a bag from the town. What have you had to piss, Miss uh, Mid Surgery? Yeah, we don't talk about that part. We don't talk about where that tube goes. We don't also don't talk about how much it fucking hurts when they pull that tube out, <laughs> and how many fucking lies they'll tell you before they tug it. It's like, ah, oh, yes, Lamprey. I know you're a teenager and you have no like understanding about what's about to happen, but don't worry. We'll pull this tube out, and it's only a small tube. Fucking wasn't. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Oh, I remember that. I'll never forget. That's a fucking, that's a core memory right there. They fucking emptied me. I don't know where that tube went, but I was like, oh, I was a bag of holding. Like, that shit went el elsewhere. Different dimension. The length of that tube they pulled out of me. Not a good time. <laughs> Yeah, and that tube went places it was not supposed to go. 
No means no. <laughs> so yeah, some people do enjoy it. Uh, I can report that I am not one of those people. <laughs> I remember calling one of the nests a cunt just on the reflex. Because, uh, yeah, not exactly a pleasant feeling. Some dentist is cheeky prick. Where the hell is this, yeah? Force me to bear the pain, for God's sake. Cheap bastard. <laughs> right, that'll do, though. It's almost 10 o'clock, so let's start running home now. Knife to meet you every time you find a hunting kitchen knife, yes. I I have that self-control, although it is in the internal monologue. You know, there are receipts in my brain for that pun. <laughs> the forbidden pun, it must not be spoken. Restraint is boring. <laughs> I'm just picturing, like, the judge lean forward, just grasping their gavel as you say those words. Like, ah, yes, tell me why you smashed all these windows for this local business because they wouldn't sell you an extra pastry. Well, Your Honor, restraint is boring. That's pretty cringe, am I right, bro? <laughs> you, you fold your arms as if you just won. <laughs> Oh, funny stuff. It's like, you see, Your Honor, I couldn't resist punching the child after they started talking shit to me. Because restraining myself is imposing limitations, and limitations are for cowards. <laughs> yes. Innocent, free to go. That kid sounds like he had it coming. <laughs> yeah, well, for legal reasons, no, I do not punch children. A little bit more specifically, for legal reasons, no, I do not punch children. At least not ones that don't deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Your Honor, please. He kept saying knife to meet you. I had to stab him. Met the shoddy dentist. Teeth would drill with less anesthesia. Kind of surprised remembering the cost. I just bear it. Nice. <laughs> Damn, your fitness is crazy. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Fucking... This is what peak performance... Look at that. <laughs> this is what peak performance looks like. Hell yeah. Show him, boss. Show him, son. Show him how, how athletic we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that comment caught me off guard. Like, damn. This man is fit as fuck. Like, hell yeah, he is. Sick <laughs> like fitness, yeah. I'm an Aikido master myself. Yeah, like, the only reason it looks like he's been lasting so long is because I just haven't been running, and I haven't been fighting that much. Like, I've just been killing, like, the odd zombie here and there. I haven't been, uh... I've been walking around, so I've been passively regenerating stamina between fights, so that's why he hasn't gotten exerted for a while. And the run back home wasn't that far, either. Yeah, not too shabby, though. Right, I got 40 minutes until I have to sleep, so let me just pop myself up. And I got myself a water bottle now as well, so that's fantastic. Secretly, Lamprey thinks they all deserve it. Oh, I got no problem admitting that. There is nothing quite as fun as watching a kid eat shit. <laughs> I will stand by that statement. There's nothing that gives me a more, like, deep, hearty chuckle than watching a kid 
act like an asshole and then trip over. That will always put a smile on my face. Every time. <laughs> and I will not apologize for that. <laughs> I think the lesson from last death is to grind more fitness. It kills you under certain conditions. Yeah, I, I need to remain weak and humble. I need my character to remain pure. That must be the, uh... Must have been the thing that got me killed last time. <laughs> let's, let's leave all of you here. And it is time for me to go to sleep. Right, yeah, that'll do though. But yeah, it's almost two o'clock now, so I'm going to end the stream. But I appreciate you all dropping by, as always. I appreciate all the conversations we've had, as weird as they have been. Like, it's a bit of a weird one to end on. Like, well, yes, I do like watching kids hurt themselves. It's hilarious. But uh, I'll be back on Monday. For those of you who are new, I am on Monday to Friday from 1600 to 0200, typically. Uh, if you want to get notified, you can follow like Yoki just did. Appreciate the follow. Or you can join the Discord. Either way, notifications are all the same. And am I missing anything? No. Then that's everything. Well, I appreciate all the follows and the subs and the donated biddies and the character that you killed early today. That's GG. That's 1-0 to you guys. Well played. Um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, and appreciate the raids as well from Wickhammer and such. But let's find someone to raid. We'll see who's online. And then I'll catch you all next week, Monday at 1600. Yeah, who do we have today? Uh, there's DJX, there's Rule Storage, Molly Gets Mad, Lawful for Lawful, Ghost Alarma, no more. There's quite a few people on Zobboy today. Um,. Weekend vibes, permadeath, insane pop. Okay, we'll go see what Ghost Alarm is up to then. He's got a bit of spice in his title. Let's go see how he's doing. And then, uh, yeah, I will catch you all next week. <laughs>